ha sido muy volando, muy rápido. Un poquito, un poquito de dispersión. Pero bueno, deseando que empezara esta tarde intensa como la mañana, deseando. Bueno, la mañana ha sido, creo que hacíamos un balance antes de irnos a, a descansar un poquitín. La mañana ha sido fantástica, emocionante, llena de... Bueno, de, de acontecimientos que hemos ido relatando y la tarde promete ser igualmente intensa. Tenemos por delante las tres clasificatorias. Got a bit of a late start there to the English live stream for those of you watching. Thanks for your patience. Ya conocemos a las 180 primeras personas que se han metido en la primera de las semifinales y esta tarde tenemos que poner nombre a las 180 personas que participarán en la segunda semifinal. Estamos viviendo la primera de las rondas. That's what I feel right now after, eh, after four and a half hours of watching this morning and live streaming. It's been a busy day already, but yeah, <laughs> so we're on the first of the uh, this year's 2023 World Tech Sub Puzzle Championship. I'm Valerie Coyne, and I'm Valerie Coyne. Y eso es algo que siempre merece mucho la pena ver. Fíjate que estamos viendo ya en pantalla, en primer plano, a, sin duda alguna, una de las mesas de referencia, porque ha llegado el momento en el que Alejandro Clemente debuta en este campeonato del mundo, actual campeón del mundo, y viene a Valladolid. Bueno, yo creo que primero viene a disfrutar. Y segundo viene a intentar, por supuesto, hacerlo lo mejor posible. Y si es factible pues, revalidar ese título, lo veremos. Sí, sí, no, pues seguro que él uh, lo va a disfrutar. Junto a él, muchísimas otras personas que, que están en esta clasificación. Pero vemos por primera vez arrancando en este campeonato Alejandro, Alejandro Clemente. Qué gustazo ver que siempre. Pues sí, la verdad es que sí. Aunque hemos visto otros participantes muy destacados, pero no sé por qué Alejandro Clemente, como actual campeón del mundo, eh, crea más expectación. Entonces, eh, es un momento esperado. Es un momento esperado verle en acción. Vamos a ver qué tal se da esta primera ronda clasificatoria para él, que no es la definitiva, que es donde esperamos verle en su salsa, en plena final. Pero bueno, siempre apetece ver a Alejandro, que está rodeado también de otra gente muy destacada, pero digamos que él es la referencia para todos nosotros este fin de semana. Que entendemos que él se va a clasificar sin problema hasta la siguiente ronda, pero en esto como en todo, hay, las palabras no valen, hay que demostrarlo, y en este caso, sobre el terreno. Así que se está enfrentando como el resto de las personas participantes a ese reto de 500 piezas. Me parece que Realización ya ha mostrado lo que es el puzzle, la propuesta para esta ronda clasificatoria. Y aquí lo tenemos. He de decirte que me parece precioso. Estamos de acuerdo. A mí también. Precioso. De lo que ha salido hasta ahora, quizás el original, el que hemos visto antes era muy original, la mesa esta de explorador o de descubridor. Uy, la de arqueología era muy bonita. De arqueología, justo, pero este me parece muy bonito. Muy bonito, muy bonito, cierto, estoy de acuerdo contigo. Entonces, bueno, eh, aparte de bonito, me parece bastante manejable para hacerlo velozmente, que es lo que buscamos hoy. Entonces, ¿Qué tenemos ahí? Tenemos, nos vamos directamente a un bonito rincón italiano y nos encontramos con la torre de Pisa, con un cartelito, la Dolce Vita. No, she's, I think she's ¿Cómo es de difícil? Bueno, difícil, es un mundo difícil. A ver, eh, tú ya lo ves. Seguro que tú por dónde empezarías. Por el azul. Te llama la atención ¿Tito? por la torre. Pues no, no, sé, no, no sé, ¿tú crees que dejaron como, como hicieron a, en el anterior, que dejaron la estatua de la libertad para lo último? ¿Dejarán la torre de pista para lo último o empezarán? Pues no lo sé, yo tal vez empezaría por la torre de pista, pero no lo sé. Es la duda. ¿Se identificarán fácilmente estas piezas que parecen muy amarillas, pero tienen los arcos clásicos de la torre que vemos ahora en la pantalla y distorsionarán, distorsionarán ese tono amarillento que parece que predomina? Veremos. Yo lo que sí veo claro es que el coche, el azul, creo que lo va a hacer mucha gente al principio porque bueno, debe ser unas 15, el, 20 piezas y, y que eso, llaman la atención. Y ese cartel que nos lleva a una de esas páginas fantásticas de la historia del cine, que es la Dolce Vita. También bueno, pues las ese letras, cartel, la bandera italiana, eh, no sé si la tratoría. Sí, eh. Y esta parte que el reflejo del coche y el, el anaranjado del suelo húmedo con las luces que reflejan, yo es lo que veo más identificable. Lo que creo que puede plantear alguna dificultad, la esquina superior izquierda, con ese árbol, que los árboles siempre di lo dijimos, ese no es un tono único y continuo, sino que es como un poco salteado. Y está también presente el árbol en un poquito de la zona de la derecha de la parte de arriba. Los edificios se pueden identificar fácilmente y no hay demasiados. Me parece 
muy agradable de hacer. Vale, nivel de dificultad. De 1 a 10, un 5. Y a lo mejor no llega ni al 5, pero por ahí. 4 o 5. Rapidez. Esta vez me la juego a estando Alejandro Clemente, que bueno, esperamos mucho de él y no queremos meter presión. Me la juego a 40 pelados. 40. Vale, y ahora yo que tengo que hacer arriesgar Teníamos los 31 de Teresa, ¿no? Los 30. Teniendo en cuenta que en la segunda de las rondas clasificatorias nos hemos quedado en 30. Yo voy a hacer mi apuesta máxima, teniendo en cuenta lo que dices tú, que tenemos a Alejandro Clemente, y voy a decir 36. Venga, vale. Venga, 40 ha dicho Jesús, 36 ha dicho Eva. ¿Y qué te parece si pedimos una tercera opinión? Porque tenemos a Jimena aquí. Jimena, Yo creo que sí. Hola, ¿qué tal, chicos? ¿Cómo estáis? Buenas, ¿qué tal? Bueno, pues un placer recibirte en este set de retransmisiones, porque durante los próximos 90 minutos, un poquito menos, vamos a ir contando qué es lo que ocurre en esta ronda clasificatoria y me parece que, que tú puedes aportarnos como, como pudlera maestra, ¿se puede decir así? Hombre, claro, experta, maestra, creadora de contenidos, como decíamos antes. Participante, bueno. de, 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 de todo, de todo. Bueno, eh, me vais a hacer poner haciendo, roja, ¿eh? Bueno, de eso se trata, de eso se trata, de contar aquí tus maravillas y que tú te pongas roja. Eh, estábamos hablando del nivel de dificultad. ¿Has visto el puzzle? Entiendo, te lo paso. Vale. Nivel de dificultad, ¿y por dónde empezaría Jimena? A ver, yo creo que empezaría por el cochecito, ¿eh? Venga, va, ahí. Es el azulito que se ve claramente. Y después de allí, a lo mejor seguiría con los letreditos y luego me pondría a lo mejor con, con la... Torre de, torre. Pisa. de Pisa. Yo creo que iría por ahí, pero bueno, yo soy bastante desordenada a la hora de pull down. Pero bueno, es más o menos lo que habíamos comentado hace un momento con Eva, que son las partes como más identificables. Me he puesto nervioso porque he visto una participante de Malasia, que no habíamos visto hasta ahora. Madre mía, esta es la primera vez que vemos una. Dice, qué maravilla, porque creo que no habíamos tenido nadie participando en un campeonato no suena, del mundo no anterior de Malasia. Yo creo que no, que no, que no lo habíamos tenido. Vale, eh, estamos de con el que nivel de dificultad medio, sí. medio. Eh, hemos hecho una apuesta de tiempo. Te voy a decir, Jimena, que esta mañana hemos cerrado, no, hemos estado absurdos los dos. O sea, no hemos dado ni uno. Yo no he dado una tampoco. Nada, nada, hemos estado lejísimos. Eh, Jesús ha dicho unos 40 minutos, yo he dicho unos 36, teniendo en cuenta que está Alejandro Clemente. Se aceptan apuestas. But they can see what's happening. We're already almost 10 <laughs> minutes in, but... Now we're working. Well, I'm not seeing as many comments, but I, yeah, no, it's not working. Yeah. What did you say? One minute. One minute. Yeah, you know, it's one of us talking because everybody's saying they want to be able to hear you and they can't. Okay, I'm seeing in the comments fixed, so oh, maybe we're fixed. Right. <laughs> Let's hope right, we're fixed. Right. Sorry, so, Jeanette. Jeanette no, came, okay. <laughs> and then this is, you know, the first time this has happened today. It's fixed. been working. Yeah, it's been working right, really hear. great all morning, and now looks like we're good to go. So people are like, okay, start over. <laughs> so I was talking. I was asking Jeanette. She is one of the international teams. And uh, she was explaining to me that this is actually the first time that they have met and played physically together because they met mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. and it was Donna Louise who started or yeah. got you together. So there's mm -hmm. Donna Louise from New Zealand, there's you from Slovenia, there's someone from the UK and there's someone from Australia. Yeah, we've got Vicky from UK and Vicky. Juby from Australia. So Juby's mm -hmm. already done, she was in Group B, she qualified. Yeah, yeah we saw and that. And Vicky yeah. is in the next one, so she's, she's still yeah. waiting to be to do mm -hmm. her puzzle. Yeah. So I do want to just kind of note quickly, you know, who we have in this round. We have a lot of top competitors here. The, the first one, of course, being Alejandro Clemente Leon, who is in the table right in front of the commentary area here. He's at table number one, last year's world champion. Uh, so all eyes are on Alejandro, I would expect. Um, and, you know, he's been featured here on the screen multiple times. You can see him standing and kind of in his usual hunched over position, which I don't know how his back can do it. 
um, but he likes to stand when he puzzles and he moves incredibly fast. Right next to him at table two is Tammy McLeod, who's a top puzzler in the USA, and she's a fellow USA JPA board member with me, so of course I'm rooting for Tammy, but yeah, we just have some really strong competitors in this round. Um, Ali Krasny is also in here. We also have Sarah Schuler from America who is fast. And, you know, who are you looking out for, Jeanette? Is there anybody in this round outside of Alejandro that you're kind of looking for or cheering on or, or you know, expecting to do well? Well, I think Tammy definitely mm -hmm. because I know her from Instagram as well. <laughs> yeah, and we've met now mm -hmm. for the past two days. So mm -hmm. definitely her. I don't know anyone like I don't have any personal friends in this group unfortunately okay. so okay yeah, I think them too yeah for me I haven't yeah. seen all of the people in the group but I'm sure there are some really good puzzlers oh yeah there was a question actually about Karen sure. Karen Puzzle's uh, sister and yes she is competing oh yes, I see yeah, yeah. yeah. Katie, Katie, Kivet. Katie yeah. Kivet yeah oh yeah I see her she's yeah. right there yeah yep yeah, and I don't know if, I mean, I was trying to kind of deal with the technical issues here. While you guys were talking, have you talked much about the puzzle? I, I mean, it's people can see it now and see what they're working on. I'm going to be really interested because I kind of feel like this could be all over the place. Is somebody going to, is everybody going to have the same thing left at the end? Is everybody going to be kind of different? I expect the tree up in that left upper corner is maybe going to be one of the last things to go because that's a lot of similar looking little green bits um, but i am curious how many people are just going to start with the leaning tower of pisa and just go straight for that what would you do jeanette well, if I this did. was you i did <laughs> <laughs> you did because i did this puzzle okay. with donna louise and i actually was in charge of uh -huh. the tower okay. and the trees Oh, but, so you give yeah. you assign things well, when you're doing pairs. Kind so of? like we've did, we've done like puzzling together for the first time, and I've only puzzled oh. pairs with my sister once. Okay. And we did it side by, side by side. So mm -hmm. I wanted to try how it is if I puzzle upside down. But oh. the table at the hotel is a lot wider, so it was a lot harder oh, to do right. it. Like these are these are much better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I did the the tower, mm -hmm. and actually I wished I didn't do it straight in the beginning because really? yeah, there was so many of like the same like architecture that mm. I just got really confused by it. And until I connected quite a few pieces together, I had no idea what I was doing. But yeah, yeah. we did have the tree left for the last. Like I think we were doing mm -hmm. the bottom sections of the trees were yep. like definitely left for last. Mm -hmm. I could see where it'd be really tempting to do that little De La Dolce Vita poster right away. I would guess that that stands out easily. The car probably stands out pretty easily. So, and you can see Alejandro there. He's, yep, he's got the yeah. car and he did the moon and the little bit of sky that's showing right away. It kind of looks like everybody on the screen has had that same approach of just kind of tackling those bits first. But I think this looks like a fun puzzle. It's very varied. You kind of got a lot of different areas you can work on. Yeah, it's really good. It's got a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's really important in a puzzle because I, I like to do full flip, you probably noticed. <laughs> and <laughs> then I just see one texture and I really get like stuck with the texture and I just go through the, all the puzzles and mm -hmm. try to collect all, everything that it's got the same texture mm -hmm. so that hotel was actually quite easy for me to find the pieces for mm -hmm. I, would I think it's trying to find um, letters and words mm -hmm. is obviously yeah. quite, a, quite a good yeah. technique good instinct mm -hmm. Julia yeah. that no, actually I mean, it's is just what yeah. I've noticed that I, yeah. mean, I think I'm not a speed puzzler but well. I'm a you know, not yet, not Julia. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe after all tonight we'll we'll get one of these out. Oh, you do. Yeah. Oh, good. I went quite recently to in England. I went to the um, the Henry Moore Studio and Gardens. Henry Moore was a very famous um, sculptor in okay. the 1950s with Barbara Hepworth, and he does these beautiful, great big sculptures. But in his studios, he has very small little models that he used to make when he was preparing for these big sculptures. Mm -hmm. And I went there quite recently and I bought a jigsaw puzzle that oh. was of this studio and it's covered in lots of tiny little figures and, and bits of wood and mm -hmm. stones and fossils and so I'm gonna, I am going to, I'm inspired now <laughs> to try and do that. But yeah. um, I'm still interested though in the difference between doing um, when something's a photograph mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or when something is an illustration and whether one is easier than the other or is it just about color and space and shape does it really make any difference it makes it makes a huge difference does it? yeah so for me i like i could see that the time depends on the picture as well like a lot 
And with illustrations, the problem is that they can use the same color across multiple places and they also make them really busy. Mm -hmm. So for instance, the first puzzle today, the bottom half was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But because I thought, yeah. no, but it was, it was just like, there was no specific like section. Mm -hmm. So it was like basically half of the puzzle had the same yeah. picture mm -hmm. and it's really hard to go from there. Mm -hmm. But for instance, the sky, because it was a very clear gradient mm -hmm. and it's got so many, like even the sun, you, the sun, you could see the the rays yeah, yeah the yeah. rays so that was really easy like that was one of the easiest things to do yes. i think i was everything on the puzzles today that was the easiest part yeah. but then the bottom half was really difficult so that's one thing with like picture puzzles you can't really know which part is going to be really difficult because you just yeah. do one but with these ones they can actually design it mm -hmm. they could have made that a lot easier if they wanted, wanted to <laughs> yes yeah. well and that's true like ravensburger when they are ravensburger um if when they work with artists who are doing illustrations you know they try to actually you know in a lot of cases design a puzzle so they're yeah. purposely creating a piece of art that works well in a puzzle that has clearly distinct areas and you know I having talked to the the team and the North American team that actually works on the puzzle designs you know they'll tell you they they want their puzzles to present a challenge but not be frustrating at yeah. the same time yeah, no. and so um, illustrations I think do lend themselves to a bit more ease um, mm -hmm. you know the photograph like this morning you often have a soft focus area yeah. and so it's gonna be slightly blurry and you're not gonna have crisp edges mm -hmm. and that can make it a little bit more difficult when you're puzzling yeah. versus an illustration where all the lines are crisp and clear and make yeah. it really easy to make connections you know when you put something in you know that's that it's in the right spot yeah mm -hmm. So we're having a look here now at uh, yeah. someone from France, someone from the USA, and someone mm -hmm. from uh, Switzerland. Yep. They seem to be whizzing along. Who's no. this? Frank. Frank, is it from Switzerland? Yeah, looks like. I, I, love always, I always I mm always -hmm. love seeing which countries are represented in each of the groups. So this is in group D we're in now, everybody. Yep. And somebody and in the comments had asked, you know, how many move on from this group? It's 60 people will move on from each of these qualifying divisions today into a semi-final round. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's nearly done. <laughs> He's like 18 minutes in, come on. I know. <laughs> I'm so that. happy I'm not going up against him. <laughs> I know, all of the Americans that were like, oh, I'm with Alejandro's group. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of like you're excited, but at the same time like, oh, well, I know how this is going to go. A bit of resignation there because he's just amazing. I mean, look at his hands and how quickly they move. And you can see it in the comments, people here just saying, you know, it looks like he's putting in seven pieces at once. You know, <laughs> he just moves so quickly. But yeah, look at that. He's 20 minutes in approximately, and he's probably, a, yeah. would you say yeah, about a three, little three over, uh, maybe, maybe closer to half or just, yeah. just under half maybe. Yeah, he's definitely moving along though. But definitely different, I'm seeing some different strategy, you know, Tammy so at the table. The, the, the lady door. there, the French lady, that mm -hmm. was the one who was doing the sort and build. Yeah, mm -hmm. build as you and sort, she, yeah. Build, build as you sort, yeah. yeah. build as you sort. Um, and she seems to be doing quite well, she's concentrated on, yeah. she's also got a bit of a blue thing, so she's done the moonlit yeah. sky and she's working now on the, the bottom corner where you have the, the car. And, and not the doing, street. not doing the edge first, she's... She's just doing the edge as it corresponds to the area she's working on. Yeah. So that is interesting. He is. Somebody saying Alejandro is impressive to watch. He really yeah. is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we've got uh, somebody here from, from Egypt, I see, in this group, which I think is the first time. But we've got France, we have Norway, we have Sweden, we have Germany, we have Finland, we have South Africa. I don't know that flag. I need to find out what that one is. I know, you really got to brush up on your flags uh, here because they use them on all of the um, placards. Canada, mm -hmm. Argentina. Who else? We've got someone So yeah, from Sophie China. from France is, yeah, she's definitely got a different approach, but it looks like it's working for her. And then we got 57 there at the bottom from Germany. I'm just going to quick look up her name here. Katerina. So, I, okay, so this is your first contest, Jeanette. Yeah. How much was it what you expected and, or how different was it from what you expected? Well, I think like the environment is so lovely. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I expected it to be so like, even just walking 
into the dome and just having all the people here and everyone's so friendly yes. and wants to talk and everyone just talking mm -hmm. about puzzles mm -hmm. that's like so nice like I've never experienced anything like that mm -hmm. But then, <laughs> going into the competition, oh, that's a different story. I don't think I've ever shaken that much in my life. Really? Yeah, because I, I could hear you. I was at the table right there, and I could hear you talking, and I was, like, focusing on what you were saying, so I would calm myself down. So I, I think, I think I, it took me about 15 minutes to, like, just calm my nerves. And then I was like, okay, Jeanette, it's just a puzzle. Just puzzle. You know how to puzzle. Just put the pieces in. If you do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. So... Yes. Next time, headphones. Then you don't want to no. listen to us. No, I enjoyed. <laughs> oh, good. I okay. enjoyed it. <laughs> She's like Val, Julia. Just be quiet over there. Let me finish. <laughs> so somebody has commented here that um, in the Spanish chat, apparently somebody said that Alejandro uh, did this puzzle before. Oh. And Ooh. did it in 25 minutes in another contest in February. What? No. Alejandro they used this in another Zela. contest. So maybe that was. Um, Maybe that was a pair, a contest in pairs. Oh, might have been. Well, that'll be interesting. We'll, well, if it was a pair and they finished in 25 minutes, be, yeah. I don't expect he'll <laughs> hit that, but, you know, no. he'll probably be shockingly close and oh, then we'll all be I, amazed. We've got a real close-up Yeah, up we're getting a real close-up, yeah. Oh, is it because of the fingernails? I think so. I think so. it's the fingernails. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, are those... Is that an American's fingernails? I think so. <laughs> it's, it's red, white, and blue. Even red, though a lot of us have the same colors Everyone's in the red, flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's yeah. true. Could that doesn't really me. tell you anything. <laughs> it could be, could be a number of countries. So somebody's saying, hello, Jeanette. You did a great, you did great. We're cheering you from Minnesota. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really surprised how many people are like up and watching this because I know some of them should be sleeping right now. Yeah. So yeah, it's really it nice. I'm impressed. Yeah, no, we're very appreciative that folks are tuning in, especially due to the fact we had the first 10 minutes there. So it was a little bumpy, but... Now here's Alicia. So that's Allie. Yeah, that's yep. the one with the nails. Yeah. Okay, oh, I was right. Was it was Allie's nails. I thought that might be her hands she's fast at work there. Like she's got a good stance there. Mm -hmm. I was worried about Karen's back. I keep talking about Karen's <laughs> back, but when she was bending over to do her puzzle, her back was so curved, and I want to sort of go, please straighten up your shoulders. You're gonna go have a bad back when you're older. <laughs> So Allie there, she's one of the USA JPA board members with me. There's four of us and she's one of the other organizers. So I've got two of my fellow board members in this round. And you know, part of the reason they got involved with our group and getting it started is because they're really passionate about speed puzzling. So, and they, you know, they've, they've given up a lot because they can't compete in the US in our national championship. Really? Um, as organizers, you know, that just oh, is kind a of a given. I know. <laughs> But this is their this is their opportunity. They can come to Worlds, compete, be on a level playing field with everyone, and you know I think they really enjoy that aspect of this. They get to come to this and just puzzle. They don't have to be on the on the job, so to speak. But I think we all agreed after national championships that we found hosting more rewarding than than puzzling. So you know it's all great. We love it. It's the community. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Jeanette, do you have a, a favorite jigsaw puzzle that you, yeah, you like to come back question. to again and again? Or do you just like the challenge of a different puzzle every time you do one? Or have you got one that's a real, you know, a real favorite one? Oh, that's a good question. Because lately, like for the past six months, I've been literally just going through as many puzzles as I can in preparation for the world. Yeah. <laughs> so I was kind of like just giving them away and swapping them for more new puzzles, you know, so we don't have to buy always new puzzles. <laughs> oh, yes, very good. But if there is like a puzzle, there's one that I don't know if I can get anymore, but the puzzle that started my puzzling not career, career but like because yeah. it was like journey. when i was a child journey. And my journey yeah, yeah. so mm -hmm. my tooth fell out yes and you know i wrote a note that i want to have like a 101 dalmatian dress mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> the tooth fairy oh, yes. brought me the 101 dalmatian puzzle 
Uh, yeah, so they kind of, like, awesome. she got it half right. <laughs> and I remember doing that puzzle over and over again. It was like the only puzzle I had as a child, but it was an adult puzzle. It wasn't like a children's puzzle. Mm -hmm. And it just stuck in my head. Like, I still remember the picture, but yeah. I tried to find it so many times and I just couldn't. Oh, and you People don't have, have it, you don't have it still? No, because no. I was like eight, seven, eight years old. Yeah. It's yeah. not in a box in the oh. attic at oh. mum and dad's house. No. I wish. They moved. <laughs> Why? No. So I don't look have at it. Katerina here is really moving, and I can see Alejandro from here. I do think he's ahead of her, but boy, she she might be coming in not far behind. So yeah, look, Alejandro. So look at that. Like look at the two of them. I would say Katerina might even have an edge. On, do we know Katerina? Has she competed before? You know, let me look that up. <laughs> I will. I will try give it a look Sorry, here. I, no, that's I, all right. But yeah. Alejandro's hands are so fast. I'm interested in his technique because he's the, he does full flip. Well, majority of the people do full flip. But what I tend to do is have puzzle close to me and have all the pieces around. around. And then I have to really like always like go over to yeah. find the pieces. But he's got the puzzle up and have the pieces at the bottom. Yes. So I think I have to try that because <laughs> it might be a lot yeah. easier to search for pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, and because I. They're nearer mm -hmm. to you, so you can yeah. look over the pieces, yes, perhaps. I'm not seeing her. I'm looking at last year's final individual round so. results, and I'm not seeing her name. So, my guess is that she's maybe new to the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. <laughs> so, that is going to be quite a coup if somebody comes in ahead of Alejandro. I think the place will Ooh. be a flutter if that yeah. happens because I think we've all thought of him as sort of the presumptive winner, yeah. you know, just. You know, not just because of his, I mean, well, because he's incredibly fast. I think last year he was eight minutes ahead of the, you know, the closest next finisher. Yeah. So when you're that far in advance of people, you kind of just think, well, what chance do I have? Yeah. <laughs> so it's really exciting to see somebody coming in that well. I did want to ask you, Jeanette, because I did watch some of your videos as you were like preparing on YouTube and like, you know, offering pointers. What's yeah. your what's your kind of top one or two pointers for people if they want to try speed puzzling? Well, for the first, pick a puzzle that's got a re really like colors of spe specific colors and sections of colors. Mm -hmm. So something like that or like a gradient, something really easy, like a really easy puzzle. Mm -hmm. And maybe start with less pieces. If you feel intimidated by like a 500 piece puzzle, start with a 200 piece puzzle yes. and just mm -hmm. see how you do. But always pick an easy image, something that's got really clear. Like I would say, for instance, the New York one mm -hmm. that they had in round B, that mm -hmm. one is like a fairly easy puzzle to do because it's got a lot of gradient, it's got a lot of chunks of colors, flowers, you know, the the statue as well. So that's definitely one puzzle that would be good for someone who's starting out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's yeah. just doing really well. Although I will say, look at Alejandro, how he's, he's filled in that one side fairly quickly. Yeah, but he has but a big section right. in the middle, doesn't he? Doesn't he doesn't have he's the not, tower done. He hasn't done the tower. Right. And that's where Katarina's ahead of him here, and that she yeah. has already completed the tower. And yeah. judging from what you said earlier, Jeanette, that's maybe one of the more challenging parts of the puzzle. So that might explain why Alejandro has a bit of a tough road ahead trying to get that done ahead of Katarina just filling in those other chunks. He's <laughs> tackled that tree, though, which I suspected would be one of the last things people would do because that's a pretty big chunk of that upper corner that's just a lot of green bits. The good thing about this puzzle is that there is a very distinct distinguish difference between the two trees mm. which is not always the case oh good normally you would just okay. say like you have tree leaves and you wouldn't know what belongs to which tree but with this one it was very specific mm -hmm. that's gonna this be is, a close one this is gonna be a close one <laughs> so katarina i'd say she's ahead would you i i think you might be right katarina. it's hard because hers is in two chunks and his is kind of in one there but, but just I, looking at what's left on the table, it looks close. I think she's got an advantage in this situation because it's harder to puzzle a big open chunk. Yes. Because you don't get the piece shape. Right. Where she's got so many smaller pieces left mm -hmm. that it's easier to find the, uh, the sh shape of the piece there. Yep. Although you say that and then you watch Alejandro for just like a minute yeah. and you see how quickly they're going in and you're like, okay, maybe not. It's just so hard to know. 
but that's what makes this exciting. You know, we're only 31 minutes into this and we're, we're getting there. What do you think finish time is going to be? Our number one finish time. Do you have a guess? Uh, 36 or 37. Okay. Oh, that's very specific. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. I got the group B wrong for like five minutes. I said the first one's going to finish in 35, so. Oh, yeah. I don't know well, how that one's going to go. 30, 30, nobody could have predicted 30, 38. That was like a... No, that was that's really... Like bananas time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody expected I mean, that. I've done a uh, London one, London mm -hmm. postcards, mm -hmm. because I wanted to see if it's better to do full flip or full sort. Mm -hmm. So I've done it six times. Really? <laughs> yeah, just doing it like yeah. one after yeah, the yeah. other. And my fastest time was the fifth time and it was 39 minutes. Fifth, That's amazing though. On a fifth time. Yeah. How do people do it in like half know. an hour in the first time? I don't know. I mean, but does that help to do it like that? And then do you start to feel like what it would be like to move your hands that quickly? Does that help at all? That's the thing. I don't know. I feel like I move really quickly, so I have no idea mm -hmm. how to move quicker. But you definitely learn the puzzle mm -hmm. the more you do it. Some folks are asking for an update on, you know, other folks around. I think, you know, guessing by the fact that they're focusing on these folks, they feel like maybe they're the top three at this point. Yeah, um, I'm sure once we have a finisher, you know, we'll start to gravitate out to show more puzzlers. But these guys are probably definitely taking the lead at this point. But, you know, we were all... Is ahead, yeah. isn't she? You well, can see. She's, she's ahead uh, of Alejandro. Not mm -hmm. sure anymore. Not really? I don't know actually because she's I'm looking. She's got more pieces out. Yes, and the pace at which he's putting them in there makes me think Alejandro might still have this. He's only got the tower left. Yes. But oh, you see, she knows exactly which shape to put in. Yeah, it's going to be close. And interesting and, if we haven't ooh. seen Katarina before. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I looked through last year's results and it, it's not coming up unless. Do we have some, do we have some people oh, wow. from Germany on the live chat? Does yeah, anyone can know weigh in. Katerina? Yeah. Does anyone know Katerina? And if she's competed before, we're not sure. This is very oh, close. that's going to be a close call. Oh, wow. yes. Wow. Wow, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> the that's crowd is just nice. getting rowdy in here. Wow. We've got people cheering before oh, a winner is called. It. Oh, there you go. There you got it. In the under 34. Wow. 33, I think it was around 33, 38 or something like that. It'll come up on the results board. Wow. Wow. That was a shocker. And I mean, she was like 20 seconds behind Alejandro. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody could have predicted we'd see somebody come out that strong against Alejandro. No, Katarina she was must there be for the so first time. thrilled. Somebody oh, somebody say, just said somebody for the first time. Her. Wow, that is incredible. What a performance. Well done, Katarina. Yes. Well, now we have a new person to watch. Everybody's yeah. going to be obsessed with how is Katarina going to be doing the rest of this, the rest of this four days. That's incredible. This is the biggest thrill of the day for me, just watching. I feel, don't you feel it? Like everybody in here is just like amazed, I think, yeah. right now. That's fantastic. So much fun to just see somebody who we've never even heard of come in. She was at table 57. She's way towards, you know, the middle of the room. I'm sure she'll be in the front the next round. Yes, she will be. <laughs> She will be in the front in the next round. But semi-finals, we do two people at the same table, right? Yeah, well, the, he does reserve, I think, the front 20 tables do have a table to themselves, and then okay. the rest are going to be sharing. Yeah. I'm scared that I would share with someone like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would make me more stressed out to see how quick they are. I, I mean, I will say last year, having competed and shared a table with someone, uh, yeah, it didn't help. Yeah, thank <laughs> I did, you. <laughs> I did find myself constantly, you know, glancing over and seeing where they were. And it was great at first because we were kind of on pace and I was like, okay, I'm doing all right. And then all of a sudden she started to pull ahead and then it was a little like defeating. <laughs> so my suggestion is just, you know, don't look as much as possible because it is a little distracting. I will say the, the folks that won't have to share a table, it's a bit of an advantage. 
because um, you just don't have that right next to you. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it was a bit interesting because I was in the front row, so I had no one before me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to know how others were doing because I wanted to sort of like compare myself. Mm -hmm. But now that you said that, I'm like, maybe it's better that I didn't. <laughs> Like, I've yeah. been at I've been at um, competitions before where you choose your table. You just you know you sign in and then go pick a table, and we literally will on purpose. Okay, there's the really good people. We're gonna go on the opposite end of the place so that we don't catch ourselves wanting to watch them the whole time. It's it's really easy to get distracted by that. And like you said, when you hear the cheering, you know, then you're just like ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. So Katarina was only 16 seconds behind. 16. Oh 16. my gosh. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. And Alejandro finishing in under 34. That's also amazing. I mean, but he did this yeah. puzzle for the second time. Oh, well, that's, that's so true. You're right. Yes. That's yep. Spanish chat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Yep. Yeah. So I wonder oh, what would happen. Oh, there's Sarah. Okay, we had some people in the chat going, "Where's Sarah?" Because Sarah does puzzles is a popular Instagram, so I think she has some fans out there so, yeah, watching. So she's at table seven. Yep, she's at table seven. That's her up there. We're at thirty-seven thirty. Sarah Shula. She is currently Shula. the number one ranked uh, puzzler in the United States. So, is she? Yeah. And the fact that it's 37.44 and her and Tammy both have a little bit left tells me this puzzle is a, is a tougher one because, you know, usually I would say a really fast puzzle for the two of them, we're talking right around the 40 minute mark. So I think this puzzle is a little bit more challenging. Sarah. That's an interesting question, somebody saying some people haven't finished their puzzle and they have a queue of ah. their name. How come they qualify as well for this series? So, so for the semis? I don't yeah. know that. So I think earlier there might have been some confusion. If you look at the rules, um, it, if they're from a country where no other representative finished and they're one of the only you know people maybe competing from that country, I believe they can still advance to the semis if they're okay. the first person from their country. Um, so and that's up to some, 30 countries. This, this is a, the question here was about somebody's playing now and they haven't finished their puzzle. Oh, well then that, that, that seems a, like that would be an error maybe, but that it could have been from happen. earlier. Yep. Yeah, but it's probably that then, that if there are some countries that aren't represented. Right, they right. If they, yeah, if they're the first place person from their country, they might still be advancing to the semis. Yeah. The rules are pretty specific. If you go to the website and you want to learn more about that, you can look at all of that. Um, and there's information about the puzzles on there as well, that um, the puzzles being used in these qualifying rounds are published puzzles. They're ones that people might have done before. They might have even been, like Jeanette just was saying, used in another competition. And so people have actually puzzled with them before. Um, but the ones that will be used in the final rounds are all going to be unpublished puzzles. There's no way any of them will have done them before. So that will be exciting. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. And I'm looking around the tables uh, at, at the moment and some of the people using the, their bottles of water to make the, the, the picture stand up, some people lying flat. There aren't so many lucky mascots on the table in this qualifying <laughs> round D. No unicorns. Obviously, no unicorns. <laughs> you had unicorns. No, no, no. It was the other, somebody else. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you have anything that you like to keep with you as a lucky charm or a lucky something to make you feel like you're doing your best? No. no. I used to. I used to compete in dancing. Oh, so right. I had like, yeah, you would come to the stage and just put the toy down, yeah. you know. <laughs> But like I, I didn't. No, I didn't bring yeah. anything with me. Okay. So we'll have a look at this thing. So here. what's the time difference for you, Jeanette? Are you dealing with any jet lag or doing Absolutely okay? nothing. Really? I'm in oh. the same time zone. You are in the same time yeah. zone. Okay, well that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. When did you arrive in Valladolid? On Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a 7 a.m. flight from uh, Vienna. Mm -hmm. But I had a four-hour journey there, so I basically left at like midnight. So mm -hmm. I was up all night. Oh, okay. So I was a bit like 
not rested, <laughs> but I had some sleep. Oh, that's so, good. So you've had a chance to recover. I, I know. Did. I don't know how people do it where they, you know, fly in last night type of deal and then are here competing the next day. I, I think a lot of the Americans tried to come, you know, last week or at least the weekend so they had a few days to adjust because um, I would think that would be, you know, pretty difficult if you're coming in and still adjusting to the time. Yeah, I cannot imagine doing the puzzle with being like having jet lag. <laughs> Maybe the adrenaline just keeps you going. <laughs> well, there was a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do think people, uh, it seems strange when you take an activity like puzzling, which a lot of people say they do to relax, and then you're here and everybody's stressed <laughs> and they're shaking and they're full of anxiety and nerves. And But I mean, I think once you, if you if you do a speed puzzling event and you enjoy it, then you, you do kind of get hooked on it. Yeah. Are you hooked, Jeanette? This was your first one. Well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> No, this one was the first one was really stressful for me, but I managed to calm down. So yeah. I think the next one's like I've done it now. Yeah. So I think it's just gonna get better from yeah. now. Yeah. It's I think too when you have the parent team. Yeah, you've that's got a someone less to talk to. So. Exactly. Yeah. So number seventy-eight, Saka from the Czech Republic is looking. She's looking very good here at the bottom. Yeah. And Tammy from the I think USA. Tammy is really doing well. I finishing. think Tammy's very close. Yeah, yeah. She might end up being our third place and finish. Alicia. I think it might be Tammy. Yeah. What do I know? <laughs> I mean, you can have that last minute moment, can't you, where you panic, I would imagine, mm -hmm. where you think, oh no, oh, no, I'm nearly there, or you don't want to muck it up, but then, you know, you lose your focus. It must mm -hmm. be very frustrating. Uh, yeah, we've talked about this earlier too, but I think that is the hardest thing is maintaining focus, especially if you start to sense a slowdown. You know, if you're kind of in a rhythm and you're just bing, 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 you're getting them in, and then all of a sudden you struggle a little bit, it can really be hard to get that momentum back yeah. And, yeah. and get going again. I, I know, you know, when I competed last year, I hit a slowdown and then... I, I literally was like, maybe I'm just not going to finish. <laughs> and then I heard people cheering and that, you know, kind of helped lift me up and keep me going. But yeah. I mean, it, did must you be, have, yeah. it must be hard when you, you, you mm -hmm. know, there's bottles of water on the table, but hardly anyone's touching their bottles of water. Oh. There's no time to drink. No, no time to drink. No, you drink <laughs> after. Or do you need another burst of energy? Do you suck a sweet? Or? <laughs> no, no, like I, actually the top team in the U.S., they won the U.S. National Championships. Their team name was No Snacks. Oh, really? <laughs> That's because there's no time for snacking. There's no, no you time do for drinking everything water. You want to do before. <laughs> yes, exactly. When you puzzle, you puzzle. Yep. And that's a challenge when you have a, you know, you're going to do two 1,000 pieces in a row and you're going to be competing for three hours. You just have to keep going. You see, I'm actually quite worried about that. Like, this Saturday yeah. is going to be a big day because we've done team puzzling once now mm -hmm. and we wanted to do two puzzles but we didn't do them exactly like back to back but uh -huh. we finished one mm -hmm. then talk about strategy then yep. started the second one but then we had to leave because it was the opening ceremony oh okay so we never finished the second puzzle oh and we're like we we are not actually sure if we did finish <laughs> like if we would finish both You'll in three it. hours you, you can do it you'll be fine <laughs> Well, it depends what puzzles you pick. I was going to say, I say that, and then I think about last year where we only had one team that actually finished the final uh, puzzles in the last final division. Um, but I would hope that this year the puzzles will be a little easier. But I think they had uh, one 1,500 yes. pieces and one 1,000. That's true. This year yeah. it's two 1,000 pieces and no 1,500 piece. That'll make a difference. That 1,500 piece was really and a killer last year. Who picks the puzzles? <laughs> It's a secret. What was? Oh yeah, I don't know either. I mean, oh. they don't tell I think us. It's Ravensburger, no. isn't it? Oh they yeah, they're, they're the all puzzles. Ravensburger puzzles, and you know, they work they, with Alfonso. But yeah, yeah they, as commentators, decide. we don't know. No, yeah. we don't know. We, don't we know. see them right as the audience is seeing them. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, just a I reminder that on Saturday safe. morning, because mm -hmm. we, we were talking about the teams, the, the, the Group A teams is at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning, and that's for three hours mm -hmm. to do the two 1,000-piece puzzles. And then the second Group B is at 12.30 to 3.30 on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So that's something to look forward to. Oh, I'm so Tammy proud of Tammy. Look at her go. I think she's going to get third place, judging by the fact the camera's still on her. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Oh, congratulations, Tammy. I'm so happy for you. That's a great performance. 45 minutes, 45 seconds approximately. 
and number three in her division. She must be thrilled with that. But you look at the time difference. Alejandro finished 12 minutes ago, everybody. That's crazy. <laughs> um, and then Katarina was right behind him, you know, close to 12 minutes ago as well. That's a big gap. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see, like, we said if we ended up with Alejandro, we would ignore the first clip because it's like it's Alejandro and then it's everyone else. Yes. But obviously this year we've got yeah. someone else being up there with Alejandro. I cannot wait to hear if Alejandro's going to be sweating it a little bit more yes. this year now that he he's clearly is. got some tough competition. But when he won last year, he hadn't competed before, had he? Alejandro? Oh, I think he had competed quite a bit in the oh, Spanish circuit. Oh, the Spanish mm -hmm. circuit, yeah. not in the world. Um, I think he had done worlds, but I don't think he had won previously. Yeah. yeah. So he was, you know, a veteran competitor, I would say. But, but yeah, like you said, a lot of times that's the way people kind of frame it. Well, there's Alejandro, and then there's everybody else. Yeah. Um, but now we've got another person just right there with him. Oh, and good for Sarah. Look at her go. She's gonna Sarah get in there, Shula. maybe. Yep. So she's a YouTuber as well? Is she? No, she does more Instagram. Instagram. Yep. It's okay. called Sarah Does Puzzles, yep. And she posts a lot on Instagram. Oh, and Allie's doing really well too. She's right she's in it with Sarah. Mm -hmm. She's also left the uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa till, till mm -hmm. last. Yep. She's also, she's finished the trees, because I know that some people have been saying in the chat as well, and I've seen just from how people have been competing that, that the tree, and particularly in the top left-hand corner there, is, is quite tricky. I can see that because it's quite similar to the mm -hmm. other tree. The lemons helped. I think they're lemons. lemons oh, are light. sure. So that was like lemons, the first yeah. section I did when I was doing that tree. It's just the lemons because they were standing <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. So where you're from in Slovenia, is there much of a competitive jigsaw puzzling world? Are there competitions? Yeah, a yeah. lot. No, I'm kidding. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Usually, oh, no, that's too uh, bad. Okay. I'm like the one, I think, pushing it more. Like, we mm -hmm. have a Facebook group for exchanging puzzles, mm -hmm. and I'm like, every time I post them, it's like the most active member. I've got the loyalty badge in the group. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it is. Well, We've got is, no competitions there. This is your role. You're here representing. You're going to you're gonna get people over there more aware, and before you know it, you're going to have competitions and you know something in America that's happened is a lot of people use them for fundraisers, school groups, libraries, you know, mm -hmm. if they have a space like a gym or a yeah. big space where they can bring in a lot of tables, it's a great fundraiser. You know, you get families and people of all ages and it's really fun and so I tell people all the time like you got to just organize one, just set it up and look at there she is. Sarah just finished. Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> yes, so well done, Sarah. That's fantastic. Uh, so see, right course, under look, 50. I can see over her table there, she has uh, obviously been filming herself. That will be going yeah. on to her channel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you film yourself, Jeanette? I did. Oh, you did. Yeah. yeah. A lot Just of people the time do the lapse. time lapse. Yeah. yeah. It drains too much battery to do it. It's like <laughs> the video is just too big. Sure. So no, a lot of people do the time lapse. I actually, I think Tammy was filming herself. You know, if you do some searching on Instagram later, I think people yeah. will get a lot of puzzle content. It's a whole new world. <laughs> it really is, right? I've got to jump into. <laughs> oh, Are she's you loving it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What I really love is just the international nature of it. I mean, it really is. It's like, you know, it's like football. <laughs> it's, oh, is she going to be Almost Allie? everyone from the whole world is here. It's I feel like this person and Allie were just kind of neck and neck, but, you know, she's maybe going to edge out Allie because she's got the trees left rather than the building. Yeah. And I think the Leaning Tower of Pisa seems a bit harder to get together than the, than the trees. Oh, and here's somebody, 65 from Czech Republic, Ava. She's also in the running. Look at that, she's about the same spot as Allie there, just trying to fill that last bit of the structure in. Oh wow, this could be close. I think this is for, we're up to four finishers. So this is for fifth, fifth, sixth, and seventh place here. Well, there we go. Saka from Czech 
Czech Republic. And there's somebody, number 65 there is from the Czech Republic as well. Yeah. Ava. They are definitely a stronghold because you've got Teresa and I mean they have a lot of folks that have finished high school. Yeah. Allie, fantastic. So 51, 19. Oh, oh, it looks yeah. like, yep, number 89. Got in there, right? Yeah. Well, I got to do a shout out to Ali. I bet she's super excited about that time because she did really, really well. I'll, I mean, everybody's doing well, but just knowing kind of, you know, where she sits in terms of usual competitor, um, I'm sure she's super happy with that. This is great. Very good. So Jeanette, you're, um, the person that you're doing the pairs with, are they also from uh, Sweden? No, I'm from Don and Louise. Oh, you're doing Don and Louise? Yeah, Sorry, so we are presenting yeah. New Zealand. Right. So we didn't matter which uh, country we picked because we are so both the only ones. Did you toss a coin or is it going to be New Zealand or is it going to be well, Slovenia? I think what we did because there was another girl who applied from Slovenia, so oh. we just said that she can just apply oh, just just in case congratulations to Slovenia, Ava Slovenia, you know <laughs> and more people know New Zealand so it would be more people cheering for us okay there's only two million Slovenians so. <laughs> I don't think there are many more New Zealand people are there I don't know <laughs> well definitely people are more coming people know to, oh, New there's, Zealand <laughs> people are coming there's a lot coming in now and that's true we're just nearing that you know we're just still under an hour, hour and we're and we've got a lot finishing which is impressive so this is Jose from Spain we're looking at now. Um, I just pulled up the results page and the first thing that sticks out is just what a gap between Alejandro and Katarina. And then we got a 12 minute wait and then now they're kind of pouring in. Oh, how nice work. close they were like two seconds apart those two very good <laughs> oh, so Selena from Norway ah nice oh no she is that like Sweden she's... Norway oh Sweden sorry Sweden. I'm so yeah. sorry that's okay I apologize to all the Swedish people <laughs> on the live stream and the Norwegians <laughs> Oh, I love her Totoro shirt. That makes me want to root for that person right away. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Alma. And he's wearing last year's t-shirt. <laughs> oh, he's not going down. <laughs> and that was Alexander. Alexander? From Belgium. Yep. Yeah, France. Oh, that's fantastic. So Lena's just finished mm -hmm. from Sweden. It's just constant finishers at this point. I'm trying not to get totally distracted, just trying to watch all these people. We've still got 35 minutes left, so that means a lot more left to finish. <laughs> from Brazil. I think nothing nothing is gonna be just like the first group. You know, mm -hmm. that one was That was a hard That one. was the toughest of the day for sure. Yeah. yeah. So if we rank them, which is which do you think was the next the next one that was the most difficult one? So we well have, yeah. having done both of the puzzles, I know I haven't done the entire puzzle this one. I would say that group C was harder than harder than that one. Then I would say this one and then the easiest group. Yeah. yeah, I would agree with so that. So yeah, it was the archaeology, mm -hmm. archaeologist table that was that one. I think that. my puzzle would be so much easier if there wasn't that many little details on it because it had like mm -hmm. a slight gradient. Yeah. Yes. But because there was so many stuff like brown things on them, yeah. you didn't know where to put it. Mm -hmm. So I think if there was no stones and stuff like that, just like the notebook being, being literally like gradient, it would be yeah. so easy to put together. Spanish competitor at table 99 from Barcelona just finished. 
Mayor Chell? So we must have about 10, 12 people, I think, now that have finished. Yeah, at least. I'll re refresh the results here and... Oh yeah, we are, we've got 13 that have finished. And still half an hour to go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Has it ever happened that everyone finished in time? You know, I don't know. I, I don't, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've, I, I've gone to many competitions, you know, where not everybody is finished. But usually in America, it's set up a little differently. The times are longer. Um, Worlds gives you a little less time, I think, than most other competitions. Okay. And I think that just speaks to the caliber, you know, you're at a world championship, so they're not going to give you three hours to do it, they're going to give you an hour and a half. Um, gotcha. But in America, if you did an individual division and it's not like a super high level, probably be more like a two, two and a half hour contest. Okay. I know when I organize contests, I like to get as many people as possible to finish so they have that sense of accomplishment um, and they don't have to put it back in the box before they finish, which is kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nobody wants to do that. But yeah, at this level, with this many competitors, you just got to kind of keep going. So it makes sense that the times are a bit shorter. And also, it would take so much longer as well because we've got so many groups this year. Yes, exactly. It would go on for two weeks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it would go on too long. We'd be here till midnight every night. So. Oh, okay. So somebody was asking about uh, the Italian competitors. We haven't seen any. There are two in this group, it looks like. But we haven't seen them, so they're obviously mm -hmm. still some way to go. Yeah, like I was mentioning earlier, you know, the cameras... Oh, there we go, another finisher from France. Oh, good for her. Hour. She's in under an hour, I bet she's uh -huh. thrilled. Just under the hour. Yep, That's just under day. the hour mark. That's good. So this is Kristen's mother here. Is it? Yes. Oh, she's do we know that? I just noticed. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just noticed that that was her. Oh, that is her. I think yeah. you're right. Yes, I recognize her now. Oh, fantastic. She was quite worried when Kristen was competing in that round. And we oh, yeah, because of the missing pieces. That's the right. Mysterious four or five. Yeah, pieces she's like five missing. pieces missing. Did you know that? Yeah, I saw. Yeah. yeah. That was quite the, you know, uh, caused a bit of a stir because, you know, you didn't want it to affect, because I don't think it was any fault of hers. It was just not yeah. there. So. Um, and having, you know, we were sitting right here, we could kind of watch her, definitely distracted her throughout. Um, just kind of being like, where are those pieces? And looking, you know, quite a yeah. bit for them. It's annoying because with those pieces that she was missing, mm -hmm. immediately you know that they're just not going to be there because right. they're so obvious that you would have seen yeah. them. Yeah. It's not like it's one dark piece that might pop up eventually. Right, right. There's a question about Alma Bell, little Alma Bell. She's not in this round, but I have seen her around the side watching somewhere over there. But she's not competing in this round. Somebody said, fast puzzling runs in the family of Kristen's mum is also fast. Yeah, not nice. wrong. No. <laughs> um, they did do really well in the pairs competition last Good. year. At More this, people to be afraid of. <laughs> right. Well, and I was going to say, at this level, it can't be like, oh, one of them is really strong, oh. you know, and then they still would place in pairs. You need two really solid puzzlers if you're going to do well at this level in a pairs competition. You can't just say, oh, well, Alejandro could be with anybody and he would win because, you know, there's lots of people with a really strong skill set. So, so, yeah, she clearly is really fast in her own right. Oh, another oh, just over, just over an hour. So, are you going to be puzzling later today, or are you going to take it easy for the rest of the evening, Jeanette? Are you 
That's a good question. <laughs> I mean, we've been puzzling every day now, but mm -hmm. they turned the lights off at like 11.30. Mm -hmm. uh, we were dining in like the dining area, well, puzzling in the dining area mm -hmm. in this our hotel. hotel. Oh. Yeah. So, we kind of have like a time limit. <laughs> so so if, sorry, to interrupt. So no. another, another um, competitor from the Czech Republic there. So that's oh, three great. Yeah. that we've had in this round. Yeah. Finishing uh, around the under the hour or, or just mm -hmm. around the hour. Oh, nice work. Hello, Debbie from Spain. Well done. Another Norwegian competitor. Veronica. There, Veronica finishing. Oh, I met her yesterday. I believe Veronica is also. Uh, does she have a YouTube channel, Veronica? Or maybe. No, it's Amelia, I think, maybe from Norway. Amelia, yeah. Yeah, that has the, the YouTube channel. I think channel. she's supposed to link group. Uh, Later in the day. Yeah, yeah, I think the last one. Okay. There's a lot of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So there's Sonia from Germany there, she was doing the, that, that difficult tree section. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, somebody was asking about how many countries, I think there's 53 different countries that are represented in the individual. Mm -hmm. Well, and there are some people, I, I don't think there's a ton, but there are some people that um, don't necessarily like to do the individual. They come here they and they just the pairs yeah, they teams. prefer to do yeah. the pairs and the teams. I can teams. understand that because yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's more of a sociable exactly. thing. A little less right. pressure when you're part of a team. Yeah. So yeah, I think there are some people probably who we aren't going to see in the individual who will be competing later. That guy's puzzle shirt was amazing. Go back to him. That was amazing. <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh yeah, I was on. Uh, he had like a really brightly multicolored puzzle shirt. It was just fantastic. So Here we we're at with, uh, 29, 29 results. Yeah. Number 13. What? Same time finish. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Look at so that. There was a tie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah. There's the shirt. <laughs> Oh, and he's got an armband like thing too, like a little buff there. Fantastic. Oh, so. Dorata. I don't know how you say it from Poland there. Wow, we are going to have a lot of people in under the hour and a half mark. Just based on how many people are already done, and we're only at a little over an hour. <laughs> I love this. Somebody in the comments just said, This is so wholesome. <laughs> it is wholesome, right? It just gives you a good feeling. I think just when you see faces, everyone is so happy when they finish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's another person who's done. Bite. Yay! So happy for everybody. It is such a great feeling. Jane Richardson. That's just fantastic. Jane Richardson from Scotland, actually. Oh. So we should have the Scottish flag. Yeah. I don't want to get into a political debate about whether <laughs> she should be a UK or a Scottish flag. There we go. Nice. Excellent. So if you guys are interested in seeing kind of the results as they come in, you can go to the website, there's results, and then you just go to the menu, look at results, click on, you know, 2023, and you can see them as they're coming in. All the different divisions are listed at the top. You just click on Division D, and you can watch them be posted in almost real time. I'm amazed at how fast the volunteers are at getting that time, running it to a desk and getting an input into the system so everybody can see it online. So Jeanette, any ideas for next year already? Have you, are you going to try to come back again do you think? Yes. Or is, yeah. I mean I'm the one who's the closest out yeah. of my group. 
So I'm still trying to like, we are trying to figure out if all of us can uh, come again. Mm -hmm. That would be ideal. Mm -hmm. But if that's not going to be the case, I might need to find new teammates. I hope Aww. that's not going to be the case. <laughs> but you did really well this year because I think for the first time you, you gave emails out to people or like mm -hmm. a chat room or something. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people managed to find pairs and groups that they couldn't do last oh, nice. year. Nice, yeah. That was a new thing yeah. that Alfonso added this year. So that's great. Amazing. Yeah. Because when you come here, you kind of want to get everything out of the competition you know mm -hmm. so why not just yeah. do everything yeah yeah I do think like once you've come once you kind of you know you look forward to coming again seeing everybody you met the time before and just getting to experience it all over again I feel incredibly lucky to get the opportunity to come it's you yeah. know it's just such a great great experience as a, a long time puzzle nerd yes must be <laughs> this is sort of it's you know puzzle nerd heaven yes it is yeah. it's puzzle nerd heaven puzzle and nerd heaven. it just really doesn't get any better than this if you're really into jigsaw puzzles oh and there we go something from the netherlands finish well done. Jeanette, have you ever had a, a puzzle that you just could not finish? That you, you just thought, I can't do this anymore, I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> do you sometimes get cross with the puzzle? Yeah, well, there were two puzzles in my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them since I started my channel. And mm -hmm. one of them just had really poor quality. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to announce it publicly. <laughs> okay, no. um, but good. it was basically all ribbon grid cut pieces. And yeah. it was like a lot of grass and you couldn't really see the gradient in the grass. And it wasn't like a clay grass. It was like a background. So it was really blurry. So I couldn't finish it. I started it after about, I think, two hours. I put like 10 pieces in. I was like, no That's way. No way. There's gonna, it's not enjoyable at yeah. all. And yeah. you don't know when you've got misfits. So I just intentionally put it together the wrong way. <laughs> And then it threw it in hurt. the dustbin. Yeah. No, no gave I gave it, it to someone. I said it's a really difficult puzzle, but one girl was like, I want to try it. I was like, okay, here okay. it is. Very good. So I like this idea of you swapping puzzles and sharing puzzles and uh, recycling the, the jigsaw puzzles. That's really lovely. Because as you said, we don't want to be buying things all the time that are new. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know when I go into charity shops in the UK, there's always jigsaw puzzles in there. Oh! Yes, Lou from Australia. She was here last year. Congrats um, to Lou. But yeah, I just table uh, I, nine. I always be worried about getting a puzzle that was, you know, what happens if oh. there is a piece missing, or two pieces missing? I can't think of anything more frustrating than <laughs> not finishing and not, not being able to have uh, the, the final pieces. It must be so difficult. So, I mean, for people that are in a competitive situation, it must be just heartbreaking sometimes when you're very near the end and you can see that you've got pieces missing. Mm. Have you ever had that when you really, like, mm. I just don't know where that piece has gone? Well, the thing is, is if I decide I want to put a puzzle on the wall, mm. then you I get... Them on the wall. Do you put them in a frame? You put them on the wall I just glue sometimes. them and put them on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Just the glue ones them that, to the wall. Yeah, yeah, the ones that I liked, so... But the thing is, if, 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 if it's one of those puzzles, then yeah, it, I would get devastated. But that yeah. normally mm -hmm. doesn't happen with the puzzle, so mm -hmm. that's okay, I yeah, guess. Yeah. But with going like charity shops, because I lived in London, yes. I used to go to charity shops all the time. To get jigsaw puzzles or yeah. just anything? Basically, <laughs> for, the, for the puzzles. Yeah. And then I moved back to Slovenia and we've got like one charity shop in Ljubljana, where I live. And it's so difficult, like they've got maybe 10 puzzles at a time and like eight of them are for children yeah. so it's really hard so I was just Facebooking like is there any puzzle exchange group and I found it and the good thing about it is people if they give you a puzzle that might have missing pieces you just tell them look this puzzle had missing pieces and they're just gonna give you an, another one yeah. mm -hmm. but normally like I've collected so many puzzles so, so far that if I get missing pieces I'm quite happy to just donate them 
so I'm not even like I worried about them before because I had less puzzles but now I've got like 80 plus so I'm like missing pieces it's yeah. fine just have a, have a puzzle <laughs> I would say that's the main struggle of all competitive speed puzzlers is where to put them all well, yes. <laughs> storage is definitely you, an issue yeah, how, you do know? You, how do you catalog them do you do it by color do you do it by style do you do it by size that's Brand. a good question. Yeah. I want no, to know big... how you organize your puzzles. Your I'll let you know puzzles. when I yes. find <laughs> out. <laughs> and everybody I... has their own thing. Yeah. No, I just moved now. So before I, I just had them under my bed. Right. And now I moved and I actually have like an entire wardrobe for my puzzles. And I haven't gotten around to, to like organizing it because I was just focusing on the competition and the move. So I said when I come back from Spain, I'll organize the, the wardrobe. So I'll let you know then. <laughs> to, yes. I think a lot of people go by brand, but you know, the boxes, it, like Robinsberger, a lot of the boxes are the same size. And, yeah. you know, yeah. So that helps. But um, every brand seems to have their own kind of box size and shape yeah. or whatever. So yeah, brand is a popular way of organizing them, I think. And but I yeah, think storing them sideways is very mm -hmm. important because then you can just easily pull them out. Yeah, exactly. People are definitely keeping an eye on the results to kind of see who's going to qualify, who's going to move up. They do denote that on the results, the who the qualifiers are. They have a big queue next to their results. So if you want to be tracking that, you can check that out on the website. So yeah, this is exciting. I mean, we're at 112 and you know, we've got a lot of finishers. Forty-three, forty-three mm -hmm. finished so far. There are, according to the roster, there's 99 people competing right now. So that means, you know, we still have about 50 people out there that need to finish. But whenever we kind of look at the group, it kind of looks like a lot of people are well on their way. So here's hoping for them that they make it in under the one and a half hour mark. Oh, they're showing the that. crowd, yeah. There's, there's Halahan, Alejandro, who's obviously a big smile on his face, yeah, having, yep. having finished first in this. Well, and what's funny is he's like a celebrity he, here, he I would is. say. <laughs> Everybody knows who he is. They know yeah. who Kristen is. It's kind of funny when um, you're walking around and you know, if you don't know, can I approach him? You know, he's yes. like a star. You're like, you know, do I go up? Do I talk to him? Do I leave him alone? You know, what do I do? So it is kind of great in that, you know, these folks that are really fast become celebrities in their own right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeanette, maybe you're a bit of a celebrity. You've got a YouTube channel and... Definitely wouldn't call myself a celebrity, <laughs> but I did have a few people come up to me and say hi. Well, they recognize all of us from the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers, okay. which is really nice. And some of them, I can see that like some people are just giggling and don't really know. Like they just look and don't know if they can come. And it's like, of course you can come. Like we're all here for the same purpose, you know, just talk about puzzle. And it's really nice when some people come up and just talk to you, you know? Yeah. 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 I, I think everybody here you know they yeah they want to meet other puzzlers so yeah I would always encourage people you know yeah just go up say hello um, well when I saw Alma I was like I have to have a picture with you <laughs> I'm like come here she's so adorable so it's like yeah of course I'm gonna do that you know yeah, yeah. so you're also fangirling over other yeah. people yeah <laughs> I'll admit that <laughs> anybody else you want a photo with <laughs> well actually I don't want to like annoy people, you know. But well, you just said you liked it when people come up to you, so you know it probably works. I know, for them. but I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh sure. So I it's see. a bit different. It's yeah, like yeah. Alejandro doesn't. Yeah right. I want to have a photo with him. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could ask him, and I bet he would be more than accommodating. He seems incredibly nice. I think it's a thrill. If you're good at something like this, you're out in the world and probably people just don't even know that about you. Yeah. And then you come here and you're appreciated. And I, yeah. I think that's probably Somebody's a thrill Somebody's come him. up with the idea mm -hmm. there of a puzzle-ebrity, which I quite like. Yes, puzzle that's great. Puzzle-ebrities. 
I love this, that they're showing some shots of the crowd so you guys can see what it's like in the dome. Oh, that's Alice. Yeah. I met them yesterday. Oh. Someone also asking about when the lights are going to go on, because at the moment the, the light in the, in the, the dome here has been just uniform, mm -hmm. very nice. It was quite, it was rainy this morning, then it was very sunny for a long time, but it looks like it's mm -hmm. quite a dull afternoon again. So mm -hmm. I expect then, because the time here now is uh, 20 past 6, really mm -hmm. coming up to that mm -hmm. so it'll be starting to get dark so I expect yes they will be turning the lights on I expect yeah. for the next qualifying round group E which will be starting at seven o'clock yeah I mean that is going to be interesting I've never been here in here after dark Absolutely. so I don't really know what it looks like when all the lights are on and it's not the daylight coming through the the dome yeah um but again, I mean, even if it's a slightly different lighting situation, everybody's competing within their division. They're not competing with people that have the good light. They're all going to be in the same conditions, so uh, it doesn't affect how equitable or fair everything is. So Sandra from Italy looks like she's very near to finishing there. Mm -hmm. I know we had somebody ask me about the Italians, and there are two Italians yes. competing in this group. Oh, good job, Sandra. Sandra. Sandra probably. Molto bene. <laughs> Molto bene, Sandra. Hour 16. Very that good. is an admirable time. And this is a competitor from Portugal, Nuno. I don't know if you say it like that. Nuno, Nuno. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody just said they should have meet and greet times for the puzzle celebrities. <laughs> yes. So that it can happen at a specific time. Somebody asked, will the commentators stay till the evening? Yes, of course, we're here for all of it. We've, we've actually got some sort of sleeping bags at the back there. <laughs> we're here for the night. Yep, I'm just gonna camp out under the table here. There's a few puzzles to lay my head on. It should be great. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here. Um, the final competition tonight is at 9 p.m. local time till 10.30 and we're, we're in it. So we're gonna be here. What are you going to be doing for the rest of the day, Jeanette? Well, we've got Vicky in the next group, so definitely so gonna we're going to be, be watching, cheering. Yeah. Watching, yeah. I mean, I've like the only thing, the only group I'm not going to watch, I think, is the last one because we're going to go get dinner. Yeah. Okay. But I'll watch the beginning because I want to see the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> and we might come back for the end just to see like who's. Yeah. See or maybe oh, go to the hotel well. and I watch the live. I didn't see what country thing. she's from. I missed that. Another finisher. Portugal. Uh, Nuno, Portugal, well done. Nuno, yeah? Oh, and just a few more pieces left there. I tell you, you know what I'm going to do later? Yay! I'm going to do a puzzle later. That's what I'm going to do. I can't watch this all day and then that puzzle before I go to bed tonight. It's so frustrating for you to see all these people getting their teeth. It is funny when no, I you don't got, get your yeah. teeth into a puzzle. That's not quite the right term. Get your fingers on yeah. that. The puzzle dust. Yeah, it like is, I definitely dust. want to do one Fairy right dust. now. <laughs> I had around sprinkling yeah. puzzle dust everywhere, Valerie. I, I had so many people when I got to the welcome ceremony last night that recognized me from last year and they're like, oh, you're here again to puzzle? And I was like, no, I'm commentating. And they were like, wait, you're not puzzling at all? And just looking at me like I was absolutely crazy. And I'm like, well, this is kind of, you know, my thing now. I'm enjoying this aspect of it. I mean, it's definitely more like enjoyable than being on the spot. <laughs> I mean, nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking. Yeah, definitely. This is not. true. It, I actually find this relaxing compared to puzzling. Yeah, um, it's easy to watch other people puzzle. You know, because when you're puzzling, you feel like you're moving so slow. But then seeing other people, it, it just seems like they're just moving at the normal speed. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting. So we've got just over ten minutes left. Oh, who's in that in 28 there? Round D. That is, oh, that's Katie. Oh, people have been asking about Karen's sister, Katie. There she is. And there she just was on screen. She's on table 28. And she looks like she's plugging along. I think she's maybe going to get done in under the Definitely. hour and a half. I think yeah. she'll make it. She's only got a few pieces left. Yep.
So any advice out there? I know we've talked a little about your tips for puzzling, but what about tips for being a YouTuber? Because you talk to young people nowadays, you say, what do you want to do for a living? And they all say, I want to be an influencer. Um, <laughs> do you consider yourself an influencer? Do you, what, what do you enjoy about doing the YouTube channel? I think I would definitely say that being an influencer and a YouTuber are very separate because influencers mostly I think like on Instagram promoting things. Mm -hmm. I think that's easier. YouTube is hard. It's like you don't so much what you don't realize when because my sister has a channel as well, she started before me and she was the one who kinda like pushed me into it. Mm -hmm. And I never realized how much work goes into it because you have to record everything. You have to get the equipment. You're, you're your cameraman, your sound man, your editor, your, I don't know. Your producer, your director, yeah, yeah. your star. Everything, everything. and it's, it. it's very time consuming. I don't think people realize how much time goes into There's it. There's Katie. She's finishing. Katie. Oh, She's congratulations to Katie. Katie. Thank you. That's well lovely. Done. I think she might have qualified. People in the comments were like, okay, I think she still got a chance to qualify. So that's exciting. Who's this? So this is Maria from... No, you raise a really interesting point though. I'm sure it is a ton of work. I mean, having worked in video production myself, just the editing process and all yeah. of that, that's really time consuming. Very much so. So how, yeah. how often do you typically post? Is it like once a week or are you producing videos pretty consistently? Yeah, I do them once a week because okay. I still got my other job, you know, because this doesn't pay me. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not like, yet, maybe someday. A little yeah. bit, not enough yeah. to, for me to survive. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I kind of like use all the money that I've made so far on this competition. So okay. yeah, well, I still have a day job. <laughs> And I'm gonna have it for quite a while. What still. is your day job? Oh God. Oh dear. <laughs> well, I'm building a house with my dad. Wow. Construction. Really? Yeah. Good for you. Well, it's kind of like building a puzzle. Yeah, and like <laughs> drilling and you know hammering and all of that stuff. Good for you. Yeah. Yes, good for you. Exactly. I mean, that's hard work. So. Yeah. Yeah, a bit like a puzzle though. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it depends which one you get. I had puzzles that were more frustrating and harder than building a house. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've still got a crypt puzzle in my... Oh. I, I, I'm scared to touch it, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, which crypt is it? So for those of you who aren't in the know, crypt is a line of Robins, Ravensburger puzzles. And they're solid color usually, although I have the crypt gradient. And it's like a rainbow yeah. gradient, like kind of... Well, not really circular, but kind of. And... That actually, if people ask me what my favorite puzzle ever is, that is it. It's the Crypt Gradient. So I've done the Crypt Gradient okay. one. Because I wanted the plain gradient and we don't have a lot of like puzzles in Slovenia. So that was the only play gradient I could get on Amazon. It was the mm. Crypt one, so I got it. But I've got a pink Crypt at home. Oh, so that's so just really solid pink. Solid pink. And you haven't tackled well, it yet? I was looking at like, I call it a puzzle map, you know, that's mm -hmm. in the back of the box. Yep. So I was uh, looking at the puzzle map and kind of like decided on the technique I want to use. Mm -hmm. Maria from Russia. Oh, just finished? Yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to do for the technique? I've noticed that some of the pieces are like double the size. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start to do like a sort of like the pieces that are the mm -hmm. part of the circle, sure. then the straight pieces and then the doubled pieces. Mm -hmm. So there's the technique. Yeah. And do the circle first, maybe then do the like the edge with the double pieces because mm -hmm. I think they're like on the corners, mm -hmm. and then do the the middle. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think the crypt gradient compared to the crypt solid color is quite a different experience. Very <laughs> much so. I see people so, yeah. talking about it in the comments. There's other people that know about it and so are talking about uh, crypt gold, crypt silver. Roxanne from the UK. Oh, just this finished. is fabulous. Well done, I love Roxanne. seeing these as they come in in these last five minutes because you can yeah. just see the look of relief on their it's face like, oh, thank God I did it. I they made it before the hour and a half cut off, which yeah. has got to be, yeah, I know that feeling. It's a huge relief. So yeah, Katie Kivet came in 51st. So there's a question here for you, Jeanette. Yep. What is the name of your YouTube channel? Jeanette and her puzzles. Jeanette and the puzzles. And her puzzles. Jeanette and her puzzles. And her puzzles. Yes. puzzles. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And Jeanette is from Slovenia. Oh. There's the five minute warning. 
Well, in case we get cut off at the end, which I feel like happens every time, we're so busy kind of getting those last few finishers. Finishers, I'm glad you joined us for this. This has been yeah, great. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm happy you don't have to, to leave, here. but yeah, I'm yeah, glad you were able to sit with us. This really definitely good. takes the pressure off of Julie and I because we can <laughs> interview somebody else and they get to talk. Well, when they asked me to be a commentator, I was actually so scared uh, I didn't know I didn't imagine how it's gonna be so I was like is it gonna be just me I don't want to do it alone <laughs> and I was like no there's gonna be two other people I'm like okay good <laughs> yes I'll do it <laughs> you've been doing great you're Thank natural you. is it Alphonse who ask you yeah. yeah he's very persuasive isn't he <laughs> very much he knows how to uh, you know come on you can it's good he says yeah you'll do it it's good I know I was on the receiving end of that too yeah <laughs> I mean, he must be good if he managed to convince you not to puzzle at all to well, be the commentator. Well, honestly, I volunteered. I did oh. the commentary at nationals as well. And you really loved yeah, it. Yeah, I really yeah. loved it. It was Fair just enough. so much fun. And I do like seeing the comments and, and just getting to watch. I mean, as an organizer, I'd rather do this any day than be running around and checking times and being in charge of things. I mean, this is way more fun. So, yeah, yeah so I volunteered. I love it. Well, it's my first time commentating mm -hmm. and I was a bit nervous because obviously English is not my first language. Yes, and you're so fantastic, yes. I how lived long, in how London. Long you, how long did you live in London? Uh, seven years. That's a long but time. when I moved there, I didn't speak English. Yeah. No, I learned when I was there. So. Yeah. It's the best way to learn, though, just be Yeah, there. definitely. What mm -hmm. work were you doing when you were there? Well, I actually went to acting school and then I did film industry work. Oh, okay. Like freelancing, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, so that's where the YouTubing comes from because you have no. some of that background. Oh no! I had no editing <laughs> skills. Oh, okay. I was on set. <laughs> well, the the wonderful thing nowadays that I do think is just kind of amazing is that we're at a time when everybody can learn those skills and. You, know, you can do it on your phone you know it used yep. to be you had to have all this equipment and it was very complicated and you know you had to pay for software and now it's yeah. like I can edit a fabulous video on you know any app on my phone really. so it's really leveled the playing field for people to learn that skill and, I and don't know, YouTube I it's is great as well because I didn't know how to edit so I just went to YouTube and like how to edit <laughs> <laughs> I just learned, like every time you get a new like obstacle, you just Google that obstacle, oh, I mean YouTube that obstacle and you learn how to fix it. Yeah, exactly. And you just get better and better. Yeah. So we're into the last two minutes now. Mm -hmm. A few people in the comments, people are asking when's the next round. We have uh, a half hour break after this one finishes and then we'll be back at, it'll be 7 p.m. local time. Mm -hmm. And it'll be another hour and a half contest and it'll be the qualifying group E. So it'll be the fifth group. And we have two more left. Qualifier E and F this evening. Somebody saying here that actually we've all been mispronouncing. It should be Ravensburger. Well, not Ravensburger. this is a point of contention is because it? I've even asked the people that work there and they what tell they me say? they they don't. say it both ways. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> so now we know. Perhaps you like, should be asking a German. You say tomato, <laughs> and I say tomato. Exactly. You say, so you say <laughs> Ravensburger, I say Ravensburger. <laughs> well, it we is in Germany. German, yeah, it's, it's named after the town Ravensburg in Germany, so I, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Maybe that's So the we should ask Katarina, who came in yes. second in this qualifying round. Does she, she say Ravensburger or Ravensburger? Right. I've never been there. To me, that's going to be like a bucket list trip to go to Ravensburg, Germany. You can actually do a tour. They have a tour at the factory where you can see like their little museum. Really? And, you know, we did a Q&A at the U.S. Championship with Ravensburger folks and it was fascinating. We'll talk about that in the next round. So yeah. they're saying, look, the German way is Ravensburger. Ah, so okay. Ravensburger, we know that. See, all we gotta German do is ask the commentators yeah. on, or the, you know, there's a whole set Ravensburg, of commentators just yeah, on the YouTube. Yeah, that coming knows. in, yeah. Yes. You say tomato, I say potato. <laughs> <laughs> I say tomato. Oh, oh. and scone and scone. Oh. Is that? Scone and scone. Oh. Okay, oh. there it is. 
congratulations to all the finishers out there. Well and to just everybody. It's great work. So thank you, Jeanette. Jeanette and her puzzles for joining us. So thank you very much. Oh, thank you for having me. Estamos en Valladolid, rodeados de tapas, de talento culinario. ¡Viva Valladolid y sus tapas! ¡Salud, chicos!
Así se trabajaba el vino el siglo pasado. Así era la fisonomía de muchos de nuestros pueblos, con sus bodegas centenarias incrustadas bajo la tierra. From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know
Solo se puede recordar lo que uno ha vivido. Y mi pasión es vivir. Coleccionar experiencias, almacenar en mi memoria lo que siento allá donde estoy... Busco constantemente lugares, esos que me hacen sentir viva por más veces que los visite. Como tú. Y estabas más cerca de lo que pensaba. Me gusta que me sorprendas. Me gusta cada vez que eres capaz de emocionarme. Me haces sentir en casa sin necesidad de preguntarme quién soy ni de dónde vengo. Llénate de experiencias, llénate de vida. Valladolid es tu destino. From the moment that we met, you were the way. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know. Estamos en Valladolid, rodeados de tapas, de talento culinario. ¡Viva Valladolid y sus tapas! ¡Salud, chicos!
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Solo se puede recordar lo que uno ha vivido. Y mi pasión es vivir. Coleccionar experiencias. Almacenar en mi memoria lo que siento allá donde estoy. Busco constantemente lugares. Esos que me hacen sentir viva por más veces que los visite como tú. Y estabas más cerca de lo que pensaba. Me gusta que me sorprendas. Me gusta cada vez que eres capaz de emocionarme. Me haces sentir en casa sin necesidad de preguntarme quién soy ni de dónde vengo. Llénate de experiencias, llénate de vida. Valladolid es tu destino. Estamos en Valladolid, rodeados de tapas, de talento culinario. ¡Viva Valladolid y sus tapas! ¡Salud, chicos!
Así se trabajaba el vino el siglo pasado. Así era la fisonomía de muchos de nuestros pueblos con sus bodegas centenarias incrustadas bajo la tierra.
en este maravilloso jueves que estamos compartiendo la quinta ronda clasificatoria de este campeonato del mundo de puzzles dentro de la categoría individual. Well, we're already there, the fifth round of the day, the penultimate round here in the Millennium Dome for the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships, the individual heat, sorry for the slight delay, um, but we're just about ready to get underway right now. Ya sabéis que a veces en el directo pasan cosas y cuando una prueba de estas características, de estas grandes dimensiones se hace, pues a veces hay que solventar sobre la marcha pequeños errores. Os pedimos disculpas y gracias por vuestra paciencia, pero yo os pediría a todas y a todos también un gran aplauso para todas las voluntarias y voluntarios. Just like to say a big thank you to the volunteers. We've had a slight hiccup. Um, it's only a printing error. Uh, we hope all the puzzles are there, which is the main thing. Um, so just a, that was a round of applause for the volunteers who um, improvised a little bit here. Give them a big round of applause, everyone. What a great job they're all doing. Si ellas y ellos son inagotables, seguro que vosotros y vosotras también. Así que es hora ya de que afrontéis este primer reto dentro del Campeonato del Mundo de Puzzles. Tenéis delante un puzzle de 500 piezas y un tiempo máximo de 90 minutos. So good luck with this, um, uh, your first task. Um, you've got before you 90 minutes um, and a 500 piece puzzle, which you've got to try and assemble in that time limit. Buscamos las 60 personas más rápidas que se clasificarán para la primera, bueno, para la segunda de las semifinales que viviremos en la jornada de mañana viernes. 60 personas que saldrán o bien de la clasificación por países hasta un máximo de 30 y el resto hasta 60 por tiempos. So 60 of you will be going through to the semifinals in a couple of days time um, and that's done by we first take the first um, 30 um, based on the, the, the fastest per country um, and then the following 30 um, the fastest or um, who, the people who've done put most pieces together. Y como digo siempre al inicio de cada una de estas rondas clasificatorias, en el momento que ellas y ellos abran eh, el puzzle, que ya va a estar perfectamente desembalado para que no haya ningún problema a la hora de iniciarlo, eh, las personas que queráis conservarlo como recuerdo podéis adquirirlo allí atrás en, en esas eh, tienditas verdes donde el equipo de organización de este campeonato os va a atender. You'll be pleased to know that the puzzles aren't plastic wrapped, um, so you, you won't need any keys to be cutting into the um, inside of the box of the lid. Um, and all the puzzles, they're all different in each of the heats, each of the six heats. Um, the first four puzzles are already available um, to be purchased at the back of the, at the, back of the dome. Creo que ya ahora sí está todo listo. El tiempo también. Vamos a ver si alguien va a lanzar esa cuenta atrás. Sí, me dicen que todo ok, Charlie, así que... So it looks like we're ready to... Give you the countdown for the fifth heat of the day. Good luck, everybody, in Cinco, five, cuatro, four, tres, three, two, dos, one. one. Siete. Good luck to all of you. And here we go. Here we are, we're back. It is now the fifth group of the day. Mm -hmm. Group E, the qualifying round uh, for the individual competitors. Yes. It's seven o'clock here in mm -hmm. Valladolid and uh, it's lovely to be here with you all again. Um, mm -hmm. We're gonna be keeping mm -hmm. an eye on as we have been quite successfully on the mm -hmm. Uh, the live chat, we've got somebody just arriving. Hello, come and sit yes, down. Yes, come and join us. Thank Hello. you. 
Turn on your mic. Oh, hello. I'm Valerie. Oh, hi. I'm Annika, and I am with Australia, oh. even though I have an American accent. Very confusing. Okay. Oh, and you can lean back. You're fine. Oh, yeah, sorry. just pick you up way back here. Oh, no, I can sit great. back and relax. Yes. Yeah. Back and relax. So this is Annika. This is Julia, by the way. Julia yeah, hasn't introduced Julia. herself. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Val, and great Valerie, to see you. It's great to see you. So, so welcome to everybody checking this out today. Right now we've got about 1,300 people watching. Ooh. Probably Exciting getting start. more, yeah. Beautiful puzzle for okay. this round. Yes. I should have been holding it up. I apologize. I forgot to hold up the puzzle so people could get a good look at it. Um, what do you think? It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I would I would have liked this one. <laughs> Which one did you have? I earlier? had round one. Oh, round one. The hard one. one. Yes, the nature. Mm, this looks series. beautiful though. So yes, there down. we are. We can make sure people can see it really so, well. Paris, beautiful. Flowers. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Lovely, magnolia. Yeah. Although I look at this and I see that big section up in the left hand corner of a lot of flat looking white, white. and blue. Ooh. And I bet that's going to be the last section to get done by most folks here. Um, I agree. And I see some shape sorting in our future. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do like how this one has a lot of distinguishable parts though. Mm -hmm. I think we'll see people pulling definitely the flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, the greenery is very noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, the Eiffel Tower will stick out great as well and even that water piece at the bottom even though it's quite dark um, very noticeable mm -hmm. so I think that we'll see a lot of people sorting mm -hmm. by those things as well, well as their edge today. See if it's an illustration or a photograph because it looks like a photograph but then some of it looks yeah like a, it's, it's, I see what you mean with the cherry it's everything's in focus despite the fact that cherry blossoms are really far in the foreground yeah so I suspect you might be right there might be a little touching up happening Something with this image. Going on. I, yeah, I look at this and I think, ooh, this could be one of the harder ones today. Ooh, yeah? Maybe? A little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. I'd rank this as second hardest after this morning's. Yeah. yeah, I think the third one was quite busy, so I mm -hmm. think people would have found that quite challenging mm -hmm. as well. But, I mean, yeah. some people love a, a sort of a scene. You know, mm -hmm. this will play right into some people's hands, I think. Mm -hmm. So you're competing for Australia. Yes. But you are American uh, originally? English originally. English originally, yeah, English right. originally. So you spent I've spent some time in America. Yes, I know. Work out your voice. Yep, <laughs> yep. Very confusing. So, nice. um, born Thank in England, you. moved to America, high school, university in America, moved back to England, moved to Australia, did seven years there. That's how I got involved in all of the puzzling, and um, very recently moved back to England and hoping to get an association up and, and rolling oh, in the UK. That would be so, great. So that is in the works as we speak. Mm -hmm. So for anybody out there that is in England, Great British Jigsaw Puzzle Association um, on Facebook oh, and Instagram. Oh, you guys have a Facebook group. Awesome. Yep. Well, that's oh. great. Yeah. Yep. Check it out, everybody. So it's easy to find you if people are interested. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very yeah. good. So, yeah, how has it been so far today? What do you, what's, what's, what's everybody talking about out there in the, in the dome? We're, we're kind of stuck here behind the table. We want to hear all the good, you know, puzzle goss. So what, I don't know. what's, what's everybody not, talking about? You know, about? everybody's buzzed about their, their puzzles, you know, and, and I think everybody overall is quite happy with the puzzles that have been selected this year. Mm -hmm. um, the call of, like the way that we're moving through into semifinals this year and then finals is great. Mm -hmm. um, it's an extra round this year. Last year it was just the heats and then finals, wasn't it? So mm -hmm. it's nice to have another opportunity. But the whole um, competition has, has grown so much, you know? We've got, mm -hmm. what, 600 plus people yeah. this year and it's just amazing. So. Did you, I'm sorry, I can't remember all the results from this morning, but it's did you right. make it into the I semifinal? Did. I oh, did, good. congratulations. Yeah. Um, I was yeah. happy to, I didn't finish the puzzle. Oh, you didn't no, no, them. only 32 amazing puzzles yeah. finished. Mm -hmm. um, I came through 43rd. Okay. So well, with pieces remaining. Congratulations, you get to go on, that's yes, exciting. Yes, luckily, luckily. <laughs> Do you enjoy the, the solo or would you prefer doing the pairs and teams? I prefer pairs and teams. They're so much fun. Mm -hmm. Solo is a very stressful experience and I almost didn't enter solos this year. Um, but I'm glad that I did. Yeah. You know, I didn't mind the puzzle this morning even though it was hard. I liked yeah. the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, everybody found it hard. And we've just got so much more excitement to look forward to in the days ahead. So, so yeah, I've got some people guessing how long um, we think the first one's going to be finished in 47 minutes. Oh, that's a good guess, I minutes. think, actually. That's not mm -hmm. a bad guess. 
um, I think it, you know, will be interesting. I was excited to see Eric Parker there on screen. He's an American, and I was just talking to him before this started. He's here with his wife, Betsy. She's much more of a serious competitor, but as is the way with a lot of, like, if you're traveling with family, the family members are welcome to join in and, and do the puzzle. And he was like, I feel like I've gone from, like, intramural basketball uh -huh. to, like, Olympic level. <laughs> so he was kind of joking, but, I mean, I'm glad that people do just participate. It's so much fun. And even if you're not somebody who's super competitive, I think you kind of get into the spirit of it when yeah, you're here. Exactly. And you want to be part of it. So I'm rooting for Eric. I think he's he's got this. <laughs> cool. What table is he at? What, do we know his number? Oh, it was the guy that was on screen a bit ago with the okay. headband, the U.S. He has got quite a distinctive outfit going on. <laughs> and we've got uh, we've got Dion in this heat as well, who was oh, on, she is. on okay. the mic earlier in Heat yeah. 1. She was commentating with you ladies Dion. in yes. Heat 1, so she's involved yeah, she in this she's, one. She's over there on table I can't 12, see what table 11, she's 12. on. Okay. I can see her over there. Oh, well, we'll all be watching Dion then. Yeah, I think this is interesting. It'll be, you know, some of the edge here is maybe a little difficult because there's not a lot of variety in that, that top edge, but, you know, I think it's going to be a mix like it has in other divisions in terms of how people approach this. Mm. I think you're going to have some people love Sky, and even though it's a big kind of blank canvas there, there's yeah. probably going to be people that are like, you know what, I'm doing that first. Yeah, and I think what we're generally seeing is a lot of people hit the border first. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing many people tackle something else. Mm -hmm. and is, is that what you would do, do you think, with this one? Would you do the border? Um, the border is going to be helpful in this one. Because it does define in the different areas, doesn't it? Yeah, I think if you can pull your border pieces first and definitely hit mm -hmm. the left and right, side and help fill in from there the top yeah i think i'll probably do border first mm -hmm. here how long have you been speed puzzling annika oh i i only started speed puzzling during covid oh, like okay. a lot of people yeah. i didn't know it was a thing i didn't know it existed <laughs> yeah um, people would come around to my house occasionally and i'd have i generally only did 1000 pieces i thought oh. 500s were too easy so i never <laughs> ever did 500 pieces well, that's your first clue that you're maybe a little bit good at puzzles oh. if you're like well a thousand i had no idea is, you know, know, yeah. too easy. nothing to compare it to so people said you know you're kind of quick and i was like well what what is quick yeah and so i did a google and i think i found the 2019 championship mm -hmm. results for 500s mm -hmm. and i thought oh okay i'll give myself a, a time yeah. and um <laughs> it started from there yeah Oh, well, this is exciting. Well, this is very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> this is very exciting. Hi, yes. Hi Kristen. There's someone joining us, Kristen. Yeah. Norway. I think, just I think you're, you're at the level of like Prince. We can just say it's Kristen, oh. and everybody knows who that is. We don't even have to say it's Kristen too from Norway, but thank oh, you gosh. so much for joining us. This oh, is exciting. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what do you yeah. think so far today? Uh, there's been a lot of very good puzzlers, mm -hmm. and I was very impressed at it last round. With uh, Kathy or Kat yeah. Katharina, yeah. Yeah, from Germany. Yes. yes. Amazing. That was an incredible <laughs> yeah. finish, wasn't it? Yeah, I think Eleanor was a bit nervous, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really exciting. I think the whole place was kind of buzzing with that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that will be very like, thrilling yeah. tomorrow, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 And we were all watching you, because Kristen, when you <laughs> were like, where are those pieces? Where have they oh, gone? Yes. Oh, where are those where pieces? Are those <laughs> pieces? <laughs> still looking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, how did you, f I mean, that we, we thought that was possibly making you feel quite, um, quite stressed. Yeah, quite, it did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was wondering where are those pieces and I felt like a fool because I was thinking, are they like on me, yeah, are they yeah. on the floor, and uh, that it was just me missing them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it like put me off my game. <laughs> but yeah. If it helps those of us who've done this a while, we're like, that's not on Kristen. When it's a block of four like that, yeah. we all kind of thought yeah. immediately, I don't think yeah. those pieces are there. Yeah. Um, I, but yeah, it had to be frustrating. Very. Mm -hmm. You still had an amazing time though. No, it, right. Well, I didn't feel like it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, 47, 50 or something. But, but that was a really, that was a I tough I mean, puzzle. it's a good time for that puzzle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not used to being so near 50. <laughs> yeah, this. yeah. So this is very stressful for me. But I think it was the most difficult puzzle so far today. Definitely. I think so. so. I was very jealous at B and C. And <laughs> I wouldn't have minded if half my puzzle was missing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Well, what do you think of this one now that we're looking at? Annika was just kind of commenting. She thinks this is maybe like the second hardest one of the day that we're looking at right now. Would you agree with that? Yes, maybe. Uh, I think this was in the uh, Sweden Nationals. Oh, oh really? Okay. Because yeah, so I've it's seen, been used seen previously. it there. Yeah. Okay. Um, That'll make Dave happy. Yeah. Yeah. I might be mistaken, but I think. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think it's quite difficult. It's so many areas. Uh, the flowers, um, all the blues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can do some how good you, sorting. How would you attack this one? Uh, yeah, sort into some piles, and uh, maybe the green area is a good start mm -hmm. uh, to calm your nerves, and yeah. yeah. And then the Eiffel Tower and mm -hmm. the yeah. blue areas, yeah. And the lamp post is pretty distinguishable as well. That would snap together yeah, pretty yeah. quickly, and the, probably the building in the background, the blue yeah. roof. I think we'd do the flowers uh, mm -hmm. last. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like in the first one. Did you do the flowers last in the, yeah, this morning? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, my next question was going to be, for both of you, sort or not sort for something like this? Do you just kind of attack it by area, say, oh, grab all of these, quick, do that? Or do you like to kind of sort it out more at the beginning and have your piles kind of ready to jump into? Um, I used to not sort at all. I used to just flip, pull the edges and go, but more recently I have started pulling piles in the beginning. Helps me calm down a little bit, get a bit more familiar with the pieces before I start um, putting it together. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, and on this one, I think uh, taking the pink flowers and just putting them <laughs> like on the side, yeah. just getting them out of the way, uh, and the blue area, uh, makes yeah, it gives you more of a, I don't know, control of yeah. the yeah. remaining pieces. So there's questions here, just, just to remind everyone that this puzzle is 500 piece puzzle mm -hmm. and uh, in the pairs tomorrow as well it will be a 500 piece puzzle in the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. Just answering some of those questions coming yeah. in on the live stream, so thank you for that. So who are your pair partners and have you puzzled with them before or is this going to be a first time competing with your pair partner? Well, mine is my mother, so, okay. <laughs> so we did it last year mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so, of course, we have had the opportunity to practice a lot, mm -hmm. um, uh, but I, I don't know, I don't have like big hopes <laughs> this year, because there are so many good yes. pairs. Mm -hmm. uh, because la last year we got fourth place, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we'll be lower this year. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> you and your mom <laughs> make a say. beautiful pair. Yes. Yes, You're both do. very fast. Your mom yes. did amazing in her heat she earlier. She's just proud. under the hour. Yeah, I'm yeah. very proud of her. It's great to see. <laughs> um, my puzzle partner is another Australian, Jason. Um, mm -hmm. And we used to live very close to each other. So we had the opportunity then to practice a lot. Um, this year, not so much since I moved away. So mm -hmm. we've been doing a lot of sort of Zoom and online puzzle mm -hmm. races just mm -hmm. to see how we go with the same jigsaw puzzle um, but in two different places so yeah we've put in a couple, couple of puzzle practices over the past few days and we're just going to enjoy it tomorrow and, and have fun with it mm -hmm. so here's somebody we're looking at right now that did that they grabbed the sky kind of first um, which you know some people just have an area they like to jump into right I, not me so much unless it's a gradient sky it's like that'll wait yeah. <laughs> um, but you can see there you know, just mm. off to the side, there are a this lot different. of white, Look, blue pieces. All different kind of techniques there. there. So, mm -hmm. um, number five here from Spain, she's gone straight for the doing the edge pieces, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Lenka. 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 from Slovakia, who's just doing the zones. I like her strategy here. I think I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that what you would do? The yeah, zones. I think so. The green. I, yeah. 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 Just like Kristen said. It stands said. out. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's kind. I mean, it's somewhat quiet in here right now. I mean, I think, I think we're looking at finishes a little later than some of the past divisions. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe closer to that 45-minute mark or more. I would yeah. say. Do you um, think is there a better time of the day to do a puzzle? I mean, do you feel more fresh in the morning? Is it harder in the evening? Do you think, oh no, I'm not doing my puzzle until eight o'clock at night, or thank goodness I'm going to be doing it before lunch? Do you think it makes a difference, Kristen? Yes, uh, I was yeah. very pleased when I got group A yeah. until I saw the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> but at, uh, yeah, around 10, it was like perfect time yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have to 
go and wait all day and yeah. build up those nerves and yes. And I think like after dinner time and I just get very lazy. <laughs> and I know a lot of people agree, yeah. So yeah. I think group uh, D no E and F, F. have like that. So the hardest. And the lighting will be interesting at that yeah, time of day as well. Yeah, we're, not, yeah. we're not sure how that's yeah. gonna go. Still turn the lights on in here actually, but it's quite bright outside, isn't mm -hmm. it? So it's looking looking okay in here. In fact, it's looking brighter now than it was earlier. Mm -hmm. Mary's so, off to a great start. I was just here. gonna say number 13 there, Mary yeah. Carney. She's from the States and she is a part of a group. There's a group here representing the US that um, they all competed in the Hallmark National Championships back in the 80s. So, That's Larry's team. Yeah, isn't it? Larry's That's team. Wonderful. So it's Mary, Larry, uh, Kim. So they all have this like really long history mm -hmm. of competing back in the '80s, and then you know it kind of went away for a while, and now here we are back, and they're they're competing yeah. again, and it's really cool to see them, you know, still into it, you it's know, beautiful. like 40 years later, and they're still loving doing competitive puzzling. So I'm excited to see how all of them I'm do. I'm so excited to see them. Yeah. Last year, last year Larry became a bit of an icon, didn't he? He sort of <laughs> stood out amongst his heat. He yep. looks like this rocker dude, like gray hair and rock and roll t-shirt on and you're just like this guy is a legend you know and he really like sort of lives up to that his yeah. history with puzzling and the fact that he's gone back and got his old puzzle friends together and brought them all over this year like yeah. i am so excited to see that team compete yeah they did great at nationals they really i mean yeah, yeah mary did really well um so yeah we're excited to have them here um, I talked to Larry during the break and he said he got a photo with Alma, so oh. the young and old in one picture. <laughs> Speaking of, Alma uh, is a bit of a phenom. She's eight years old and she's here just watching because she can't compete in individual division, um, but she uh, competed against EB and Puzzle Chess in the back and, and, and EB lost. Oh. Um, <laughs> and Evie's a very good competitor in her own right, so Alma's kind I of the talk of the, the dome, yeah. I feel like, right now. I saw Alma practicing with her team of four earlier <laughs> this morning as well, <laughs> and I was just amazed at how quick she is and how young she is. <laughs> like, she's going to be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. She's chasing you, Kristen. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Kristen, there's still a few more people wanting to know about the, the missing jigsaw puzzle, the, the missing pieces and what happened to them and um, what the penalty was for you. Did they add a penalty? I'm not sure. I you asked, but know. I didn't really get the clear get an answer. <laughs> and and it doesn't really like matter because no. I was second anyway. So yeah. yeah. I um, heard that you did get a minute. I think penalty. Well, oh, I think it's or 10, 10 seconds. seconds 10 seconds is yeah. usually yeah. 50 seconds. Yeah. Luckily, with that puzzle, yeah. everybody was spread so far yeah. apart that yeah, it, it didn't wouldn't really have affected affect your, placement. your, your yeah. ranking, which is good. Yeah. You know, if that had happened in any other uh, heat today, yeah. that would have yeah, could have been hard, like, yeah. more disappointing, I think. So. Right? It's a difficult situation for the organizers. Mm. Like, mm -hmm. what, what do they do? Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, and it's highly unusual. I, 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 it's very rare I get a Ravensburger puzzle yeah. where something like that happens. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. But mm -hmm. apparently they looked through all the plastic bags really? and they couldn't find it. Yeah. And I, I did check mine before I like, yeah. went inside that mm -hmm. there wasn't any, there were definitely not five pieces in it. Right. Yeah. Um, but now I see that they're leaving the plastic bags on the tables. Right. So mm -hmm. they're not going to, yeah, they're not collecting them. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. Got to put it behind you and move yeah. on. Yeah. Head yeah. back in the game. Yeah. 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 I can't imagine it happening again. <laughs> that would be incredibly bad luck. So, Kristen, you've probably gotten that. You're through that now. You can put yeah, that behind you. You've taken one for the puzzling community across the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you, you put yourself on the line. Yeah. Yeah. So, we've got some great here, progress yes, here. Yeah. Yeah, and you're right. Like some folks have done the green. The you know, you're right in line with what you kind of thought would happen. People doing the lamp posts, the Eiffel Tower, the green sections. Those are definitely the most identifiable. Probably looking at all the pieces. So Kristen, we noticed this morning. You know, a lot of people last year were just obsessed with watching you and the fact that. You know, you were primarily using one hand, and now today we noticed you were using two hands <laughs> yes, a lot. Yeah. How hard was it to train yourself to kind of start to use both hands more? Uh, yeah, the first couple of times it was very difficult, and I just felt it became like a chaos on mm -hmm. the table. Uh, but 
Yeah, practice, practice. <laughs> Are you twice so. as fast now? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is the faster way. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I didn't know it existed <laughs> until last year. So. Annika, from watching competitors, have you ever seen something and then been like, oh, I might have to try that? Have you, have you learned anything from watching? Yeah, I think even today, um, just seeing how some people pick up multiple pieces into their hand at a time, and then, mm. like, for me, I think you have to be able to see the pieces. So if I'm going to pick up five pieces in my hand, probably all from the same area, I still need to be able to lay them out and see where they go. Usually I'm, I'm a one piece at a time kind of person, but I'm tempted to try this sort of multi-piece thing now. This is very impressive. Wow. wow. Yes. Look at that. Uh, yeah, and I can't it's see the full name. It's yeah. Mom. Only 22 yeah, minutes in. You. She's doing great. Yes, really the well. the Czech Republic. Yep. Yeah. And I wonder... She's always working kind of left to right, isn't she? Or she's done the, the central section. Yeah, she's probably gone for, you know, what jumped out to her most obviously first. And you can see that she had done some sort of sort with her sky all in one section. I yeah. think the pink off to the and other that side. that sky does look really difficult, actually. And you've got some of the, um, what are they called, the vapor trails. The, the mm -hmm. crosses in the that would sky. be helpful. That would be helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah it creates lines. lines. Yeah. Yeah. If you can see it on the piece. You know, sometimes what you see on the picture and what you can see on the piece are quite yeah. different. Well, and I should oh, apologize to folks if we're not able to name everybody. We're basically having to go from what we can see on the screen because we don't have the printouts for this version. And some of the tables, I'm hoping now they all have numbers. There were some issues with the printer. The printer wasn't very well. Yes. Everybody can <laughs> identify immediately. Well, the printer. <laughs> Every time you want a printer to work, uh, you know, sometimes it can present difficulties. So, so we don't have rosters in front of us for this round. What time do you think we'll see the fastest one for this one, Kristen? I, don't, I would guess like around 40, mm -hmm. but some of them are really a long way, mm -hmm. just 23 minutes. Um, I think they're further ahead than I expected yeah. uh, some to be at this point, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be really curious if people are going to try shape sorting. Do either of you do shape sorts, or do you find that at all helpful? No. I. Don't do that. Kristen doesn't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely shape sort when there's animals involved. Oh, oh fur. Yeah. Oh. You're not a fur fan. No, I am dreading. You know that they will happen. You know we haven't had an animal yet. That's so true, so an animal yep. will come or multiple animals would be even worse probably. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, I am a shape mm -hmm. sorter. Okay. Definitely. What do you find difficult about the animals? Just looking mm -hmm. at fur, you don't oh it goes in different directions. Oh, it's just so hard and for me. I don't birds, see it, you know. Birds, birds are difficult as well. I don't know. Pandas, koalas, <laughs> cats and dogs, just leave them out. <laughs> you know, I, I like a nice gradient sky. I like a scene. Yeah. Do you have a favorite type of puzzle, Kristen, or image, I should say? Favorite type of image? Um, no, but of course, those with a lot of colors, like mm -hmm. the London and the New York postcard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are very fun to do. Mm -hmm. And I like, the, like the Amy Stewart's puzzles, the archaeology that is in mm -hmm. the sea round, and she yeah. has some other also. They are very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I There's think a my lot least, going on in those puzzles. Yeah, very, yeah. I think my least favorite is like the one I got. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, really? Yeah, with the, the flowers scene. and yeah. the dark areas. Yeah. 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 That would be something in the comments. I would love to see what kind of puzzles people like to do. Because I do feel like everybody has their thing. You know, for me, it's fantasy. If it's dragons and fairies, like, I'm in. It doesn't matter what, if it's all one color, I'm just like, oh, it's got fairies in it. And I'm going to take this one. Yeah, that'd be nice. We don't get a lot of that. No, we no, don't we get don't. much fantasy I think we should puzzles. Start pitching, this pitching is that. true. I agree. We need more fantasy puzzles because that is definitely my go to image. I'm curious if anyone actually started with the flowers. No, yes. I haven't seen anybody, no, have we? I, I haven't seen a single person, no. They might have learned from this morning and just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, the Czechs and the Slovakians are doing very well. As somebody saying, go, mm -hmm. go, 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 go. Czechs and Slovaks, you go. Yep. Somebody mentioned too, I think I called it cherry blossoms earlier and they said, I think that's magnolia. So hats off to the person who recognized the flowers. I thought it's magnolia. I think it's actually camellia though. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Because there's a camellia and there's a magnolia and I get mm -hmm. them mixed up, but I think that is a, a camellia bush. I just saw a pink flower and a cherry blossom. I don't know. 
please, if there's some gardening people out there and you know the answer gonna... to this, is it a magnolia yeah. or a camellia? This is a running theme in our commentary. We ask for help from the commenters. <laughs> Somebody else here. Look, dragons or castles puzzles are their Yes. Favorite. Halloween and illustrative. Graphic geometric design. In fact, I saw somebody earlier was saying that they were going to be doing a Mondrian puzzle. Because you, you were talking about... Um, oh, food. Like what? What kind of puzzle? Uh, you know, a sort of art, uh, famous artists. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. And, yeah, because uh, Mondrian, can of, because that's all mm, yes. the, the blocks of colour. That must be really oh, wow. hard to do. Becky's doing great here in the USA. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Becca is really fast. She's definitely a top competitor. It's a magnolia. Thank you. It's a magnolia. There we go. <laughs> Who is that at 37? She is... It's uh, Lenka from Lithuania. Oh. She's doing quite well. Yeah. But I think they have the most difficult part left, so... Mm -hmm. I still think... It'd be interesting. Close to 40, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Because even if they're getting close, that that's gonna you're gonna see a slowdown when everybody yeah. hits that the flower section. <laughs> It'll help a little bit. There's you know some branches. That's how I would approach that. I think I would try to identify the different branches because there's some difference in thickness and then the background. So if you can kind of piece together some of the more pronounced branches, then I think it could help fill in. But it's definitely gonna be a challenge that section. And now we're seeing people struggle a little bit with the white sky section. I would think that the people that struggle with, with that would go to a shape, you know, sort by shape. Mm -hmm. and it's a big, it is a big section. And when you're coming for both of you, for both Kristen and um, Annika, when you're coming to a section that you're just finding really difficult, do you find it's helpful just to go, do you know what, I'm just going to leave that now and go and do something else and then go back to it? Or do you... Kind of really push you dig through in. and yeah. keep going. <laughs> um, I think maybe try to relieve that yeah, for later. Just to give but yourself a bit of a yeah, break. In the end, you have to push through <laughs> and do it. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would try it. And one of the things is like, don't get bogged down for too long in one area. If you realize that you've slowed and you're feeling stuck, just leave mm -hmm. it, yeah. move on, come back to it later. Often mm -hmm. looking away from it and then coming back, you have a fresh eye on that mm -hmm. that area, and it just helps you drop some more pieces in. So one of the things I've wondered, Kristen, and watching you, when you said you, you don't really bother with like doing a shape sort, do you feel like you're really good at seeing a spot in the puzzle that needs to be filled and then finding the piece that goes there? Because I don't notice you picking up a piece a lot and then trying it multiple places. I feel like you usually, when you no, I pick it up, to, you know where it's going. Yeah, I look for the piece to the spot, not the spot for the piece. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So that was Tobias from Sweden there, mm -hmm. who seemed to be doing very well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's strange, it seems brighter in here at this time of day. They have put the lights on now. Oh, they did put the lights yeah. on. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah, Just yeah, noticed that. that. Yep. Would you say that you have a photographic memory? No. No, you don't think so? No. no? Not at all. Do you think you have? No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Alejandro probably has. I, I, I know there are some people. I know Michaela Keener from the U.S. does. Mm. She also is very comfortable with either hand. She doesn't really, yeah. she's ambidextrous, so she doesn't really have a dominant hand. That can hurt. She's also really good at yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so her back doesn't get sore. Yeah, it's, it helps. <laughs> she's standing. Gotta build up that core. Kristen, I don't notice that you stand a whole lot. Do you, or have mm. you added that more, or? No, I, I tried like starting to stand because you get a better overview mm -hmm. uh, and a different perspective on the pieces. But yeah, my back <laughs> is not good. I feel like there should just be like a masseuse in the back <laughs> yeah. and charging a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. It would be very busy. It is. It is. I mean, it's it's helpful if you have a strong core. It does help protect the back mm -hmm. um, when you're puzzling. Like I stand a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But I, my back doesn't get too sore too quickly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I tend to do, it's a mixed approach. I like to stand at the beginning when I'm sorting and, and just kind of getting going and then settle into it a little bit. Wow, this is Mark yes. Peter from the yeah. Czech Republic. He's really speeding mm -hmm. So definitely now. some 
kind of sorting happening there. Well, and she must be on Teresa's team because that looks like a matching t-shirt that Teresa was wearing earlier. Is Speaking some, of, have you guys? Competitors yes. In the Czech Republic, yeah. And I was just gonna say, have any of you seen somebody finish in competition in 30 minutes 38 seconds? Because I think that's gotta be a top speed. I just couldn't believe it. I have. Uh, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Kristen, do you share your own personal best, or do you kind of keep that close <laughs> to the best? Um, yeah, I think I. This past month, I've tried to not post anything and mm. share them. Yeah, you want to keep Good us in strategies. suspense. Yeah. yeah, don't let anybody yeah. know where you're at. You don't want everybody else knowing where you're at, right? Mm -hmm. I just can't wait. I mean, it's going to be fun to see the pairs and the teams because I think, I just think as this becomes more popular and you get more and more people participating, the, the level of competition is going to continue to improve. And so I just can't imagine like what we're going to see in pairs and teams, you know, some of the times that are going to be coming in, I think are going to be very impressive. And it's great because as the competition grows, you know, we've got people that have not been here before or we don't see from online competitions and they just show up out of the blue. And then mm -hmm. we have what happened earlier with the Alejandro Heat, a really close finish. And it's like, wow, who is this new person? Like, they're amazing. Yep. This makes it so exciting. So do either of you have social media accounts you want to throw out there for people to know about if they want to find you on Instagram or Facebook or... A lot of puzzlers these days track a lot of their progress online. So I've got um, GB underscore Jigsaw underscore Puzzle on Instagram for okay. the Great British Jigsaw Puzzle Association ah, okay. that's starting up. Great. And then on Facebook, just Great British Jigsaw Puzzle Association. So okay. they're very new, so anybody mm -hmm. out there, please find them, join them. Um, we'll be posting about competitions around the UK nice. uh, on there and getting some more events happening over in in the UK in the next year. So. Very cool. And Kristen, are you on Instagram? Or? Uh, yes, I have an account there. So it's Kristen. Is this underscore? underscore okay, yeah. so Kristen underscore puzzles. Okay. And yeah, I posted some mm -hmm. of my <laughs> times there so mm -hmm. people can check it out if they want. Do you do the time lapse thing when yeah. you film yourself? Mm -hmm. not, like, not in competition though? No. No. That's too much. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just want to concentrate on doing the puzzles, not uh, showing that everyone else that yeah. you can do them. Yeah. And I think today I wouldn't want a time lapse of that yeah. puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, one of the things that comes up a lot, I know when I talk to people about just competitive puzzling in general is, there, you know, when we've seen it in the chat, people say, oh, this is so wholesome, or everybody seems so nice. I will say, I do think this, this community of folks, it's very supportive of each other, very encouraging. I don't, I don't ever feel like there's like major rivalries necessarily, or any kind of, um, you know, I mean, you're competitive, but I feel like people are sort of competing against themselves. They want to do better than they've done before, not necessarily like, oh, you know, I really want to, you know, show these people. You know, it seems way more like we're all excited when somebody does really well. It is. It's a very supportive community, mm -hmm. you know, very encouraging. And I think one of the great things about it as well is the broad range of ages that mm -hmm. we have. Um, yeah, everybody... You want to see people succeed. You, know, yes. you don't want to see people. Fail. This lady is doing her oh my gosh. sideways. This is brilliant. Yeah. So yeah, that's Becca. She's really doing well. She's got that whole, almost the whole white section done. It looks like. Yeah. So she's really just got the building and then the the flowers. Interesting that she hasn't done a sort yet. Mm -hmm. Though. Kristen, when did you arrive in Valladolid? Uh, on Monday, Monday, on Monday evening. So yeah. Yeah, Tuesday was the first day. And when do you go back to Norway? Uh, on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so a whole week. Yeah. Did Very you get good. a chance to do fun things, or has it been puzzling nonstop the whole time? Yeah, puzzling is fun. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's true. So that's good point. <laughs> no, but I got to meet a lot of other like Norwegian puzzlers. Mm -hmm. We don't have any. Norwegian Puzzle Society mm. at home, so mm. this is the only place we ever meet. 
Well, uh, that sounds like an opportunity. I think you yeah. guys got to get on that. Mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I do think, and this comes up a lot, we have a really strong Minnesota contingent here from the United States. And I think part of that is we live in a very cold, wintry place. And so uh, the winter months lend themselves to that sort of cozy, stay in the house puzzle, hang out in the evenings indoors. And, you know, Norway, that seems yeah. applicable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> is it, do you think puzzling is pretty just universal in Norway? Do most families or a lot of people puzzle? I'm not sure, but uh, especially in Norway, like under the pandemic, mm. the puzzle sales went up yeah. and a lot of people started puzzling. So I think the popularity grew then. Mm -hmm. yeah. That seems to be the case everywhere. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's been a common theme that's come yeah. up. And Annika, you were saying that you just got started with speed puzzling during COVID. So. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think the same around the world, you know, and it's one of those things where even after COVID, it hasn't dropped. Like we saw right. a lot of things mm -hmm. drop when everything mm -hmm. opened back up again. And mm -hmm. puzzling just keeps going up and up. I think more exposure, yep. you know, so much word of mouth. And I guess social media really helps yeah. as well. Well, we were talking earlier about the virtual competitions have really, you know, They've stuck around, you know, yeah. while a lot of stuff has gone back to being in person um, with the virtual competitions, if anything, there's more of those now than there were during COVID. So that's something that's just kept kept increasing and, and become more and more available for everybody. And it's a great concept as well, you know, mm -hmm. online competitions. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a, a really fun way to be able to participate um, in speed puzzling with people. Maybe it's just from your country or mm -hmm. whatever it is, um, because it is. There, there aren't competitions all over the place, you know? So doing them online is, is a great way to get a group together and build that online community of puzzlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think that, you know, you're, if you're active in the virtual competitions and you're, you know, you have an association or something to be a part of, you, you know, you kind of, I've met so many people that are like, oh, I found my people. Yeah, yeah, so true, so true. So that's Marketa there from the Czech Republic. Who yes. It's working very Still fast. going strong. Mm -hmm. Lenka from Slovakia. She's doing really well. Yeah, there's some just really good competitors right now. Yeah. We're still at a very early sort of time on the clock, you know? We're mm -hmm. Only 38 minutes in. So, Kristen, because of your kind of you know, appearing on the scene last year with Worlds. Um, do you feel like you're somewhat, of, I feel like you're a bit of a puzzling celebrity. Do you do you get that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can feel like expectations from other people mm -hmm. uh, on my performance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people recognize me when I came here this year. Mm -hmm. So it's both fun and Is a it? bit intimidating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how do you manage that? Like, what do you do to sort of block it all out? Mm -hmm. Um, or do you? Do you block it out? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let it in. Yeah. Have you done the headphones thing? Because we do see a lot of competitors here. No, that, I haven't. No. Uh, I like to like know what's going on mm -hmm. on around them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. So Gosh, we're I feel 40. like eighty-one there is really hands are flying. Yeah, she's been. She's got that flower section done, so that bodes well <laughs> for for her chances, I think. She can make sense of all these kind of like, so and she's she shape sorting. Shape sort yep, here? Yeah. She's doing a shape sort. So for those of you wondering, what does that mean? It's, you know, kind of grouping things. I just go by the number of little prongs or knobs or whatever yeah. you want to call them. And these are out these. Yep, and sort them according to that. Do you guys have a name? We've been asking everybody. Is it innies, outies? Is it knobs? Is it prongs? Is it? Do you have names for the pieces? I don't. Some I people don't call them pieces. boy pieces, girl pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? Oh. I guess I go by numbers. Like, yeah. Oh. Right, now look. Here she goes. I'm just sitting down. Yep. She's like, oh no. <laughs> I've got this left. This is going to be great. Yeah, so when we get to this sort of stage, puzzlers will look for the the most obvious um, identifiable gap mm -hmm. and then go from from there. Yep. 
and hopefully the piece that you put in creates another identifiable space for your next um, pickup. Mm -hmm. it, that's a little easier if you're doing like a random cut puzzle. Um, and there's different brands, you know, like Cobble Hill, for example, they do random cut True. puzzles. Um, you know, if you get to that point, that can really help because there's just such a wide variety of shapes and different sizes of things. It's more challenging in a ribbon cut puzzle like this, like mm -hmm. a Ravensburger, um, because so many of the pieces are similar looking. It's interesting, isn't it? Because uh, Laura there from Spain, she's done the sky. She's done that whole section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just want to be able to swap them, help them so that they can... Uh, mm -hmm. How did you do that bit? Yeah, we're 42 minutes already. We're going to be probably closer to 45, 46, something like that. Mm -hmm. Which I should look at our first division, Division A, if I can find it here as to what the first finishers were in the, the Vision A. Do you guys know offhand? What was your time, Kristen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Uh, the first place was 44, 59. Right. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so we are right around the scene. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we know in the second round, it was 30 minutes and 38 seconds. Mm -hmm. All dependent on the puzzle. Yeah. 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 Was. So some people... Um, don't always sort by shape because they think it will take too much time to do that sort, mm -hmm. too much time away. Um, but I feel like it can be very beneficial once you've taken the, yeah. the minute to do that, to then speed up the rest of your puzzling. Hmm. I would agree. And I think, and I tend to do, when I do a shape sort, I, I do it in a grid, sort of. I make the lines because yeah, sometimes same. that can help me then if I literally see a gap and it's just okay this is a two-pronger i can just try one try the next one and just and yeah. i put the piece back where i took it from so everything stays somewhat stays neat and organized order, yeah. yep. i agree and i just it's process of elimination then you know which one kind of prevents you from that thing of just grabbing the same piece and trying it 20 times which can happen i i sense myself sometimes when i'm doing that like oh i think i've grabbed this piece a lot so it can help to keep you a little bit more focused and organized. Yeah, we can see Marquetta's moving like, quite well through this now. She's got that organization to her pieces. Mm -hmm. She's moving through the line, like you said. But the folks that just have this section left versus having the sky left might be slightly better off because they've got a bit more to work with there. But she has like the pieces all around the mm -hmm. muscle yeah. on both sides. Yeah, I think so, I would try to gather them on one side. That's what you would do. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, again, it's all about saving time, isn't it? Because if your eyes are looking there and then your hands are having to move there. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got them all in one place, you can see everything you've got in front of you yeah. and you're not looking around for it. Oh, and he's time lapsing. Oh, Czech Republic <laughs> showing. Yeah. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. Brilliant. Got quite a good crowd watching right now too. Yes, and it's really filled out in here. Mm -hmm. This is a long this time. Will to quite, this will be quite. This will be interesting. Yes. This will be quite close. She heard you, Kristen. She's brought her pieces around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Sometimes I wonder that if people in their ear pods are like listening to the commentary oh, and I'm like, oh, maybe we're giving oh, things away. Yeah, we're just directing. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't think that. that would be helpful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's just got so, like even just those building pieces. I'm like, okay, come on, you've got they must this. Must stick out, right? I mean, yeah. From our angle, we can't really because if they right? don't have the flowers on them, but I guess maybe there still is a little flower on those those few pieces there. I feel like Laura might come through here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I think she's probably got the best shot at it. happening in the comments these days. People are talking about, yep, this is up there with the difficulty of group A. <laughs> yeah. Is it 44? 44 minutes, wasn't it, the first one? I think, yeah, it was right around there, yep. 44, so we 59. might be. 
is it hard for you guys to watch other people puzzle? Or are you just the whole time being like, oh, just that goes in there. <laughs> what are you doing? I think it's always easier as a spectator yeah. to yeah. say what you yeah. think other people should be doing. <laughs> yeah. But when you're in the moment, you know, yeah. you're, you're doing your best, the best that you can. Yeah. Lots of sympathy of coming through for 81, for Marteka from the Czech Republic. Yes. She was doing so well. And she and was. And she's just, just gotten bogged down. Got, as you say, got stuck in this mm -hmm. the sky zone. <laughs> yeah. Laura from Spain doing very well there. She is, she is. She's coming home strong. Yeah. So she's doing, I, my team refers to that as jamming, just grabbing a piece and putting it in Everywhere. like 20 places, just <laughs> hoping it goes in somewhere. That's a great tech, uh, name for that. Yeah, jamming. and we, we, we try to discourage each other from jamming, you know, we're like, just really look at the pieces. Yeah. I, it, I mean, it makes sense though, when you're in this situation where it's all white like that, you, you're going to do that to some extent. I think where we try to discourage it more is if we're doing a big jumble puzzle, because it's like, well, you should know if it's going yeah. there or not. And Laura's coming in here, and yep. she's got some distinction there, you know, some yep. of those pieces are definitely dark. There we go. There we go. Seven twenty-five ish is yeah. our first first place in this division. Take a few Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. Hoping she's going to be coming in second, maybe. Oh no! Oh, somebody right somebody in front of us just finished. Oh, Someone from Hungary. Oh, she was doing so well. Yes. Oh, yeah. We've got a second place finisher. Oh, and that close. I had no idea. Oh, here come the cameras. They missed that one. Apologies find out who it is. Yeah, there she's she at table is. number one. Oh. So that was Brigitte. Oh, take a piece. She's lost a piece. She's lost a piece. Oh, no. Can't find a piece. Oh, oh it was in the bag. bag. <laughs> she can't get it out. <laughs> I think it's She was here last year. <laughs> was she? From Hungary, yeah. Yep. Oh, I could look that up. It's very from Hungary? What was the name? Like, oh, yeah. Oh. Brigitte? Is that who it was? At table yes, one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so she came in seventh last year. So she just missed the top six in the individual final. Yeah. So, yeah, no wonder she was at table one. Happy. She was one to watch. I didn't even know, and here she was right in front of our table. Yeah, but congratulations well to her. Early. Yeah. The sideways kind of strategy is going well for Becca still. Yep. Although, boy, she's looking like she slowed down a bit with those flowers, though, considering how well she was doing earlier. So can I ask a question? Number six here, Tobias from Sweden, is now using a black board for his pieces. That is allowed, presumably, yes. in yep. this. So yeah. I haven't seen anyone else do that, but I suppose because the background is white and because the colors are so pale, mm. it probably does help with your eye yeah. to, to pick out the contrast. Yeah, it's a good strategy. Um, people are allowed to bring in, uh, I think it's up to two trays for the individual. And I know people that bring one black tray, one white tray kind of thing, or yeah. it's double-sided, black on one side, white yeah. on the other. So for exactly that type of situation, so that yeah. they can take light colored pieces, put over the top of it, and be able to see them a little more clearly. Yeah, it just makes them pop a bit more, doesn't so, it? So yeah, it's a good idea. That's and really the, the good The other idea. thing with uh, the tables, the, um, the sheet that we're seeing them do the puzzle on, it's glossy on one side and more matte mm. on the other. So mm -hmm. you'll see some people flipping over to the matte Again, side so they don't get that glare. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. people prefer to have it matte rather than shiny. Yeah. The shiny one is quite I glary. Think, uh, I imagine mm -hmm. it's quite difficult. Oh, Adam from the Czech Republic, slightly despairing there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? We're Come on, Adam. It. Yeah, we're rooting for you. So you're both done for the day. Are you relieved? Yeah. Glad? Yep. Yeah, I was happy to go early. Yep. Kristen, would you have tackled the flowers first or the sky? What do you think you would have done here? I think of the sky first. Sky first. Yeah, and leave the mm -hmm. That was a Lithuanian finisher there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You would have done the sky first. Yeah. 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 But I feel sorry for them when you're close, um, getting close to finishing, and then people start yeah. completing around you. You mm -hmm. become like really stressed, and yeah, I could see some shaking on their hands. Mm. And, be interesting to stick a heart rate monitor like yeah. on you yeah. and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do think that's interesting. I, I, you do feel a little like you've had a workout after oh, yeah, you compete. Like, mm. Yeah. Like we're we're all shaking generally yeah. afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you've that adrenaline rush and just mm -hmm. being so hyped up for yeah. so long. Mm -hmm. I mean, before, under, and after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There is some exhaustion that sets in. I remember last year, you know, if you're doing all three you know, teams, pairs, individuals, you're puzzling a lot. Yeah. That is spending a lot of the day kind of amped up. Yeah. And yeah, we would just crash at night and just yeah. be so exhausted. And we thought we were gonna practice and like, get, no, there was no interest outside of the, the competition arena to, you know, do more puzzles. It was like, you were exhausted at the end of the day. Yeah, and that's a plus again to being in an earlier heat, right? Yeah. Uh, we get to just sort of let ourselves wind down, whereas people that have been coming in all day or standing around mm -hmm. watching mm -hmm. heats, they're gonna be more fatigued going into mm -hmm. their uh, puzzle than mm -hmm. we were this morning. Yeah. So it is hard. So the leaderboard there, Spain, Hungary, Czech Republic, and Lithuania. Not a very big spread. I mean, the, the top three were within a minute of each other, so that's, yeah. that's really close. Oh, there's Mary Cardi. She's still in it from the US. And Becca. With her sideways technique. <laughs> I don't think with something like that it really matters, no, you know, when it's just flowers kind of all willy-nilly, like, probably yeah. doesn't really matter if it's We didn't ciders. see if she did that throughout the whole puzzle, or did she? I can't she remember when she was it. earlier. She, no. she turned it with her half, like she had done okay. the sky and all that, and then she turned it. Yep. Um, Likes to keep it in front of her. Solid showing from the Czech Republic this time around. Yeah, I mean, it's just fantastic. Oh, and here Becca's about to finish. She's getting number six. Well done. Uh, congratulations so to Becca. So lovely the smiles. Mm -hmm. and the yeah. Up. yeah. Kristen, how do you find puzzling upside down when you do pairs with your mom? Do you both puzzle from the same side, or is somebody working upside down? And do you find that is a hindrance, or are you easy no. from both directions? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Interesting, there's a question here for the organisers that we will need to... Do they foresee a time when there has to be some sort of playoff in order to be able to participate and qualify? Because at the moment anyone can enter, but I suppose mm -hmm. as it grows it may be that uh, mm -hmm. there'll yeah. have to be countrywide qualifying rounds yeah. and the best come through to the world. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of uh, factors involved in that. Mm -hmm. If a, country sort of gets maybe capped at a, a limit and they would have to hold qualifiers and the country would probably be expected mm -hmm. to fund those participants trips as well so yeah. mm -hmm. it it will take a lot of growth to get there I think yeah. you know I think the next step would be expanding maybe the venue mm -hmm. um, to be able to facilitate more people in at once but mm -hmm. it is something that they will have to tackle probably mm -hmm. in the not too distant future. Yeah. I know how it's worked in the United States. We have a few contests that are very large and have become really popular. The, the biggest one in the U.S. is the St. Paul Winter Carnival Contest. We have about, uh, last year, there were four divisions. There were about, I think, 85 teams or so per division. And it was all teams, and it was all day, but each division had the same puzzle, so you could only do it once. And they had over 350 you know, teams participating in the course of the day. So that's like 1,200 people coming in and competing. And you know, for them, it's, it's kind of been, you know, they'll fill up within a few weeks. It's so popular. And they just kind of have to be like first come, first serve. Yeah. You know, we've only yeah. got this many spots, so try to get signed up yeah. early. And that's probably that's how just how it, yeah, and it, it, that might happen happened. as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. where people are having to, you know, just really get signed up in advance to make sure they secure a spot. I think, you know, we anticipate that a little bit with U.S. Nationals that we're going to yeah. run out of space, yeah. so people are going to be encouraged to sign up early. You can only make the event so long, you know. Yes, true. four four days is already a pretty big commitment from the folks that are here. If I think if you made it much longer than that, it would yeah. make it difficult for folks. 
three days felt like a long time last year. So it's going to be interesting this year with a four-day competition. It is. It's exciting, though. It's great. Oh, yeah. I'm not complaining. No. <laughs> <laughs> so are there many competitions in Norway, Kristen? Or is this... No, there's none. There's none? There's none. Really? No. <laughs> so have you... Is, like, do you travel around a lot to no. do any competitions, or you no, just go from year. home and then you just come here? Yeah, last year was my first. Yeah, mm -hmm. this year is my second. Oh, <laughs> really? yeah. wow. So before you came here, did you yeah. realize that you were no quite quite an impressive cousin? Right? <laughs> no, not at all. Really? So mm. it was a big surprise for you that you, you did so well last year. Yeah, wow. I was very surprised. Oh, both of you. Yeah, yes, from Sweden. Yeah. And well, that must have been a nice surprise. <laughs> yeah, well, he looks very happy. Well done. Yes, good job, Tobias. Oh, Mary, I think, finished right behind, maybe? Oh, I think she did. Yes, she did. Oh, good for Mary. I'm delighted. So we're about to hit the hour mark. And yep. How many is that finished oh, now? Gosh. Just I think three it's or four? Six. I think it's six. six? Mm. I'll refresh the results, the results page. Please, but yeah, there's seven. Right. Seven, well, and seven, eight three. now with Mary. I think Mary will be the eighth. So the first time was what? For first time was forty-seven twenty-five. Forty-seven. Now somebody mm -hmm. said forty-seven in the chat. Well done, whoever that was. Yeah. Well, and then second was forty-seven forty-five. So yeah, both 47. in that forty-seven range. I mean, I suppose it must feel like, you know, you think, oh, it's only four minutes, but it must feel so long when you're actually doing the puzzle. Four minutes must seem like acres of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. When it's, you know, when it's down to the last few pieces like that. Oh, gosh. We've been watching her oh, deal with this white area she's for a while. Done. She's almost there, yeah. But I imagine she's not happy with how yeah. this has been going because she was really in the running for a while there. So somebody's asking whether... Yeah. Oh, good job. Still in the top ten, so that's great. I'm wondering whether this is a harder puzzle than the first puzzle. <laughs> no <Yeah>. comment. I, <laughs> think we'll, yeah, I think we'll see. We'll okay. see. I think you guys still have uh, some, you know, traumatic stress yeah. <laughs> from oh, the first puzzle. Stress. I don't know. I tried to enjoy the puzzle this morning. Like, yeah. it, I would never have picked it, um, yeah. but I, it was almost a relief for me that not a lot of people were finishing very quickly. You know, yeah. it let me know that I was still right. in, in the game. So, um, and for the people out there puzzling still now, they'll be very aware that it's a very slow mm -hmm. um, puzzle. Not a lot of people have finished, so they mm -hmm. will still have their hopes up that they will qualify and go on to the semis. Mm -hmm. And we'll see the same thing. We'll see a time cap, I think, before we hit. Um, yeah, you know, elimination for a lot of people. So a I lot agree. of people with pieces still to go will will get through, which is great. Yeah, it is a hard puzzle. Oh, Devon from Canada is struggling with that bit of sky too. She's yep. done a shape sort though. You can see there. Mm -hmm. She's working through it piece by piece. She's kind of gritted it out. Yep. Laura from Germany looks like she's very nearly there. This is one of those as an organizer, I would be tempted to pick this, but also knowing some people are going to be not crazy about it. No. But you can't please everybody. No, and you also do want to give people a bit of a challenge, you know, sometimes. There she goes. Nice. I have to say, I think I would probably prefer to get this puzzle than the first one. Yeah. yeah. And are you a puzzler? No, I'm not, you're not, not a puzzler. puzzler. I mean, I do, <laughs> I do it for leisure. <laughs> I'm just yeah. a leisure puzzler. Yeah. Um, but I think I would, I would think that first one, I think I would have found really difficult and yeah. slightly frustrating because it was so much of it looked the same. Yeah. It really did. And it's different when it's a darker background on the, you know, in the image too. I think yeah. that gets slightly more frustrating because you're not seeing the detail quite as clear, clearly. Mm -hmm. This is one of the German puzzles, Luisa. So Kristen, at home, when you're doing puzzles on your own or, or with your mother, how many times a week do you do puzzles? Or do you have some times, are there times when you think, you know, I really don't want to do any puzzles? <laughs> uh, I mean, it varies how many times a week I do a puzzle. Uh, but 
this past week before the competition, I've yeah. tried doing like one each day, and yeah. I definitely don't want to do like one each day. So, and if you don't mind me asking, I don't know how old you are. I'm a lot older than I look. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I just turned 29. Actually, 29. Yeah. That's yeah. not old, Kristen. So That's no, old. my gosh. No, but I know, like last year, uh, some Everyone people was... referred to me as like a teenager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Very good. So, what's your kind of day job? What do you do when you're? Um, what's your work? Or uh, yeah, this year I just have a part-time job and I'm taking some classes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, good for you. So yeah. What are you studying? Uh, I don't want to. Oh, <laughs> okay. 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 That's, okay. Okay. That's all right. Look, there's some of that awful puzzle dust there. Well, yeah. I, can see. I don't mind it, honestly. I know some people are like, you know, oh, I hate the puzzle dust. I don't really even notice it, you know. Until I'm done and I have to like wipe the table down, but so we've passed the hour yes, now. Just past the hour mark. We started a bit late, I think, didn't we? Yes, we did. Yeah, we there was a bit of a hitch. delay because yeah. of the technical difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. Got some people closing in now. Well, in this Hopefully one, we're likely really gonna close. have to do so. Oh yeah, you're right. We're going to have to do some piece counting probably if, <laughs> yeah. if nobody finishes or a lot of people don't finish in the hour and a half. So just for those of you who haven't watched this before, we if they don't finish in one hour 30, they stop the time and everybody has to do hands off the puzzle and then they count the remaining pieces to determine how the, how the rest of the players are ranked. And then any pieces that they have grouped in a group of three actually counts towards the finished puzzle. So yes. if you know you're not going to finish and you can get a couple of groups of threes together, they will actually count, which is helpful. Yes, great. Thank you for adding that point. That's important. <laughs> nice job. Another German player. I, it seems like there's a pretty good-sized German contingent here as well this year. Is there anyone from Australia in this? Um, yeah, we've got two, I believe. We've got Diarn, our association president, um, in maybe the second row farther over. And then we have another girl, Heidi, and it's her first year yeah. here with the, with the team. So uh, it will be interesting to see how Heidi does. Uh, we've not, not seen her before. And Diarn's usually pretty consistently in the hour hour to hour 15, she should be mm -hmm. in there somewhere. So hopefully mm -hmm. she's doing well. We haven't seen her yet mm -hmm. on the screen. Mm -hmm. A couple of people also asking about how Vicky Clifford is doing, because she is competing in this round. But I haven't seen, haven't seen her. Yeah, I don't know that we've seen her on screen much. Where's she from? UK. Ah, she's, well, she's just here in front of us, isn't she? Oh, is she? Oh. Yeah. So she looks like she's just got that sky piece left as well. Yeah. Oh, there we go, another finisher. I'm kind of surprised, according to the results page, we've only had like 12 finishers, which uh, does not seem like that many when we're an hour and four minutes into this. So it looks like Vicky's maybe got, I don't know, 20, 20 pieces left, just that sky. Kristen, did you did you need to go? I noticed you looking at your phone yeah, and I just, was like... Uh, my sister, she just yeah. finished. Okay. Oh, okay. Shout out to your Thank sister. You. Yeah. Who's your sister? Yeah. Uh, Linda. Yeah. Yes, oh. well done, Linda. Well, it's a whole family thing then. Yeah. That's great. Okay. No, so, well, thank you very much for yes. joining us. I know yeah, that Alfonso kind of grabbed you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I could tell she was looking at her phone a lot and kept looking over to the side. And I thought, you know what? I think she might need to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, we well, appreciate great. you staying on again, no worries, keeping us company. I'll hang out with you guys. Someone from Denmark finishing there. Well, maybe we're going to start to see a bit of a bunch here. Yeah. Finishing. I can say, I just kind of realized, I've been here all day, 
I have yet to take a picture with the backdrop. I have yet to go check out the merch. I gotta, if it I gotta, helps, I, I haven't done any of that. I gotta either. get up behind <laughs> this desk. You're just working too hard, lady. I know. Yeah. Still, some people wondering whether this is a harder puzzle. Hey. Than the British finisher yeah. there. Well done. I do think if you're not. There's Dion. Yeah, there's Dion. Oh, I think she's gonna make this. She's gonna get in she's before doing, the hour and a half. She's doing great. Yep. Yeah, she's, she's doing, doing, doing well. So yeah, Dion joined us for the first division this morning and, yeah. and kept us company and lent her insight, and it was great. And Dion is also she's not just um, a champion, and and uh, uh, she organises the Australian Jigsaw Puzzle Federation, but mm -hmm. she's also the vice president of the World Jigsaw Puzzle mm -hmm. uh, Federation. She was yeah. invited last year by Alfonso to, to to join because I think he he really recognised that um, she. Um, the, the, the art, the, the competition of, of puzzling in Australia has grown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's very, done a great job. Big. She mm -hmm. really, she's very passionate, very committed. So, yeah. um, and she's very kind. She's yeah. a beautiful human, is Dion. Yeah, she she's is. absolutely adored. We call her our team captain. Nice. Um, but she also makes the effort to go around to the other countries and, and join in mm -hmm. with their national competition. She yep, was at the she USA came to the one US this championship, year. Championship, yes. She went to the British one all this year. All of Dion and um, her husband Al. Like he's Sweden. always he's always along for the ride, and he's just yep. a delight. So yeah, we love it. But yeah, no, she's. Oh, she's I mean, the Australian great. Association yeah. is very well established. It has regional competitions. Yeah, so you she know. said there's seven. Mm -hmm. Well, there's yeah. six six regional competitions and mm -hmm. then one national. So that's a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of organising. Yeah. It is. It is. And the winner of our national comp got to come uh, for free this year, Katrina yes, Coleman. That's she fantastic. finished, I think, fourth uh, in her heat this morning. Very mm -hmm. quick. There's Vicky Clifford. Oh, yeah. she's getting close. She she's looks doing like she's very well. We've had some people oh, looking Dion. for that. Yep. Great. Nightmare in Paris, lol. Oh, <laughs> yes. I do think if solid color is not your thing, this is harder than the one from this morning. Mm. Vicky, look, she's strategically, she's getting a hand up. Yep. Yes, yes, well done, Vicky. Vicky Clifford just finished her one. Hour, eight minutes and 34 seconds. Yeah. Well done, Vicky. Nice, Vicky. <laughs> oh. Vicky's due to be joining us actually to. Um, yeah, for the next to division, right? Yeah. Yep. Which would be yep. great. So we can talk to her later about how she feels she's got on in this, in this round. <laughs> and she's teaming up with an Aussie in Paris. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think she's on a mixed team um, mm -hmm. for the groups with an Aussie, a Kiwi. Yeah. Really? And somebody else, yeah. I do love that when you see kind of, you know, and I, I think, was it um, Donna Louise who said their team name was World Peace? Yes. And it's, you know, people from four different countries. I love that. Oh, Mary came in eighth. Wow. I'm so pleased with how the American group is doing this year. I'm just going to brag a little bit. I'm you should. very proud of them. You should. You've got a great showing this year. Yeah. I mean, not that we didn't last year. We had a great showing last year as well, but it's just exciting to see the many names up there in the top, top ten. So that was eighteen people that have gone, that have finished. It the feels like now. more than yeah, that. That's surprising to me. I'm like, really? There's only eighteen so finishers thus far. Not on there. Yeah, you're right. So, so a couple more closer still to coming 20. through. Yep. The light. You can tell the light's changing outside now. Yeah, it's yeah. getting a bit darker in yep. here, and that will have an effect on that white. Piece, if that's what you've got left, that will yeah. become harder to see. Yep. That's one of the things I mentioned earlier, the St. Paul Winter Carnival Contest. It's, it's in a similar kind of scenario. It's a it's a big building typically. It's in the Landmark Center. And there's one area that has skylight, and then there's other areas that do not. And then there's some areas by windows. And it always becomes a big thing of like, where do we go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and each venue that yeah. you go to, you have yes. to consider that. Yeah, you know, when, yeah. When to we're try trying to, to really book venues, you've got to consider the lighting. And yep. uh, another German there. Well done. Yeah. Finishing. So on, on camera, it looks very dark in here. I was but it's say, actually yeah, not it that dark in real life. Right. <laughs> I think it depends on the camera settings at this point because now Dion looks a little yeah, brighter. Strong finish here. Yeah, you can do it, Dion. We're rooting for you. Oh, she's doing really well, though. Yeah. If I was her, I would be worried, oh no, I'm going to get stuck now. I'm hitting no. this white section, but she's just been 
consistent. Yeah. She's just keeping going. That's what you have to do. You can't just despair, you know? You have to just keep trying pieces. Yeah. And... No, and I, I think she, I was talking to her earlier, she's very pleased, Dion. Um, sorry, she, she was quite concerned about puzzling because she doesn't really feel that she's had enough practice in the run-up to this particular one. I think she, mm -hmm. um, so she felt that she wasn't yeah. quite match fit, she said. But, Yay, oh, there, there she goes. goes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Really uh, she will be yeah. pleased with that. Yes. Yes. Is that a little tink? Is that a little tear yes. I saw in her eye? Oh. <laughs> or a happy twinkle? <laughs> Yeah, Tiara well, is always a strong competitor, you know, yeah. like it, she, she doesn't need to practice all the time to be consistent with her timings. Yeah. She's just great. She, she knows what she has to do. Yeah. She's got her way of puzzling. She sticks with it. It works mm -hmm. for her. Yeah. And she's she's made it into the semi-final. Yay. So. That's very good. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably the biggest thing for people today is just really wanting to make it into that next round. Yeah. yeah. You know? I know that would have been my goal, just, you know, make it if possible, but it's tough this year. You know, I know a lot of people coming in were, you know, or maybe last year they weren't so worried, and then this year it's like, ooh, I gotta yeah. do a lot better yeah. this year. Well, because there are so many more people if there six, six qualifying rounds, and last year there were only three. Three. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you went straight through to, yeah. to the finals. So the that cutoff was, was a lot, yeah. you know, higher. Yeah. So the competition is so much more uh, tough this year. It is, yeah. it is. <laughs> I love seeing people that are excited to be on the live stream. <laughs> Got about 1,700 people watching around. That's right amazing. Now. That's a pretty you good know, that amount. That is absolutely yeah. wonderful. I think the high point today has been like 2,600 at one point we had, oh. and that was about the middle of the day, which yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It's good for I think people. the Australians are asleep at the moment. <laughs> good for multiple time zones. So here, somebody's saying puzzle difficulty so far. A, the first one. Yeah, it's e, close. the yeah. second one. Uh, sorry, the, this one that we're doing now. Mm -hmm. D, which was the one we just did before, which yeah. was the leaning the tower of Pisa, Pisa yeah. wasn't it? Yep. C was the, uh, the kind of archaeology table yeah. thing, yeah. and B was the um, the one with the Statue of Liberty yeah. in the middle, yeah. the bright yeah. colours. Yeah. 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 I think that's I pretty. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's a pretty accurate yeah. <laughs> summation. Yeah, the archaeology in the Pisa one would definitely just depend on you as a person, yeah. what, mm -hmm. like if that played towards your strengths or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. some people would love that, and some people some people would love the colors and all the different mm -hmm. pieces, but some people would stress out if they saw mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, two left. Yes, nice. <laughs> Spain, doing her one-handed technique. Yeah. Mm, very casual, very relaxed. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say very yeah. deliberate yeah. there at the end. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Oh, and another finisher. Okay. It's a nice puzzle headband behind her there. So we've got just under, just over 15 minutes left now. Where are we at for how many have finished? I'll do some refreshing here. Yeah. Coming towards the end of... 23 finishers e. is all so far. This, I don't know. How I many this, so far? 23. 23? I mean, you know, I don't know. The last update Yeah, was, so we might have something very similar to, to the mm -hmm. A, to the A yeah. meet as far as number of actual completed yeah, puzzles. I think there were 34 in the first division today that yeah. finished. One of them being Melinda Owens. She got in right under the wire, which we were happy for her. She's Always an American so competitor. Yep. And I think some people will kind of question, you know, oh, this puzzle was harder and that puzzle was easier, so is it fair? I think it does all come out in the wash later when we get to the semifinals and things, yeah. you know. Everybody in this heat and heat A this morning equally will have struggled with their pictures. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it doesn't really affect the next round, right. you know, for them. Perhaps in a way, if you've had a very difficult puzzle, 
for this qualifying round, then when you come through to the semi finals, it might be easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, the really difficult ones out of yeah, the way. So exactly. Get that fear out of the way. You've yeah. really, you know, you've pushed yourself, so yeah. um, it'll make you in a, in a better position when you come to the semi finals. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And that's a big part of training as well. You know, a lot of people, they tend to pick out puzzles that they that speak to them and they're like, oh, I want to do that puzzle, I'll practice that puzzle. And they will practice things that they like, whereas you need to be practicing things that you don't like so that when you get into that stressful competitive situation, you're more comfortable and you yes. don't freak you, out, you've stress out. That area yes. to yeah, you've got to practice your weaknesses. Mm -hmm. No, that is a great point, well Annika. I do think we fall into that trap a little as speed puzzlers. You want to always be doing really fast. Mm. So you pick out the stuff that you think is going to be fast for yeah. you. And you do, you need to kind of push yourself to try all the different types. And you know, you got to do these ones sometimes that have these big areas of a light color so that you can practice how you're going to handle that and get used to doing the shape mm -hmm. sort. You get quicker at it as you do it. And I think you have to test it as well. You know, it will work for some people, it won't work for others. Exactly. Some people are yep. um, do well just off of color and other people do better off of shape. So you have yep. to kind of determine what sort of puzzler you are, I suppose, mm -hmm. and some people will be a bit of a mix of both and can switch back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all about trying and testing different strategies and finding mm -hmm. what works for you and then refining that. Yeah. I will say, and I'm going to date myself a little bit here, but I've been doing this for about 20 years now. I started competitive jigsaw puzzling in like the year 2000. That's amazing. And but you know, I'm kind of jealous of all these young people that are getting started now because when I was doing that at the beginning, you couldn't go on YouTube and see techniques and tips and things like that. And so um, when we were making the Wicker Kittens documentary, my significant other and friend Amy put that together about competitive puzzling. It kind of blew my mind when I went back and saw the film and could see what other puzzlers were doing. Because <laughs> it had never occurred to me to do a shape sort. That was the first time I'd seen somebody do that. And so it was like, oh, that's so helpful. Mm. And now, you know, you just Google it and you get a gazillion things yep. to look at. And you can learn from all these people that are posting their time lapses and their results and yeah. all of these things. So you really have a lot of tools now to help you grow that skill. Yeah, so true, so true. But then we do have those people out there that are just watching and observing all that and they're keeping their scores to themselves and yes. we don't know who they are or where they are or when they're going to show up and when yes. they do, they blow our minds and, <laughs> and that's just... Um, that's exactly it's, right. It's brilliant, it really yep. is. So yeah, there is definitely, the content exists now. You can mm. find pointers, YouTubers, lots of people in this kind of realm that are helping each other out, learning from each other. Some jamming. <laughs> Keep going, you can do it. And we're getting a look at our results here. Oh man, we don't 11, have much time left. 11 minutes, 11 minutes. minutes. yeah. Cool. And the light has really gotten darker. Oh, it's really changed in here. Yeah. I did not expect that. It's going to be really interesting. I hope this last puzzle of the day is not a dark puzzle. Let's, yes. Let's hope it's a nice, nice bright let's, one. Yeah, I hope so for them. I really do. I really do. But again, everyone will be on that same yep. playing field. Yep. It'll be dark for everybody. But yep. You know, the puzzle choices have been really great so far. Yep. Wow, we're yeah. Gonna, yeah. So tomorrow morning we have the pairs groups uh, starting, mm -hmm. and uh, we kick off at ten o'clock with, with group A. Then at twelve o'clock we have group B, and then at two o'clock group C. And that's it. So we've got three groups. And then we go into in semi-finals semi in the individuals. afternoon. Yeah. yeah. So three groups, and and, and tomorrow morning um, the pairs will be doing. Again, a 500 piece puzzle, and they have 90 minutes to do that. So, we expect that the, the times will be faster, won't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. should mean, be. <laughs> yeah, right? It should, unless they're harder puzzles, I <laughs> yeah, guess there, yeah. is that, uh, there is that chance. So, will we be looking more at like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, do you think? Yeah, yeah probably Depending for the, on the puzzle, one, but yeah. I think so. It's yeah. a little different from last year, isn't it? We did, did we qualify yeah, I, with oh. 500 and then do. Yeah, I think we a did thousand a, a thousand for the final. Yeah, I think it's the same setup okay. this year. Yeah, 
But yeah, I think you will see some potentially 20 minute finishes and mm -hmm. pairs tomorrow. Yeah. But again, you know, if you have a big section of light color or something, that could throw people off a little. So yeah. We don't know. The strategy for pairs is always different from individuals <laughs> yeah, as well, and that depends true. on the puzzle, you know, what gets thrown at you yeah. and how you attack it as a pair. So um, yeah. it will be yeah, really interesting to see. Work on the same area or if people split it up, you know. What's interesting to me is it's never occurred to me to work side by side, but I have seen that here at Worlds, mm. where pairs just are right Sit cozy next, next to, each, to other. each other and just right in there doing it, you know. Yeah. Um, whereas my pair partner and I, we always are across the table kind of thing. Right. Um, because, you know, it doesn't really bother us if one of us is upside down or something like that. But There's Heidi from oh, Australia. I was she's, just going to say, she's just like She's looking staring. a bit stuck at the moment. Come on, Heidi. <laughs> Come on. do it, Heidi. Just Pick up a piece. Yeah, Pick up she, she, just, she's just trying. She's, she's yeah, done she done has done. Sort. Yeah, yeah she's done. Some shape a, sort. So there we go. Like, that's like the standard piece puzzle there that's on the left-hand side. And yeah. then there's the slightly more irregular. Three prong. Yeah. She's got three prong. Three prong. Oh, I see. Three prong. Two prong and a one prong. See, and you can see right. like where you know there's one spot there where you can see it's got to be at least a two prong or a three prong. So you could try all of your your two and three prongs. I see. Yeah, there. In that spot. So that's where I like having the grid because I'm not going to grab the same yeah. one twice. I can kind of go through the line. You know, we we try know each one of them. One of those pieces has to go in that spot. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah, you don't have any four prongers left, so one of those is going to go in there. Yep. But it's much easier to watch and comment it is, it than is. it is to do it. It really is. So there no we go. shade at all here. On but with every, every piece that goes in, she's going to get a little bit of that confidence back. You right. know, a little bit of yep. hope that she's going to make it in the next eight minutes to finish under the time cap. Oh here. yeah, I think she's going to make it in the eight minutes. I think she'll definitely finish in that time. Oh, and the lighting oh, in here just changed change. slightly. Oh, no, oh they changed colors. colors. Oh boy. Surely that's, that's interesting. <laughs> we have sort of a lighting effect happening of different colored lights happening in the ceiling. Got Ukraine coming up to a oh, finish yeah, here. here. We go. Yep. Moving quickly now, just got a couple pieces left. Great to see Ukraine represented again this yes. year. Yes. Yeah. Well done. Great great job. Job. Well done. One minute one hour twenty three <laughs> minutes. I mean right now everybody who finishes is going to make it into the you know semifinal. Um so that's got to be a good feeling. Oh, and Heidi's made some improvement yes, here now. Yes, She's definitely. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you and I just want that piece to go in so badly. It's like we know it's it one can, of those. It can only be one of three. There <laughs> we go. There we go. Come on. And it is great when you see somebody who has hit that struggle spot, you know, kind of push through and yes. finish. There it went. It went in. It went in. There we go. She got it. <laughs> nice close up oh. there. Oh, well done, Heidi. Oh. The White Sky Hill is over. Here we were like, oh, she's still got eight minutes. She'll be okay. And then a minute later, she's done. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, that's a very organized shape. Yep. Sorting yep. It's very there. pleasing to the eye, isn't it? <laughs> From Brazil. Very good. They've come a long way as well, the yeah. Brazilians. Yeah. You can do it. Come on. Changing perspective. Yeah, it's definitely been people either have the flowers in the lower corner mm. or they have the white. And you can see like she's in her own shadow there a bit now yeah. because of the overhead lighting. Sure. And that will play a factor in, in the next round. Yep. Yeah, the shadows really are going to make a difference now. Oh, I like William's hat. Yeah, and the polish, the nail polish. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Yeah, lovely. Very patriotic. Yep. He looks confident. Yeah. I like this. I like this. Oh, I, I think. I love it. Yeah. Very bold. I think he's going to finish. Savelle, you were right, you called it early that we would see shape, sorting by shape. Yep. A lot of people have uh, gone to that at the end. Oh, now we see somebody that's just got the flowers left. We've not seen a lot of that oh, at the yeah, stage. Right. We've seen just sky. Argentina. Oh. 
So Whitney Presley from Fantastic the U.S. Job. finished oh, the 33rd. Oh, she missing one? Is she done? Oh, is she, she missing done? one? Oh, that was she done. She's done. <laughs> from Argentina. Congratulations. Okay, keep going, Brazil. <laughs> I can't read her name there, but she's she can do it. There we go. Yeah. Very Wonderful. Very nice. Well done. <laughs> awesome. well done. That was interesting. I noticed he covered well, up the puzzle that he, he, was, he had the board over here already. Is that again just to stop his eye being distracted? I think he probably had his pieces on the board oh, and so his pieces so were closer just, to the yeah. gaps. Okay. Which just helps the, mm -hmm. the eye coordination and having yeah. your pieces nice mm -hmm. and close. That is something interesting actually because I had never puzzled with trays prior to coming to worlds like Me this. Either. Yeah, and I do think some people make a point of kind of figuring out how they can play into their strategy mm. and whether they can come up with ways to make that kind of improve their speed. Yep. So yeah, I do think that's interesting. In this situation, when you're not sharing a table, the trays are really not needed. I would say it's more you like to use them or you have a strategy around them yeah. versus needed because you have plenty of space on the kind of piece of you know, plastic there to lay out a 500 piece puzzle. So that's not really a, as much of a struggle. Mm. but. When we watch the semi-final, you are going to see the trays coming into consideration a lot more. Yeah. Because people are sharing that table and they're going to have a smaller workspace. Yeah. So they're going to need a place to put pieces. And we'll definitely see that in teams as well. Yeah. As you yeah. pass clusters of pieces around for different people to work on yeah. or move bits out of the way. I do know that was one of the things our team last year, we didn't have a chance to practice, none of us had, you know, I was joining a team that had already kind of done competitions together, so I was a new fourth person for them, but none of us had practiced with trays, yeah. and we had trays with us, but we were sort of like, didn't know what to do with them. We were the same, exactly <laughs> really? the same. We practiced in the hotel with trays for the first time uh, before we competed. Yeah. During that 1500 piece last year in the final, I just remember, I think we moved things around too much. Yeah. <laughs> it was you? like, I know, let's put these pieces on this tray and then, you know, and a half hour later be like, ah, get these off of here. Yeah, I need something else on here. Yeah, it definitely would have been a good idea for us to practice with the yeah. trays. How many minutes? Oh, 90 seconds. We are so close to this time cap. How many people are going to finish? Yeah, we've only got a minute to go. People are definitely feeling the pressure right now. Oh, she's going to be so close. Can she do it in a minute? Oh, one minute to go. Mari. Another Spanish one. Yeah. Mari from Spain just finished. Oh, excellent. Just, just, just under the wire. There she is. <laughs> well done, she had a big cheering section. 40 seconds left. Yep. Oh, we can see a lot of very nearly completed puzzles here mm, on the screen. Yeah. People are oh, so close. So come close. on. Yes. 30 seconds. You just want to get come it on. done. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. And the one right behind her, too, also just really close. It looks like maybe you know seven or eight pieces left. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, well done. Are. 15 seconds. Well done to everybody that's competed in this heat. Very challenging. Yep. People have made the point in the comments this puzzle was a little easier than the first one because we have more finishers. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. It's great. Enjoy the rest of the day. One more to go. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Tomorrow. <laughs> I think we're about done, everybody. 
thanks for joining us. If you're still able to hear us, we're not 100% sure. <laughs> okay, stop, stop. Estamos en Valladolid, rodeados de tapas, de talento culinario. ¡Viva Valladolid y sus tapas! ¡Salud, chicos!
Así se trabajaba el vino el siglo pasado. Así era la fisonomía de muchos de nuestros pueblos, con sus bodegas centenarias incrustadas bajo la tierra. From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know
Solo se puede recordar lo que uno ha vivido. Y mi pasión es vivir. Coleccionar experiencias, almacenar en mi memoria lo que siento allá donde estoy... Busco constantemente lugares, esos que me hacen sentir viva por más veces que los visite. Como tú. Y estabas más cerca de lo que pensaba. Me gusta que me sorprendas. Me gusta cada vez que eres capaz de emocionarme. Me haces sentir en casa sin necesidad de preguntarme quién soy ni de dónde vengo. Llénate de experiencias, llénate de vida. Valladolid es tu destino. Estamos en Valladolid, rodeados de tapas, de talento culinario. ¡Viva Valladolid y sus tapas! ¡Salud, chicos!
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Estamos en Valladolid, rodeados de tapas, de talento culinario. ¡Viva Valladolid y sus tapas! ¡Salud, chicos!
El inicio de este campeonato mundial de puzzles a las 10 de la mañana iniciábamos con la primera ronda de clasificación en categoría individual y ahora, después de un día muy intenso, Charlie, vamos a por la última ronda. Well, it's the last round of the day. We've been here all day. We've been streaming both in Spanish and English all day long. And here we are. It's the last task of the day. You're the last round. The last people who will be going through to semifinals tomorrow in the individual tournament of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship. Con esta última ronda completamos las seis que hemos realizado y en esta buscamos 60 nuevas personas que pasarán a la siguiente fase y que se meterán en una de las dos semifinales que viviremos en la jornada de mañana. So 60 of you who are at your tables now, 60 of you will be going through, you'll be the last through to the semifinals tomorrow evening. Veo que ya estáis ocupando vuestras mesas, enfrente tenéis un puzzle, vais a tener un tiempo total de 90 minutos y como reto un puzzle de 500 piezas. Well, between you and the semi-final is the, um, is the 500 piece puzzle and you've got a maximum of 90 minutes in which to complete it. Se clasificarán 60 personas para esa siguiente ronda, 30 por países, hasta un máximo de 30 y el resto por orden de clasificación, es decir, las más y los más rápidos. So the first 30 that people go through will be um, done by um, the first 30 from each different country. Um, and then from there on in, the following 30 are the, f the 30 fastest people to complete their puzzles. Y lo llevamos diciendo a lo largo de todo el día, y es que todas las personas que quieran llevarse como recuerdo a sus lugares de origen el puzzle que vamos a proponer en esta última ronda clasificatoria, pueden adquirirlo desde este momento en Caja Rural de Zamora, en la parte del fondo, ahí podéis hablar con la organización y también adquirir boletos para la rifa de puzzles que se realizará el sábado. So all the puzzles which have been used today, there have been six different puzzles, you've got the sixth one. Five of them are already available, although some are already sold out, so you better get your skates on if you want to get hang, uh, get, get hold of one of the uh, puzzles which have been used for the championships today. Dicho lo cual, queda poco más que preguntaros, ¿estáis preparadas y preparados? Are you ready, everyone? Pues vamos allá con esa cuenta atrás desde cinco. Let's do it. Five. Cuatro. Four, tres. Three, dos. Two, uno. One. Adelante. Puzzle. Suerte. The last day. Good luck to you all. All right. Individual competition today, Group F, and uh, I'm Julia. I'm presenting, and we are with the lovely Valerie Coit from the USA. Thank you. And we're joined by Vicky Clifford from yes. the United Kingdom, which That's is fantastic right. because um, I know we've had lots of people asking mm -hmm. about you, and they were rooting for you last time round. So it's great that you were oh. here. So here we go, so, everybody. This is the go. puzzle. So, Literally just oh saw this, my. and we think this is the most difficult puzzle. But, um, Definitely the most difficult puzzle. I, yeah, I'm shocked I that this is happening at the end shocked. of the day. Shocked. I, I know. Because uh, people, you know, it's 9 p.m. here. Everybody's, it's, you know, it's 
and close to bedtime for some folks. And here we are presenting them with probably the most difficult puzzle of the day. I think it's easy to say. I thought this the first gonna... one was hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and actually this is similar to the first one. You've yeah. got sky and grass. But at least um, there was flowers and, yeah. and you know, a sunset in that one. Yes, <laughs> yeah. much less variation in this. I mean, you've got the lightning strikes helping you out in the sky, but, but yeah, that, that sky, there's so much that's just block. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and this, a wee bit of this gradient is yeah. the top. That is kind of like yeah. all the same. I, I, yeah. yeah. So wow. right in the front there is Suzanne Ryman from the States. She's at table number two. and. I just, I want to know what's going through her head as well as everybody else in here to I open this package. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different shape as well. Has there ever been a panorama? Yeah, there? it's a panoramic, yeah. which also is interesting because like you said, I don't think that's typical. No, so no, I've not seen one. It's yeah, another there nature, it is. nature edition yeah. puzzle, which you seem to be liking those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that it's just, um, I don't know what's worse, the grass. I mean, there is a gradient in the sky that, yeah. that's going to help people, but even so, you know, you've kind of got even color across the whole thing. So as much as you have a little bit of a gradient there, you're still going to have a lot of purple pieces. Yeah. Um, the yeah. lightning strikes are key. I mean, that's what everybody's going to have to kind of go off of. Yeah, I think so. And maybe like the horizon, yeah. you know, the transition pieces yes. between dark and, and purple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, definitely that's going to be what everybody tackles yeah. first, doing that horizon It'll probably bit. be like a big line mm -hmm. across So Vicky, yeah. if you were doing this puzzle, what would you start with? Would you do the, um, the outside? I think I, I don't think I would do the edge first. No. Um, I think I would probably do like the lightning and then like like the obvious delineations between the the horizon and the sky and yeah, then like, the line of trees and then the, like the lighter grass and the, and the dark. Yeah. kind of horizon. I mean, you and do then some differences in the... just be working on the yeah. gradients then, really. I think so. I mean, you've got difference in the thicknesses of the lightning strikes. So yeah. that might help you differentiate those a little bit, but, you know, that, that yeah. is going to be tough. You could use the background, I suppose, as we, a wee bit as well with the lightning, because some of it's kind of got, like, yeah. an orange in the background. And... Well, here's somebody doing a detailed sort. Yeah. Good idea. I think this puzzle lends itself really well to a, a sort because Very it's pretty easy to immediately much. identify what's what and throw it into a pile. I think the more sorting. detailed the better. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. Make it a lot easier to build. You do have these two kind of, you know, tracks, car tracks in yeah, the grass. That's true. But boy, I don't know. I think if I was unwrapping this, I'd. I'd be on the verge of mutiny at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm grateful for my puzzle, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be tough. I, I'll be really, I, yeah, I just think easily this is the hardest of the day, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah I sorry. agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I think we're going to have, if we have 34 finishers in this round, I will be surprised. Yep. Yeah, in the hour and a half time be... period. So our, our um, guests on the on the live stream have been very accurate actually in predicting mm -hmm. how quickly they think um, the, the puzzles are going to come through. <laughs> no Vicky, pressure. You... I'm probably going to be way off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know. Like the the first one. What was the fastest time on the first one? Like forty four something. Yeah. 44. And I think that's harder. So I'm going to put it somewhere in. in I mean, there's some amazing puzzlers, and they always surprise me. So mm. I'm going to put it somewhere 50s, 50s, maybe around about the hour 50s. mark. 50s. So mm. come on on the live stream, please tell us in the chat which, uh, yeah, what the times are that you think we're going to come through. Yeah, and, uh, get some predictions going. 50. Seeing a lot of 47, 48, 48. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's going to be closer to an hour than that. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. So I'm not sure um, in this group have we got some people that we're very really keen watching. to see yeah. who's, how they're doing. Vicky, if, if, is there anyone in this group that you've kind of thought, hmm, I'd like to see how they're getting on? Um, I don't, I'm not sure who the, the kind of forerunners are in this group. I know, I know mm -hmm. a couple of other YouTubers who are in this group, but I honestly don't know how, like, quick they how are. How quick they are. Um, so... I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, just looking I mean, at the, you know, the participants thus far, you know, I do think because this is the last division, it was sort of, um, 
you know, I don't know exactly how he broke it out, but I definitely yeah. noticed like a lot of our fastest puzzlers were earlier today yeah. in the morning. Yeah. Um, but we have a few from America in here in this group that are that are pretty fast. Um, this, is it? Am I right? Thank you. They normally put the the quicker ones nearer to the front? Yes, so yeah, I, I keeping an eye on this front <laughs> row is definitely yeah. yes. So in the first spot there at table number one, we have a, uh, a Spanish player, Gisela Toro. Okay. Um, yeah, and then like I said earlier, uh, Suzanne Ryman next to her. Oh, and then Amelia. Amelia. Yep, Amelia's in this group. Amelia from Finland, who's a YouTuber. Yep. Yes, uh, that's the one I... Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know. It's this is just really going to be interesting to see how this shakes out because, yeah, this is going to be a tough one. It's quite a, like some like I would imagine some people have been here most of the day. Like I've been here right. since this morning and popped out briefly, but yeah. you know, they're probably a lot of them are probably quite tired by this point. Yeah, I would yeah, exactly. Well. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's. Well, and we were theorizing earlier. We were like, well, maybe it'll be like the easiest one last. Yeah. You know, because we thought that exact same thing. You know, people might be quite tired. It's been a long day for some folks. Um, but and also now, of course, people aren't working under natural daylight conditions. The, mm -hmm. the lights yeah, here got the in lights. the dome are mm -hmm. kind of a golden, golden glow with some kind of general bright overhead light. So, yeah. And actually, looking at the tables, though, it, it, it looks quite well lit. Uh, but, I, I mean, when you're doing puzzles, Vicky, do you find it easier to do puzzles by daylight, generally, rather than electric light, or doesn't it really make any difference to um, you? Most, most of the time I have, like, because I, I record a lot of my puzzles for YouTube, most of the time I have the curtains shut, and I have, like, um, softbox lights. Right. Um, but a lot of the lights I use kind of emulate daylight a bit. Yes. The only reason mm -hmm. I keep the curtain closed is because of, you know, the shape for shadows going across yeah um, but you know ideally if I was just puzzling without you know filming it and stuff then I would prefer to do it in a day yeah if, you know it's in kinder on the eyes that's what we've been doing at the hotel because we've been practicing puzzling at the hotel together yeah. and we've gone as close to the window as we yeah. possibly can so how know, many of you are staying at the hotel so um, three of us the, so four of us have oh, all, you're the, have you're all the there. International. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so there's there's Donna Louise um, mm -hmm. yeah. who's come from New Zealand yeah. and then Jeanette who just did the commentary in the buff earlier today. Yeah. She's from Slovenia and then Juby's come over from Australia. Yeah. Um, so Donna Louise and Jeanette and I are in the same hotel. Yeah. And Juby's visiting with her husband, so they're right, in a different hotel. Well. But like so the three of us have been you know, spend a lot of time together, and, and Juby's come. Juby's only up the road, so she's come, and we've been practicing because we've never puzzled together. So I know, it's, <laughs> it's kind of imperative that we uh, right. do some puzzling together before we actually can. Now, this lady, Christina from the Czech Republic, that makes me feel slightly nervous. I don't know. She just feels like she hasn't done any sorting. Yeah, but no, she's just flipped she's them doing that she's horizon doing line though, exactly it, like we yeah. expected. Yeah. And now it's going to be what do people do first? Probably sky. I'm guessing most are going to do the sky first and then Sarah wait till the Spain is doing sky. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a pretty decent chunk going there, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's not it's not that orange bit in the corner though. It's not too big, is it? So right. It's kind of not overwhelming. Yeah, but when she gets to the purple, you're going to have a lot. Look at yes. all those purple pieces yeah. sitting in that, you know, big white expanse on the top there of her I, I board. I think she's trying to use the gradient as much yeah, as she can. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I love the comments. People are just like, ugh, horrific. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good to know. I'm glad that you're all feeling it for the people yes, in the room here. I'm really glad. I, I, really I do try to temper what I say a little bit, but nobody in the comments is, you know, no, kind of... No, uh, just tell it like it is. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, just a reminder then, so 60 people from this round will go through to the semi-finals, which are mm -hmm. tomorrow evening. And uh, I think, again, we've got around 100 participants in this. In this yeah, group. there's a few more than 100 on the list. But I can't one. see in the back if anybody's actually had to double up on tables or not. I mean, it's not uncommon for there to be some folks that just don't show up, and so then that yeah. you know yeah. frees up the space. But my guess is he just tried to accommodate as many last-minute sign-ups as he could yeah. and ended up with a few more than 100 in this division. Yeah. Yeah. So and this is the final group of the day. We are on the sixth group. 
and um, yeah, it's been this is our really exciting day. seven and a half for us. We're gonna have a, a nine hour day at the end of this of being on the live stream. Curious if anybody has watched all nine hours. If you have, I feel like you know we should give you a shout out because that yes. would be amazing. <laughs> I can't imagine listening to us for nine hours, but you know maybe somebody out there has has put in all that time. Yeah, so 60 from each group, which means that in the semi-finals there'll be uh, group A, B and C, so that will be 180 participants yeah. in the semi-final. Mm -hmm. And then the second semi-final, which is groups D, E and F, again, it will be 180 participants mm -hmm. who are in the semi-final. Yep. So they'll be sharing tables. Some of the people will be sharing tables in that next round. This puzzle would have made it hard to share the table because yes, oh, the pieces yeah. of, you know, the plastic or the kind of tag board pieces that they're using are going to be slightly smaller to just fit on half the table for the next uh, semi-final round. So a panoramic would not have, have yes. worked for that one. So you got to do that now when people have the extra space. So the shape of this one, forgive me, is, is, is a long, it's a long. Yes. It's, a yeah, long it's just a wee bit wider and not yep. tall. Eh? Right. It's the first panoramic puzzle we've had at the competition. Yeah. So. This year. Yeah. This year, exactly. <laughs> we don't know what's to come. We didn't know what was to come with this. I, I peeked in the bag just before they were opening it and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so Vicky, how long have you been puzzling a speed puzzler? Oh, a speed puzzler, not that long. Oh, really? <laughs> um, so really, I... I only really found out a couple of years ago about, you know, about the worlds and, and speed puzzling competitions and um, I did my first <laughs> speed puzzle for my YouTube channel about a year ago or something. Um, but then I really enjoyed it. it, I like, I love puzzles, just all puzzles, but I really enjoyed it so I was like, oh this is quite good and then when we collaborated on the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers, that was a speed puzzling thing yeah. and I've just, I don't know, we've just all got into it and then it just went from there to let's go to the world together. So, <laughs> um, so I haven't been doing it very long but I've been cramming in a lot of, you know, as much practice as I possibly can. So yeah. I've maybe done a few years worth in a very short space of time, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't know. But um, so yeah, not very long for speed puzzling. Before you were a speed puzzler, you would just be like an average person maybe in terms of doing the puzzles just for, for fun, just as a yeah. pastime? I would just do puzzles that I liked. So I only started the channel about three years ago and I would just do puzzles that I enjoyed, puzzles I liked. I did find a love for large piece count puzzles. So I do a lot of large piece count puzzles. When you say large piece, channel. how large are you talking? <laughs> well, I'm working on one right now that's 33,600. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So You're one of those. You have the space? Yes. <laughs> I'm one of the crazy, crazy people. Where do, where do you have the space to do a 33,000? Great piece question. Well, <laughs> a lot of them are, the, well, they're all separated into sections. Right. So, certainly big ones like that. But a 6,000 piece would probably be the biggest you get that mm -hmm. isn't separated into sections. So, mm -hmm. you know, usually, unless be... you own like a church or something, <laughs> um, usually you build it in the sections and, right. you know. And then do you put it all together afterwards? Yes. What I tend to do is tape, tape it in sections and then I'll put it all together. I, if it's a really ginormous puzzle that's too big for my flat, then I'll take it to a hall or something and just try and you know, like a community hall or something yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. and just take pictures of it. And have it. you kept any of the really big, and what's the biggest puzzle you've done? Um, so the biggest puzzle I've completed in sections is 13,200. I did do a 9,000 piece puzzle all as one. That's mm. the biggest one I've done, like all, okay. all as one puzzle. So, uh, but uh, you know, obviously when I've done the 33K, that'll be the biggest, but I'm only halfway through that. So right. <laughs> I'll be a little longer doing that one. But yeah, no, and, that's... Yeah. But surely you must want to, when you've, <coughs> you've done Excuse all of that hard work, you must want to preserve it. So are you going to look at a way of, I don't know, getting it framed or turning it into a yeah. mural or something? Yeah. So that, you know, you'll just be reminding yourself always that, yes, I did do that 33 mm -hmm. piece. 33,000 33, yes but I, I do I would love to have the 33,000 piece on the wall if I could mm -hmm. it doesn't fit on any wall I currently have <laughs> in my flat you just need a new flat then yeah, yeah I, I really just need a house big enough to display puzzles basically mm -hmm. ginormous ones um, and there's like some of them I don't tape like, like I've done a few 5,000 piece puzzles and things mm -hmm. like that like that I might not 
always keep. I might take those yeah. apart and mm -hmm. stuff. But the ones I really like, I'll keep and I'll be like, okay, that'll go up at some point in life. Mm -hmm. I just, mm -hmm. I'm just not sure when. Yeah. yeah. I just really enjoy doing them. There's and you, something that, about you've them. always enjoyed just doing bigger puzzles, even before you were a speed puzzler or it's the speed Yeah, bef before I was yeah. a speed puzzler, definitely. Um, but, you know, I do a mixture. I do yeah. a mixture. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've been puzzling. I puzzled when I was small. I used to enjoy puzzles when I was little, and there was usually a family puzzle on the go. Yeah. You know, and that was thousand piece puzzles and stuff, and kind of more normal ones. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, you know, I've, I've done them my whole life. But when the when I started the channel, I did a giant puzzle and just I just loved it. So yeah. So I, I do, do think it, it it's a special kind of person that wants to do one of those puzzles because I am I'm I really don't like the sorting process. Oh and with yeah, the puzzle do I. that large I just <laughs> feel like that's I feel like oh my gosh you must spend days just sorting. Yeah that's the necessary evil <laughs> of the whole thing. Yeah, yeah I know yeah the sorting is a bit of a nightmare. But once it's done yeah then it's then it's fine. Then it's <laughs> I fine. think I would hire it out. I'd be like okay does somebody want to make a little extra cash here come and yes. sort this and then I'll work on it afterwards. I'll take it from here. Yes. yes. We have a lot of people I'm so glad this came up because we haven't really talked large format puzzles no, today. We haven't, but there's somebody here who's a lot in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Donna Louise the, has the done a, a couple of large puzzles okay. as well. She's yeah. done some large ones. She's working yeah. on a big one at the moment, a 42k. Mm. Yeah, somebody so. here who's on the last bag of the Educa 33,600 jungle. Yeah, yeah. That's the one I'm doing. That's it's the one called you're Wildlife. Doing. Okay. So yeah, it's a big jungle scene. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody so, earlier yeah. mentioned the world record for the biggest puzzle right now is a 60,000 piece dowdle. Yeah. And somebody on the live stream said that they're working on that currently. So. It's taking wow. yours and doubling it. Yeah. I can't imagine. That's that, I a think really that's big the commitment. Commercially available. Yes. Yeah. That's in 1,000 piece sections. Yeah. And actually, um, near my hometown in a place called Oaks, North Dakota, they recently did that puzzle and it was a community project. People could sign up yes. to take one of the thousand piece sections. I think and I then saw they, that. they all got together in a community center and yeah. everybody brought their thousand piece section. They put it all together. So it was sort of a collaborative community event. And I thought that was such a clever yeah. idea and so much fun and you it's know, a good getting way people to involved. do one of those kinds yeah. of puzzles, especially because the sections are a bit more manageable as well. A thousand right. pieces, you know, yeah. you manage a section yeah. like that. So it's, yeah, no, I, I think I saw that uh, like on Facebook or something or Instagram. They, okay. They were kind yep. of showing the progress on it and stuff. I thought that was brilliant as well. I do feel like now as somebody who's really involved in the jigsaw puzzle world that pretty much all my feed in Facebook is puzzle related. Yeah. <laughs> you can relate. <laughs> yeah. I do like with Instagram, I do have a personal Instagram account. Mm -hmm. Never ever use it. It's just all it's just all the puzzle. <laughs> puzzle <one. laughs> Yeah, so beware for those of you out there who are immediately running to Facebook and, and Instagram and finding all these puzzlers, <laughs> pretty soon your entire feed is going to be puzzle related. <laughs> so we're about 20 minutes in now yeah. to, to this round. And look um, at that. A just, lot of that orange yeah. corner. Uh, a yes, lot of that pinky just orange right down the done. line. It's like yeah, every table has got that one pale left, pinkish kind of corner left. done. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I, I, a lot of people haven't sorted. That surprises me. Right. Well, on this picture anyway. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to make predictions. You kind of get yourself in trouble doing that. But I'm just like thinking, how many people are going to finish this in the hour and a half? And I, I definitely think it's going to be under 34 from our A group today. I think we're going to be lucky if maybe even 30 people finish this in an hour and a half. I, I really yeah, think this is going to be a challenge. Because even just looking at that bottom edge, would I do that bottom edge? Maybe not. I mean, it's pretty much consistent all the way across. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I would do it just kind of with the other sections of the puzzle. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Like these people have, yeah. yeah. They've got some edge, but not all of it. Yep. That horizon's coming together as well. Yeah. I do think that's a really good approach to take that horizon line because it, yeah. it kind of Splits compartmentalizes. Yeah. yeah. It gives you a sense too of how big the areas are if you get that edge together and then have that in there. Yeah. That purple gradient's going to be a really faint, just getting gradually a tiny bit darker. 
Maybe some people are gonna excel at that though too. Sometimes they're easier than they look on their face. Like look at, you know, she's actually making quite good progress on the purple. Yeah, she's doing really well. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, I see that Charlotte. Charlotte That's what's yeah. Right yeah. In, the in the Netherlands. Yeah. And as we saw, well, in the group before, that was Willem. Willem from yes, the Netherlands. Yes, Netherlands. He had this orange nail varnish. He was oh, fantastic. Okay. Yes. And uh, he finished in the 90 minutes. So, Vicky, have you got a favourite puzzle that you've done in the past that is one that you always just remember as a particularly wonderful puzzle or you, you had some story around that puzzle and why it became a favourite for you? Um, well, there's a couple that spring to mind. So the, the, my favourite growing up um, that I did more than once, I did it several times, was um, it was called the Celestial Planisphere and it was like a celestial map, but it was glow in the dark and I just loved that about it because I was, I was a stunning mm -hmm. kid when I did it, but I really, really enjoyed it. Was, it was like it's like black, but there's details and stuff you can use. Mm -hmm. um, but I loved that puzzle, mm -hmm. and I did that more than once. And then, and I actually, I don't know what happened to it, but I, I managed to find the, and you know, a copy oh, of it great. again more recently. Yeah. I did it on my channel, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh. I can't believe it. So um, yeah, no, that's kind of like a memorable mm -hmm. childhood favourite, um, and I just love the fact that it glowed in the dark. Yeah. Plus, I've always been fascinated by just planets and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. I quite like space mm -hmm. puzzles. Um, but my most my most recent favourite is the one of the, the big ones I've done. It was the first large puzzle I did, and that was it's called the Disney Orchestra. It was a Disney puzzle mm. panorama. Uh, the 13,200 piece one. I yeah. just loved every second of yeah. that puzzle. It was so good. So, yeah. Those Disney puzzles are really, really fun. They're so oh, colorful. You've got to love a Disney puzzle, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, right? <laughs> you know, who doesn't love Disney? And, you know, at least one Disney property we all love and enjoy. So, yeah, those are always really fun puzzles. Yeah, no, that was good. Mm. I enjoyed that one. I grew up doing Springbok puzzles. That was like the big you know, kind of brand. I still love doing a Springbok. They're a random cut puzzle. Mm -hmm. Very thick pieces, go together really nice, um, heavy duty, <laughs> have a kind of pleasing, you know, feel when they go in. And for me, it was the Muppets. I had a Muppets oh, Springbok puzzle <laughs> yeah. when I was a kid. And it's just like a big, kind of almost like the Muppets taking a selfie, just like a big collage of Muppets all, you yeah. know, looking at the camera. And I remember that being my favorite puzzle. Yeah. Do you like, I'm doing do you it over like, and over. Vicky, do you like doing random puzzles or do you prefer the, the ones with the standard? Um, I've not done very many random cut puzzles, if I'm honest with you. I, I don't. They threw me off a little bit. Mm. I think. I think the more I do, the more I probably get used to it. I've never done a Springbok because they're not. I don't think they're quite as available in the UK. Mm. They're yeah, a bit like American an American based. brand, aren't they? Yeah, American um, based company. But I did do. I did do a random cut puzzle fairly recently that was like. Mm. The whole thing wasn't random, it was more like areas of it that were random, right. which I quite enjoyed. I thought that made it really interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it added a challenge, but it was, you know, it wasn't, mm -hmm. it was fun. It was fun yeah, to yeah. do. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I do. Mm -hmm. I quite enjoy random, but I've not done very many. Are there a lot of puzzle companies, you know, from your country where, you know, you see a lot of different brands or are you usually, are they imported? Um, yeah, there's a few in the UK. So Gibson's is a big okay. UK one. Um, obviously, well, yeah, I mean, Ravensburger and Clementine, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I know they're not UK, but yeah. they pretty much predominate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you see a lot of Gibson's in the UK. See, and, and I've never done a Gibson, so now I'm like, wait a second, what's Gibson? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they... Um, they do, they do a lot of kind of scenery kind of puzzles and okay. things like that, of mm -hmm. all sorts, but um, okay. yeah, they're a good brand. I think it's Gibson's that sponsor the, the UK. Oh, really? Like, you know, the British yeah. Championships, yeah. I think mm -hmm. that's a Gibson-sponsored okay. thing. I know one of the things that's happened, you know, since COVID is we have a lot more companies coming up in the United States, a lot of new companies forming which is exciting to see. So yeah, if you if you do some looking um, in the States, you can really find puzzles now that are catering to kind of niche groups. Um, you know, we've got um, people now that are 
you know, kind of focusing on, you know, for example, there's minority-owned companies. So now you're seeing, yeah. you know, some more diversity reflected in terms of the art that's portrayed on puzzles and things like yeah. that. So that's really nice to see and just kind of trying to kind of broaden the scope. One thing I always think is interesting is, you know, until a few years ago, I felt like you didn't see many just gradient puzzles where it's just a color gradient. Yes. And now they're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I and know. And they're so popular. So even amongst that, you know, the types of designs you see in puzzles change over time and there's trends and things that come and go. And I, I myself, I love those gradient ones. I'm so glad that's a yeah, thing now. I enjoy the gradients. Mm -hmm. Lots of people talking here about other brands of puzzles. Cloudberries. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, a UK that's brand. A UK brand. Yeah. Puzzle. yeah, they're brilliant. Schmitz. Buffalo brand. Mm -hmm. Gibson's coming up quite a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, somebody just asked, has anybody done Schmitt wooden puzzles. puzzles? And actually, wooden puzzles haven't come up yet today. No. Wooden puzzles. Oh, what, yes. what, what's a big um, British wooden there's, puzzle company? Well, there's Liberty Wentworth, and Artifact are the two those. I've done the most. But I don't know, is there a British wooden company? Yeah, Went, Wentworth's probably oh, Wentworth. one yes, of the biggest. Oh, Wentworth, yes, I have done Wentworth. Yeah. yeah. Those are fantastic. Yeah, and those they're more, good. I mean, those presumably were maybe in the 1920s, 1930s. I don't know when wooden, wooden puzzles started. I think they've been around because a while, but the cardboard ones were cheaper, so those yeah, came out kind of first when because they, people you yeah. know, otherwise couldn't afford. Wooden puzzles are pretty spendy. Yeah, um, yeah they you can know, be expensive. The craftsmanship that goes into them is a little bit more time yeah. consuming. A lot but of them are of course, are I mean, going back, as we, as we know, mm -hmm. um, or as I have discovered in my finding out about Jigsaw mm -hmm. Puzzling Journey, that it was mm -hmm. actually a map was a map maker yes. in, in London yes. in the 1760s who first uh, came up with the idea of, of a map and then cutting out the, the pieces and it was kind of more of an educational thing to start mm -hmm. with, wasn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah, so we can kind of say, can't we Vicky, that uh, jigsaw puzzles came from England. In yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, and wooden, wooden puzzles are their whole, another whole thing. You know, there's people that get really, really into collecting those and doing those. They yeah. don't really come into play in speed competitions very often no. because of the expense that's there with those. Yeah. Um, you know, if you get a 500 piece wooden puzzle, you're talking, you know, close to $100 is I think pretty typical. Um, you could get, you know, maybe yeah. a 250 piece puzzle or something like that for a less, but it's a little out of the price range for a lot of competition type of things. but. They still, tend to be random cut as well. Yes. They're this weird yeah. and wonderful shapes, aren't yep. they? So. Yeah, they call it whimsy shapes yes. when they, the, the shapes might be, you know, related to the picture. So if you're yeah. doing a picture of a dog, you might have dog shaped pieces or a bone or, you know, a dog dish, like fun little pieces that relate to the theme. But if, if people on the, you know, listening to the live stream have never checked that out, I would suggest it. It's a lot of fun. They make great gifts because they're kind of a keepsake, I would say. Um, and they're really quite pleasing to put together. Yeah, they are. They're fun. I've <laughs> yeah. done a couple. They're really nice. Mm -hmm. I was surprised there. I think it was Soraya from Spain was moving in fast motion. Another person, <laughs> when you're watching her arms and hands go, it's just kind of amazing that she's so quick. But yeah, there you can see people using the lightning strikes as a means of kind of, yeah. you know, providing some structure for that sky portion. But oh, there's not a lot. It's still still difficult offing though, for, isn't it? Even the lightning yeah. strikes, because I suppose it's because it's like a wobbly line. Mm-hmm. Now, Soraya there is doing very well, isn't she? Yeah. Um, yeah. From Spain. She's almost moving kind of finishing, very quickly. Finishing the sky off. Yeah. And everyone obviously leaving the horrible, difficult grass bit till last. Yeah, it really mm -hmm. is. A, it's a top-down kind of a puzzle, this one, isn't it? Yeah. But even here, you can see, you know, there. you still need to be paying attention to the background color because the lightning looks like it's hard to get together. So they need to be looking, you know, is the background the darkest blue? Because then it's going to go up in this one corner versus, you know, further up. Yeah. I wish we'd see somebody doing the grass, that would be fascinating, but I don't <laughs> think there's a single person out there tackling the grass no. first right now. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. So we've just passed the half an hour mark, and uh, obviously it was in Group B, wasn't it, that we had 
We had somebody finishing it. Uh, oh yeah, 30, Teresa from 30, Czech Republic in yeah. 30 minutes, 38 30 minutes, se yeah. seconds. Yeah. Incredible. That's the fastest I've ever seen. Yeah. That's what, yeah, what were you fast. thinking today when you were watching some of the performances, Vicky? What's I, been your impression so far? It just blows my mind how fast they go. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just like half an hour finishes and stuff like that. It's just amazing. Yeah. But I think everybody's, you know, everybody's done really well. Yeah, I do think when you're here in person and you're you kind of, you know, put on the spot. There's some adrenaline that kicks in, yeah. kind of keeps you going. Yeah, it's not easy. I mean, I was I was feeling the, the nerves, definitely. Mm -hmm. Do you have a hard, how do you keep your focus? That's one of the things I like to ask, because to me, that's the hardest part when you're puzzling individually, is, you know, it's all up to you to just keep your eye in, on the puzzle and not get distracted and really yeah, zone in. Yeah, well... It, yeah, it wasn't really any more complicated than that, to be honest. I just kept thinking, focus on the pieces, and I and I tried to not be aware of anything in my peripheral vision. You know, I could hear things and stuff, and I was sort of aware, but I was just like, nope, nope. <laughs> it's just not allowing it to distract you, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm told I looked quite calm, but I wasn't feeling that. <laughs> <laughs> I will say we all watched you finish, and you were you were just sort of looking like, oh, that was horrible. <laughs> we all I had a bit of a chuckle. <laughs> I was relieved, but I didn't I didn't dislike it. I oh, thought good. That when I opened the puzzle, I was like, oh, okay, not done this one, but okay. <laughs> um, and well, then I just good. tried to get into the zone, you know. Yeah. But I it, it, it's when you come out of the zone and you're just like. <sighs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was quite really I do like this like I see he's kind of just pushed the green out of the way I think that's a good idea yeah um, just get him out of your line of vision really so that you can just focus on what you're what you're working on so yeah there's some changes here in in the estimations of how long uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna revise my 55 minute guess and uh, yeah. maybe more like an hour and ten minutes yeah I'm somebody I'm else saying maybe now. an hour and five minutes yeah I think when you're one hour 16 yeah. minutes very precise there from when you're at this point we're at you know over a half hour and nobody's finished this guy yet I think yeah. that's a pretty safe assumption because yeah. I do think the grass is going to be the bigger challenge in this puzzle yeah I mean the sky is a slightly larger area of the puzzle isn't it yeah, slightly. Yeah, slightly. I think you're right. Slightly, it's slightly larger, slightly and especially when you the, factor people, out the horizon. Yeah, mm -hmm. most people have done the, the horizon section with the trees as well. Yeah. So I mean, just see the top of the, the yellowy, yellowy grass. My guess is they're going to kind of work down too, so they're going to be hitting the the yellow, the most yellow grass. <laughs> yeah, light <laughs> and, to dark. Yeah, yeah do light I to dark. So. And the tracks, the tracks will go in because that gives you something to reference. I wonder if anyone will be turning their puzzle around and doing it upside down with this one. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> I think you could. I think you could easily just flip it around and... Yeah. It doesn't really matter if it's upside down when it's just a big old pile of <laughs> grass stalks. <laughs> we did a puzzle one time for a competition and it was fur and grass and I think people wanted to murder us at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Forest Forest Friends, and it was some deer, and they're like kind of cavorting in the grass, and everybody was like, "How could you? <laughs> you gave us grass yeah. and fur in one puzzle." It was like, "Oh, sorry, everybody." <laughs> there was a few logs sprinkled in there, but yeah, not easy. I suspect Alfonso's going to hear about this from folks. Like, what are you doing to us, buddy? <laughs> So just a reminder for anyone who's joining the live stream that this is the final qualifying group of mm -hmm. the day in the individual rounds mm -hmm. and uh, we are just over half half an hour into the um, oh, there's a United Kingdom person. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I've not actually Nicola. met of the United, oh, any of the United the Kingdom, Kingdom persons yet. I'd like to meet some of them. Yeah. Oh, good! <laughs> You're hanging out with all the international <laughs> crowd, yeah? <laughs> Which has also been great. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now that is one nice thing. You meet people from all over the world when you come here. I know. It's one of the it, big advantages that, of being here. That's yeah. one of the, been one of the best mm -hmm. parts, I have mm -hmm. to say. Just yeah. meeting everybody, it's been brilliant. And so from mm -hmm. this round, mm -hmm. 60 people will be going through to the, to the semi-finals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody was asking earlier about how the 60 are decided, and so I'm going to pass that over to you, Val. To well, and I feel question. like every time I say it, I say it slightly different and maybe confuses <laughs> it even further, but it's uh, they, they try to have a good representation oh, in, yeah. in the countries. semifinals, so they yeah. want to they want to pull people from 30 countries so that there's you know 30 countries represented so the top from each country will will get in for the t you know top 30 countries and then from there it's just the order of the finishes so yep but this is going to be one of those uh, rounds where we're going to get into the piece count quite a bit I think and that's what happens if they don't finish in the 90 minutes it's hands off the puzzle when the timer is up at one hour 30 minutes and then they just count pieces and that determines who yeah. ranks where yeah. uh, and so this is mm -hmm. interesting now so it, number 82 from Germany she has actually done that border yeah, that bottom, bottom edge yes. so she's done the bottom edge mm -hmm. so she's the first person we've seen well, yeah. to actually try and tackle a little bit of that difficult grass and um, somebody here in the comments said is that a two or three rows approximately I think we're looking at three rows yeah, of grass yeah that's what I was just thinking because mm -hmm. it's, it's such a narrow yeah. panorama yeah that's that just three rows help, of pieces actually. yeah, yeah. I say just. <laughs> <laughs> I say just I'll make when it's sound like easy. a third it's, it's of the not, puzzle. It's, yeah. <laughs> now we can see Soroya here. She's she's working down, isn't she? As yeah. You can see. And she's one of the first to kind of get into that grass into section. Grass. So she, I definitely think she's the leader at this point. But you know, one and of also her, the Greta from Spain. So. Yeah. So two Spanish competitors, sort kind of, of neck and neck here. Yeah, they're both. Mm -hmm. They're pretty close. The yeah, they are. Them. Yeah. And again, like Soroya is really moving quickly. Yeah, she's uh, still and, it blows yeah, my and mind she's how doing that lighter. Is. Yeah, she's doing that lighter yellowish grass first, I'm focusing on that. Just a bit of a gradient, I guess. Then you can kind of work down in yeah. that fashion. Now, somebody there saying that Karen did this puzzle last year in teams. That I don't know. I'm oh no, Karen. I don't. No, it wouldn't have been the same puzzle. Uh, they don't use any from last year, from last year's worlds. It'll all be different. Um, there might have been one that was similar. Maybe it wasn't in the world. Maybe it was somewhere else. We had one at nationals that maybe people could be thinking of. It wasn't a panoramic puzzle, but it was like a, a rice patty, and it had kind of a gradient sky. And yeah. So they might be thinking of that one. Katie, uh, Katie and Karen did that one at U.S. nationals as a pair. And, you know, people weren't huge fans of that puzzle either. <laughs> it was a bit of a challenge. <laughs> In terms of the, um, the ratio of men to women who are puzzlers, would you say? Is, do you think there are more women that are puzzlers, speed puzzlers than men? Do you think women are better at the skills that are needed to do speed puzzling? Oh, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. Um, a spit, uh, well, so I would say generally in puzzling, I'd say there's more women than mm -hmm. men that, that do it. Um, as far as speed puzzling goes, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I mean, if you look I, at I, the top, there are a lot you know, Alejandro's. Yeah, and, yeah. well, and yeah, I mean, there's some, there's yeah. some fast. Uh, male speed mm -hmm. puzzlers definitely yeah I don't I don't know because like I'm not sure I'm not sure that you know that the, a, a woman could necessarily offer a specific kind of mm -hmm. skill for speed puzzling mm -hmm. that a man couldn't I think mm -hmm. I, I don't know I think it's just people have got really good powers of observation <laughs> and fast hands yeah um, I guess either either or I don't know yeah. I, don't, I don't think one is necessarily better at it than right. the other and I don't know That's how you... an interesting question. I've yeah. never really thought of that before. <laughs> well, and just looking around today, you know, I think that, yeah, women are more heavily represented yes, here, there are I would more say. Of them. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just maybe slightly more popular pastime um, for women. But I, yeah, I really don't think there's a difference in terms of performance. No, no. Just individual no. skill, probably. 
And we've also we were trying to work out, weren't we, as well, in terms of the, the age. We think mm. the oldest competitor this year is 70. Oh, I really? talked to Larry, and he's 73, 73. but we're not yeah. sure if he's the oldest. Oh. He actually heard that I mentioned him in the commentary. He was like, wait, you said I was the oldest? <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know, Larry. I just know you're older. <laughs> but um, so if anybody knows of a, of a competitor out there that's older than 73 in the comments, yes. let us know. Please let us know. Who's oh, the gosh. youngest? Like, we Alma? Yeah, well, Alma, yeah, yeah, because yeah, she's eight, but she can't. She's not old enough to do the Individuals, individual. Yeah, but yeah, she is able to compete in the yeah. team and the pair because uh, you know then presumably she's competing with other adults and so she's able to do that. So we'll see her later. So look, we're nearly coming up to um, the, the, the first puzzle in round A, which was so difficult as well. That was completed. Uh, completed in 44, just over 44 minutes. Mm -hmm. That was completed, and so we haven't really got anyone yet no. who is, is, is near to, to completing. But number one is looking good. Yeah. Because how many? There's only a couple more rows below the lowest one she's done. I think. Yeah. And well, then, but she then, hasn't done the bottom edge. Yeah, and you've got the edge as well. Yeah. We might, we might be close with a 50 odd hour mm -hmm. sort of prediction. Actually, I don't know. yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Although there was a minute there when I thought, oh, maybe somebody is going to get done kind of quick, and then now it's like, yeah, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> it's definitely that, slowed um, them down. There was the competitor from Germany who she'd done the bottom lo the, ro the bottom row completely, hadn't she? And mm -hmm. so it'd be interesting to see how she gets on. But there's somebody there who's obviously got a lucky something holding up a. I don't know what is that. It looks like is a, that her handbag? I don't know. I, don't handbag. Know. I thought it was a little elephant. Oh, wait, oh, you might be right. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't a tell. Elephant. Oh, so there's somebody with a little mascot. <laughs> I think you're right. It might be a mascot. Yeah. I love that. We hadn't really seen that. I didn't see that last year. Now this year we're seeing more with the mascots and the little Lucky Charms on the tables. And I see that more in bingo palaces, but not so much in <laughs> jigsaw puzzling communities. So that's like it's a fun idea, though. Yeah. I like Do it. Do you have a lucky? Mascot that you lucky, take charm. With you. lucky charm. So I have brought a lucky charm with me, but I'm not wearing it because it, it would have got in the way. It's a bra it's a charm bracelet right. that I've got, and I actually got a jigsaw puzzle piece charm for it for my birthday, which was like about three weeks ago. Oh. So from my kids. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm not gonna be able to wear that when I was speaker puzzling because it's kind of heavy and dangly. <laughs> so uh, you know that wouldn't have made sense. But mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm definitely gonna take it with me. So it's like in my bag. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So it's with me. But, you know, not on me, but yeah, yes, so, so I kind of do. Your yeah. children found that for you. Yeah, yeah, no, they, um, well, I knew it existed, and I was like, mm, they Did were like, what do you want, Mum? And I was like, well... <laughs> Pandora do this jigsaw puzzle piece charm. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, so they did. Great. So that's yeah. kind of my lucky charm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and we've all, like, the, the, the team that I'm in, mm -hmm. we've all sort of brought wee things as well that mm -hmm. kind of represent... Mm -hmm. So I've got like in my bag. There's like a, it's like a badge that Jeanette gave me. That uh, it's like a coin um, that's got Slovenia on it. And oh, nice. Donna Louise has, has got us all these mm -hmm. um, necklaces and stuff like that. So you know, mm -hmm. just all, I, I'm just carrying them around with nice. me. Nice. I don't know if it's helping, but it yeah. feels good. <laughs> yeah. I will say that's sort of one, something you learn early on in speed puzzling is no dangly jewelry. Mm -hmm. Uh, nothing that's gonna get in the way. No long, you know, sleeves with, you know, like yeah. you wouldn't want to wear sleeves like I have on today. These will just catch pieces in them and, yeah. no and loose, drag them to the hair. floor. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want as few impediments as possible that can either get caught up on pieces and, you know, drag them to the floor. That's why you see so many short sleeves going on in here. Yeah. People just don't want to take the risk of knocking pieces to the floor with a sleeve. Yeah, oh, she's close now. Yeah, she's really getting close. I think, I think they're all you know, edges she, on the on right. The right and I wouldn't side. doubt where she'll she'll finish before fifty. Oh, you think maybe those pieces on the side there. She's but they're all edge pieces. They look. They all look like edges to me. Yeah. yeah. So she knows that that's. And then got so those ones are the bottom row, and then mm -hmm. and then obviously the edge underneath that. Yeah, that's my guess. I think you're right. Yeah, she's gonna do the edge last. Mm -hmm. Which will be a relief because if you're still in, nobody's you know shouted done or, or finished yet. Yeah. You know, all you have left is to plug in those edge pieces at the bottom. That's going to be a nice feeling, yeah. and and those will go quickly. 
because you have some knowledge of what kind of piece is going to go in, whether yeah. it's got a knob on the top or not. And which way they go, obviously, exactly. they can't go the other way, can they? Yep. So it's not a bad strategy. Okay, so she, I, she might even be late, late 40s then, maybe? Yeah, maybe late 40s. Oof. Oh, it's just so impressive mm -hmm. for this puzzle. So we've had a lot of people in the comments asking about cellophane wrap stickers, like how are these were closed. Um, with the puzzles today, I believe they've been removing any impediments so that people can just open the box. So if it had yes. stickers, they've been cut previously so that the box is easy to open. And if it had the cellophane, they've been taking that off in advance as well. So the volunteers have been working hard. They prep all of these boxes in advance, put them in bags, get it ready to go and just set on the tables. They don't open the box though and open the bag inside. That does not happen until the competitors open the, t the puzzle. No, don't want to risk anybody dropping a piece somewhere or losing anything in the process. So I, I was relieved that they took off the, you know, the the outer wrap kind of element mm -hmm. yeah I'd heard that you know the stickers I'd heard that they could be quite a they're tough really to get difficult off. to yeah, yeah really so difficult that was, that to was cut. handy mm -hmm. although it did confuse me a little bit because I'm that used to pulling off yeah. the cellophane I actually turned my box over and then was like oh wait <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to do that <laughs> like what's going on so yeah just yeah. like confusion there for oh, a bit. God, I'm glad they did a close-up there look at that like yeah. how I mean you can see why that's just about impossible you really have to go by shape yeah because you know that's just a mishmash of green yeah there are some darker the, yeah. gra the gradients though that yep. you can see can't you but you can see that kind of technique there. She's just sort of she's going all down the line and just trying it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of I think I would row. have shape sorted yeah. at this point. This, is this Soraya we're still looking at? No, out? she hasn't done the bottom edge. She was going to wait till the end for that, it looked like. I don't know who we're watching right now, actually. Yeah, definitely she's just kind of trying it everywhere where it might go in. Oh, yeah. It looks like we're watching. I think that is Soraya. Nope, that's Gisela. Okay, Gisela. Mm -hmm. Also from Spain. So that's who we're watching right now. But I was going to say, here we go. Sarai is going to definitely, so I think, take edge. first. Yep, she's just doing the bottom edge. Oh. Well, she might be in the 50s. That's so impressive. So she's at table number four. Oh. This is a good time, boy. If she gets this done yeah. in under 50 or right around 50, that's really good for this puzzle. Oh, is she gonna get it done in the... Oh, there's somebody at table 93 who's really cruising along yeah. there too. Let's go see what, who that is. Oh. So at 93, who are you just okay. looking at? Oh. minute mark. Oh. 49. 49 minutes, 57 seconds. So it's oh, just nice. Incredible. 50 minutes, you thought? Yeah, I thought in the 50s, yeah. yeah. So yeah. You're close. I wasn't too far off, I guess, well but that, that was impressive. That was impressive. <laughs> so Gisela now looks quite, quite close as well. Yeah. Well, Who's and just uh, the speed of Soraya's hands, honestly, I mean. Oh, she, yeah, she was moving really quickly. just amazing. It's quieter in here than it has been. You can tell it's the end of the day. The crowd's a little, little it's fewer people intense here. Intense concentration. Yeah. <laughs> Some very. Oh, Suzanne is doing quite well. That's exciting. She's only got two rows left there. Oh, which one? So it's Charlotte, 93. Yeah, Charlotte yeah. is 93. From, yep. from the Netherlands. Doing very well.
So Suzanne's on her feet now. Yeah. I think. Do you, you, just... do you find yourself moving between um, standing and sitting? As yeah, you're going sometimes. The it depends on like so. I sat for most of my puzzle, but I did stand up at the very end, and that was because of, a I was working at the, on the top of the puzzle. Mm. But also, it was there was a it was like mostly white, but there was a very slight gradient to it, and I just felt like having an overhead view of it yeah. allowed me to see the minute you know gradients and stuff a bit better. And I think I I don't know I probably would here as well. Because, yeah. you know, when you're looking at the piece sideways on, sometimes you maybe just can't quite see the colour variation as well. So, yeah, I do. But it a lot depends on the puzzle. But I do prefer to sit because it hurts my back. Yes. Bending over the puzzle. I know. There's someone out there who's got a nice potential little sideline in doing jigsaw puzzle massages, I yes. think, afterwards. Oh, know? definitely. Yeah. So, if anyone wants to come here and offer that service. <laughs> Because um, even even if you are sitting, you're still leaning. You know, it can hurt your neck yeah, and stuff. So yeah, oh, I agree with that. Should maybe get somebody to come here. <laughs> so that was Gisela, another Spanish competitor, second. Oh, so I really think I would have shape sorted by this point, personally, but. I guess people feel that that slows them down, but mm, then I they guess feel like it's a waste of time. Yeah, but then I guess if you're just testing each piece all the time, that kind of is time-consuming as well. I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure which is quicker. When's your next, um, apart from the World Championships, when's your next speed puzzling competition? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, whenever I can make, because the thing is I've got I've got two um, school aged kids yeah. um, and I've got, you know, a, a day job as well. So a lot depends on life. What, yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. What time I can get off, if the, if the kids can, you know, because sometimes, I mean, this didn't, this was, Took a bit of juggling to arrange because it's not it's not fallen in the school holidays. No. So, so who's looking um, after the kids at home? Um, so they have gone. So I live in Scotland, but my family are in England. Right. So they we went down to England first, and I dropped them off there, and then I flew out from England. So, so. they're with my they're with my mum. Yeah. So they've been watching the live stream they so have, they? yeah they know how you know I've done and how I've, that I've finished and everything I've not had much chance to talk to them but um, oh, well, they must be yeah very, they must be very very proud of you being yeah here. I think so I hope so <laughs> they're not hugely into puzzles but they oh, know I was it... going to ask her to, I mean does he you, they're not kind of um they're not getting the same love and passion for it that you've got. No, they have done some with me, and they've done a couple of videos for me on the channel, like with me on the channel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's not something they would sit and do. You know, they would just decide to pull a puzzle off the shelf one day. Right. They're just I don't know. I think they're just too into their tech oh, nowadays. <laughs> but that's I mean, um, some some of the people have been saying on the live stream is it, it's such a wholesome thing really to watch this because it's a lovely old-fashioned yeah it's brilliant simple, it's it's using your brain it's it's uh, it can be a very sociable thing it can bring people together so it is it's a good thing I think I find it really therapeutic yeah you know you can just get lost in it and it's mm. it's relaxing it's nice yes um, I hope to make it to the world again at some point I'll need to see what happens yes it'd be course. good to get to the British Championships obviously because that's a bit closer <laughs> be good to get to that but we'll see what happens so you, yes because there were some championships in June in Britain weren't there yeah yeah so you weren't you weren't able to compete that way. no unfortunately not ah, where did she come from yeah so the, the main ones are finishing in the 50s aren't they the 50 yeah. minutes 55 minutes so that was uh, Vanda Varga Sorry, Vanda from, from Budapest.
so that's how many? That's three now, isn't it? That have yes, finished. I, I think so. And Gisela's very, very near to finishing uh, now. She's got like five pieces left. So even at this point, it's not always easy to, to see. Well done. Well done, Gisela. <laughs> Sigh of relief. I completely relate to that. So that was at 50, just under 57 minutes. Yeah. I think everybody has done this puzzle the same way. Like I don't, I don't think there's a single person that's done it differently. No. Sky and grass. Table 16 has the grass done, apparently. Well done, oh, Table really? 16, okay. yeah. And they've, so they've, they've done it from the bottom up? Yeah, interesting. Okay. So this is Daniel from Germany. Oh, she's done it. Well done. Charlotte from the Netherlands. Well done. So that's our fifth. Yeah, I think so. Fifth finisher. Yeah, but everyone is a bit tired by now. But the, this isn't a puzzle where it's like one's finishing right after the next, after the next. It's, there's, you know, two or three minutes between each one. Yeah. Daniel from Germany sort of seemed to swoop in, didn't he? he we hadn't really seen him and now he's... Um, he seems to be very near the end. He's got some of the bottom pieces in there, hasn't he? Yes, uh, he's just working on the edge now, the, yeah. the bottom border. Yeah. So it looks like we've got now um, Suzanne from the USA is very near to, to finishing. Oh good, I'm, I'm glad I'm back for that. Sorry, I had to step away just for a moment. And so I'm excited to see Suzanne finish from the US. Wow. Nice, just over an hour. Well done, well done is right. <laughs> Daniel, well done, Daniel from Germany. <laughs> but for people, really yeah, who, who who are just joining or didn't know that the first uh, person to finish was Soraya from Spain with a time of 49 minutes and 57 seconds, so just under 50 minutes. Yeah. But we're into the, we've just passed the hour now, and we've got only so five finishers. Well, six thus six, far. Yeah. Six. Six under the hour. Another Spaniard. Hi. Well done. Paula. Well, it's interesting to see this now. You're seeing a bunch all finish together. Yeah, now, now we're getting just everybody Just a little over an hour yet. We're getting yeah, some so groupings. Daria from Russia looks like she's very nearly finishing now. Just putting in the last few pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> well done. Yeah. Nice shirt too. Love it. 
Yeah, with the, with the jigsaw. Puppet. Yeah, it's a really now, nice show. we yeah. still haven't shown everybody your rather special <laughs> footwear. Well, that, we never know uh, when we're going to be on camera. I know, because I know. <laughs> I know there have been a few people in the comments like, why aren't they wearing headsets? And part of the reason is there's a lot of chatter on the headsets. So and you've been coming on, on occasional, on you know, yeah. to kind of know what's going on. But the reason I don't have them on is because then I get distracted listening to the Spanish commentary and the producer and everything. But... So yeah, we don't really know when the camera's gonna be on us. If okay, it comes well, around, yeah, we need to get I'll it have ready. the shoe on There's the table rather, prepared oh, for, its, for its debut. It's a vintage French shoe. I'm not sure what year. I found it online, of course. And I had to buy it because it has a puzzle piece on it. That was so great. Oh. I love it. I was wearing it earlier today, but you can't see it, those of you who are out there listening. Um, it's a, quite a high heel, so not yeah. the best for a long situation. <laughs> I wore it this morning, you know, just to kind of show them off and transition to a bit more comfortable shoe. This is Dawn Rasmussen from the United States, and she is a really fast puzzler. Her team at Nationals came in second. so definitely one to watch and I have really high expectations for their team actually oh and she's missing that last piece oh, where is, is it, it the looking is it on her lap? under oh, the she's found it. She's found it. No. oh yep no, yep no, maybe yep. no yep no, somebody's yep. Somebody on the other side oh. <laughs> <laughs> literally the volunteer yes. that was helping her out Yay. yeah there we go nice work Dawn great job <laughs> Dawn's here with her husband Justin. I'm gonna give him a shout out and they've been traveling around Spain and they're going to Paris, I think, after this. So they're really making oh, it a whirlwind nice. journey. Yep. Dawn is fairly new to speed puzzling too. She's one that just started a few years ago and now has just quickly risen to the top. Yeah. Oh, this is great. We're getting a lot of finishers here and this is nice to see. Well done. We must be about 10 people, I think, now. Yeah, finished. yep. We're just past 10. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. About six. Six oh, Spanish. Oh, here comes six another from one from Australia. Australia. Oh. Oh. Uh, well done. <laughs> Adele, nice you did it. You did it. Somebody's just joined, actually, again from Australia. They said it's 6 o'clock in the morning there, and they've oh just gosh. woken up, and they've come straight back to the live stream. So just, uh, we've been talking oh the whole gosh. time she's been yes. sleeping. We've been talking the length of one sleep. It's. Uh, I'm super. I'm. I'm. I'm proud of us because, for one, I haven't lost my voice yet, which feels pretty good. I was a little worried about that going in, and still going strong. So I think we're going to be okay for tomorrow. Yeah, no, so it's actually 13 people now have uh, mm -hmm. finished. And I was going to... Yeah, we had Yasmin from mm -hmm. Israel was the... Uh, finished 11th there. There's a lot finishing all together now, mm -hmm. aren't there? I do have to say shout out to our guest today and you, Vicky, because you make this easier oh, <laughs> for you. us, kind of lending new insight. I'm sure people at some point are going to be tired of hearing Julia and I talk, so it's wonderful to have guests like yourself and people who competed and did this yeah. today and kind of can talk about their experience and perspective and how it went for them. Are you excited? Uh, do you feel like you know some of the nerves are over? Are you still nervous, or where are you kind of at? Well, <laughs> I thought once I'd got the first, you know, the the first round over, that I would be calmer. I am a wee bit calmer because I kind of know what to expect now. But um, mm -hmm. now I'm like through to the semis. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what have I They'll done? They'll probably just all come back again. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm really looking forward to the pairs and the teams. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's been a, a huge part of this whole trip for yeah. me and experience, yeah. you know, just just puzzling with the um, the other girls and everything. That, that's, I'm really looking forward to it. So, mm -hmm. um, the individuals has definitely been the most kind of nerve-wracking element. Do you know which group you're in for the teams? Uh, for the teams, we're in group the what the one at 12:30. So that's the mm -hmm. second. That's group B. B, yes. So this is on Saturday morning for um, the live stream. People are listening. That the two, uh, sorry, the first groups uh, team. Sorry, the first teams in group A 
uh, will start at nine o'clock and that's for three hours where they will be getting uh, two jigsaw puzzles. Well, one thousand one, pieces. 1, of these. Actually, pieces. you get four. You get oh, you four, four and, and you then you choose, choose two. two. Yes, they've made it that's right. uh, a little bit more interesting. This is the only competition I've ever been a part of in all my 20 some years of competing where you have that, where you get four to choose from and you choose two. And then once you choose, you're committed. You can't That's get halfway it. through one and be like, you know what, I think I'd rather do that other one. Yeah. <laughs> you do have to stick with your choices once they've been made. So and choose you wisely. Have to finish, you have to finish the first puzzle yeah. before you start the second yeah, puzzle. Yeah, you have to finish the first one and yeah. deconstruct it before you start the second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there you've got to put it back yeah. in the box. Oh, yes. yeah. 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 And the and volunteers... And what happens if you've lost mm -hmm. a piece when you put it back in the box? I don't know. Do they check mm -hmm. the box, I wonder? I don't know. I mean, no. It, there's somebody there to write down your time when you've completed the first one. Right. Um, and there, a volunteer kind of stands there and goes, okay, I've verified that you've completed, written down your time, now you can put that one away, Start quickly shove it in the box, and then get that next one out. Because I think last year it was a 1,000 piece and a 1,500 piece, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, in so, the final. It was, oh, that was yeah, in the final. In the, in the preliminary round, the qualifying round for teams, it yeah. was the two 1,000s. So, so it'll so be similar to last year. Yep. Okay. Yep. This year the difference is the final does not have the 1500, it'll be two 1000s. But they won't have the choice in the final, it'll be a straight up, you're given you know, this one and then one other one. So, oh, okay. Did they, did they get the same amount of time, three hours for the for last year? 1, for the 1000 and 1500? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Still three hours. Ooh, yeah, and quite, then you only had time. one team out of all, what, 80 some teams finished last yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, because it yeah. was a really oh, tough 1500 tough. piece. Yeah. But it definitely plays into things, and, and that was interesting last year. The American team that did the best uh, in the team competition, they placed sixth, or sorry, they placed third. And in the qualifier, they didn't, you know, they did okay, but they yeah. were further down the list, and so I don't think people necessarily expected them to do well in the final, but it's because they chose two puzzles in the qualifier that were quite different from what everybody else chose, yeah. and one of them was really difficult, it, so they, you know, kind of... Yeah, it really, it can be yeah. so puzzle-dependent, yeah. can't it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. And everybody has different puzzles they like, kind of, too. So yeah. when you're in a team, you all have to kind of agree, okay, this is the one we're going to focus on because this takes the best advantage of our strengths or what uh, have you. That's so, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't give you a ton of time to decide. <laughs> um, but oh. last time, they did have the puzzles uh, for that contest all out on the tables prior, and they weren't wrapped. So you could kind of oh, spy right. from the sidelines a little bit what they looked like. Yeah. Um, you know, so most teams I think had made the choice pretty quickly of which ones they were going to tackle. Another Spain player. Well done. Maria from Germany. About an hour and eight, so we're getting closer to what my time was. <laughs> It's, it's going better than I, th you know, I was like, oh man, are we even going to get 20 finishers? But you know, we're almost there already. So yeah. it, I, it's thrown me a bit, the panorama, because it's mm -hmm. not a tall puzzle. There's not many rows. Right. So it's thrown me a bit that that grass section's maybe, I don't know. It's not as difficult as I thought maybe because of how narrow it is. And that maybe well, helps possibly, you. possibly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I say that as watching. <laughs> I know. It's easy to say that when exactly. you're just looking at it. And you're just looking, it's easy to judge. So Val, are you going to do, are you going to try and do all of the puzzles, do you think, from the competition? Oh, year? at some point? I mean, it'll depend on, you know, whether I have access to them, I guess. I. I don't have them as we speak, but you know, I'll try to do as many of them as I can just to get to experience it. And you know, I love Ravensburger puzzles or Ravensburger, so I'm always keen to do a Ravensburger. What Ravensburger. about or Ravensburger? You're right. Actually, somebody German did correct us and say yes. It's Ravensburger. It's Ravensburger. 
<laughs> what about you, Vicky? Are you anticipating like, oh yeah, I'm gonna want to do all of these at some yeah, point? Yeah, I, I would like to try them all. If well, when I first saw this one, I thought, yeah, I'm not gonna try this one. But then, but now I, I get genuinely curious to see how I would have done. Yeah. So yeah, I think I probably will try all of them at some point yeah. if I can. Well, that's one of the nice things actually in these qualifying rounds. These are puzzles that are publicly available, so yeah. somebody could potentially, you know, go to the store, get one of these, and. Put it together and time themselves and see how they compare. So yeah, we've got about just under 20 minutes left mm -hmm. in this final qualifying round on the first day of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships here in Valladolid. Mm -hmm. And it has been a day. I'm going to ask each of you to share a highlight What from the day so far. What do you think has been sort of one of the competition highlights oh um, I, I think I think the half an hour finisher was pretty huge you know in terms of the, the competition as a whole mm -hmm. I think that was pretty yeah 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 mind blowing. Really yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah oh there we go two finishers right together <laughs> what about you Julia has there been a highlight Gosh, I mean, I think for me, because it's the first time I've been here, it's the first time I've seen the variety. I think for me, the highlight really has just been the, the, the wonderful atmosphere that was here, mm -hmm. I think, really, and just seeing all of these different people from all over the world who've, you know, they've, they've taken like a week out of their, their lives, they've come here, they've, they've funded themselves to get here. And uh, it's just it's just fantastic. So I think that for me, and actually, I really like this puzzle, even though it's a difficult puzzle. <laughs> I just think there's something very beautiful and very simple. Oh about yeah, it. and there's, I've never yeah. seen a panoramic puzzle like that before. Mm -hmm. So um, I like this oh. puzzle. Oh, he had one he in Iran. Look at that. Piece, a false yeah. fit. Yeah, false fit. Oh, good yeah. job, Sam. Um, nice work. Well, I know right away what rises to the top for me as a highlight is watching the round with Alejandro, um, the D group, and seeing somebody right at that level and really yes. close with him. And I literally got the chills and you it just call it, you? no, know, because for a little while there you weren't sure who was going to win, and yeah. that was really incredible to see Katarina Reiner from Germany just yeah. right with Alejandro, yeah. and the crowd literally couldn't contain themselves yes. as the, the two so of them near. were nearing finish. They just started kind of making noise yeah. in preparation for one of them to finish, and that was just so exciting. She came in 12 seconds after him, and. You know, the times, you know, it was like 34 or something. I mean, just incredible times. And so yeah. I think that was a highlight for me. That's yeah. going to be, make it's going to make things a little more interesting when we've all kind of put Alejandra in this category of like nobody's coming close. And yeah. now we know there's like, a, oh, Katarina. There's, there are yes. so many more puzzlers this year right. though. And right. so, you know, you're getting people coming up who you don't even necessarily right. know about. But it's like, oh, you know, right. and there's a lot of fast ones. Yep. Well, and but then, to, like you said, Teresa's time. I mean, finishing in just over a half hour. <laughs> yeah. It's just, yeah, that it's was just crazy. unbelievable. So, but I yeah. agree with you as well. The atmosphere is just second to none, isn't yeah, it? It's and it's such a supportive group of people mm -hmm. as well. Like everybody's cheering each other on, which is really lovely. Somebody so, just said, I need to go back and see the D group. And somebody said, I was screaming at my phone while watching Katarina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very exciting. But yeah, like you said, it's so supportive. You know, people are still here after this whole day just to cheer on everybody as they finish and as we round up this last competition. It's just wonderful. Yeah, it's brilliant. You don't have to, you know, finish in the top six to get cheers. You know, oh, yeah, exactly. everybody gets a cheer. Uh, well done. I'll try to look up who that was. Here we have Raphael from Spain. Ah, okay. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, we're coming. Uh, we've got now just just under 15 minutes left of this final group mm -hmm. on on the first day of the of the championships. Just a reminder that tomorrow morning, on Friday morning at 10 o'clock, we have uh, Group A pairs mm -hmm. uh, for an hour and a half. They will also be doing a 500 piece puzzle. Oh, nice nice work. work. And then from 12 to 1:30, we have pairs Group B. 
And then 2 till 3.30, the, the third group in the pairs section of the competition. And then from 5 o'clock... Ah, look at that. Dancing while competing. <laughs> from Brazil. Yes. Well yes. Done. Lovely. Yes, we love you too. Oh, and another five one from Sweden. First semi-final tomorrow. And then at 7 o'clock, the second semi-final round. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Look at all the Swedish flags they were waving. That was great. She had a whole little cheering section going on. I take it back. I was, I think, a little hard on this puzzle earlier, and now I'm just like, you know, maybe this isn't so bad. I'm with you, Julia. Oh. It's a beautiful There's image. Very simple about and it. I do I think, like, uh, you know, the more I look at it, the more I want to take a, a shot at it. And, yeah. and I think we are seeing people finish, you know, a lot of people getting done before the time is up, which yeah. I think might so, betray that it's not as terrible as we originally thought. <laughs> 20, 20 yeah. There's another one. Oh, yeah. oh 26. <laughs> on. Oh, yeah. We might cross the 34 mark from this morning. Yeah, we might. We've got... We might. Just under 13 minutes There's left. Another USA JPA person. Love it. Love seeing the shirt. Represent. <laughs> but let's remind ourselves that those who were in Group B, the first round B, mm -hmm. we had 76 people oh. who finished mm -hmm. in 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is still know, dramatically highly contentious. Yes. That was a much easier puzzle. Yes. Yeah. As we, as people that maybe weren't watching, then that was the, um, it was an image of the New York Liberty postcard. In the middle, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. New York postcard bright colors around the outside so yeah that puzzle looks just so fun that's exactly the kind of puzzle I would like yeah. to get when I go shopping for speed puzzles yeah people did way better than expected mm -hmm. I think we all think that now yeah I think that's true Of course that Brazilian was dancing, <laughs> Renata has said. That's what Brazilians do. <laughs> that's a great comment. And we're up, we've got, you know, 1,900 people listening still, so that's wonderful. Thank you so much to everybody in the comments. It's really helpful for us to just see what all of you are saying and kind of sparks ideas in our, our yeah. brains about what we can talk about. Oh boy. Oh, look at this. Three people all with like the exact same few pieces left. Gonna have some close finishes right here. Yeah. So we've got Germany, USA and Spain here. Ten minutes left. I feel like I'm going to be doing jigsaw puzzles in my sleep tonight, yes. and I haven't even been doing the jigsaw puzzles, I've just been watching them. Maybe Vicky, I'm going to, too, I'm yeah. going to wake up in the morning, I'm going to be like an expert. <laughs> I'm going to be able to know how to do all these puzzles. Well done. Oh, good job, Elizabeth. Oh, look, they all, they, they all finished right next to each other. Yep, yeah, from Spain, let us see, that was Diana. Yep, yeah. Horizontes. Better sense. Excuse me. Well, this is great. So people asking about Karen puzzles. She'll be in the um, semi-finals in uh, five o'clock tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which group she's in for the pairs. Yeah, Do I don't know, know offhand. Don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, we don't know. But um, she'll definitely be in the semi-final, yep. the first, yep. first semi-final at five o'clock um, CST mm -hmm. time. Central European yeah. summertime. I think if you go to the website, people can see kind of you know who's time. competing when. Yeah. I think I think it might be available publicly on the website. Belgium, well done. Yes, nice. Come on, give us a smile. Yeah, I was no. gonna say oh. uh, he's looking just like glad to be done, maybe. As you can see, just shaking the puzzle dust off of those uh, pieces of plastic there before before tomorrow. It's going to be an early day for the volunteers. They got to get here in the morning, get everything set up again and ready to go. Somebody here on the comments saying that uh, the pairs, they think that it must be Karen is at two then. Okay. So great. she's in group C. 
So we'll, thank you for, yes, thank you for that. looking that up for us. Oh, and the, her schedule's on her Instagram if anyone oh, great. wants yep. to, to, to follow that. So she's in group nice C. pointer. I think that's the group I'm in for uh, pairs as well. Okay. So, so <laughs> Vicky, as a YouTuber, do you have fans? Are you meeting fans while you're here? Yeah. I Well, yeah, it's kind of strange. Well, people... We've been encouraging people to come and say hi. We yeah. really are enjoying meeting people. So, yeah, I suppose <laughs> they just enjoy watching our channels, yeah, I guess, yeah. and they've come up and had I think that counts as a fan. So, you don't yeah, need to be I, so modest. Well, I know, but, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. It feels strange calling them fans. But, yeah, I guess so, yes. That's good. I'm glad um, to hear that. It's been lovely meeting all the people that have come and said hi and everything and we've taken loads of photos and stuff and a lot of the people that watch me also watch Jeanette and Donna Louise and Juby as well so it's really nice yeah I mean if it's anything like you know I listen to a lot of podcasts and I do feel like I become friends with them just from the number of hours I spend listening yeah so you kind of already have a familiarity there because you've spent time with this person kind of sharing yeah. something they're passionate about um, so I think it makes, you know, you yeah. probably very approachable to people because they know they have something in common with you. Yeah. Right from the get-go. Definitely. Get yeah. Definitely. I, I, you know, there are occasions where, you know, people are maybe looking at you and you can see recognition, but they're not quite sure whether to come <laughs> up and everything. But like, you know, we, we've been loving it. So just anybody that wants yeah. to come and say hi, say hi. Yeah. That's been brilliant. I think in the last group the term puzzle celebrities was coined. <laughs> yes, I heard that. I've never heard that one before, but I like it. It sounds yep. good. So just under seven minutes left. Yeah. And uh, the time is coming up to yeah. nearly half past oh, ten. There's another finisher from Luxembourg. In the evening here in Paris. <laughs> yes. That was great. Wiping her brow. Yep. <laughs> That's great. Like Geraldine from like Luxembourg, it. yeah. I think I'm going to go and buy it. I'm going to go and do it. <laughs> well, you might have a connection here, puzzle? Julia, to help, <laughs> help you out. Yeah. I'll phone up Mr. Ravensburger. <laughs> She's going to finish. She's got this. She's going to get in. So does, Primula. So does Primula from Italy. Yeah, she's got this as well. Yeah, she's going to do that before. Yep. And then we're at the 34 mark. Look at that. We're going to have finishers. So this yeah. may be only the second hardest puzzle of the day, not the first puzzle of the day, which only had 34 finishers after 90 minutes. So yeah. I think if you went by that gauge, this one's just slightly easier. I can't wait to talk to some of the people who've done this puzzle and just see, like, what their <laughs> yeah, thought they was when, thinking, when they opened yeah. that bag and saw this one. Someone from Canada, please make it through. Okay, right, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a, about 100 puzzlers out there and, you know, it's looking like about a third of them have finished thus far. So we're looking at more than half that very likely aren't going to finish it. So they're gonna be counting pieces for those folks. Yeah, if you do want to see results, you want to see who qualifies. Oh, good job. She did it. Yay, she did it. Maddie finished. Congratulations, Maddie. But yeah, if you go to the website, the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship, just look it up. Um, you can see results as they come in. You can see who's qualified for the next round. Full schedule, it's all on there. So Vicky, there's somebody here who's saying that I'm a fan of yours, Vicky. I bought my first large piece puzzle watching you do your Disney puzzle. Oh, thank so you. There you go. <laughs> Yay, see, hello. You never thank know you. who's watching. <laughs> How many pieces of that puzzle? Thirteen thousand two hundred. Mm. That's the one I was talking about. Oh, yeah. so yeah. small, not that big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's <laughs> tiny. Easy, easy. tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited Primula puzzling yeah. there from Italy. She's uh, Oh look at that, she's oh, holding it up. Oh, Lovely. Oh, jumping up and down. Oh, <laughs> and then stayed together. <laughs> she's so happy. Fantastic. She's happy she's qualified, clearly. Well that's how I felt. Yeah. I was like, oh yay. <laughs> she's like, I made it. <laughs> the largest puzzle I've ever done is three thousand. 
and honestly, I just, I, too much sorting. I don't know that I'll ever get over that, that, <laughs> that amount. Um, yeah. But it would be fun. No, I, I'm not big on sorting either, I must admit. I think if I could work collaborative, collaboratively with someone on a, a larger one, I'd be more inclined, but my significant other only likes to puzzle when it's something related to something he enjoys, like comic books. Yeah. Um, then he'll jump in, but he also likes to wait until all the hard stuff is done, and then, oh, I, yeah, I'll, I'll help you with that last bit. Yes. Um, and I try not to hold it against him. I encourage him to puzzle as much as possible. As long as you don't let them put the last piece in, <laughs> that would just be exactly. unfair. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, if you haven't sorted, you don't get to put the last piece in. Actually, he's. I've gotten him to compete a few times when we've been desperate for another teammate, and he's he does actually pretty well. I kind of am like, why don't you do this more? But yeah, that's it's just good. not really his cup of tea. Amy from the USA. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Good job, Amy. Less than three minutes to go. Well done, Amy. Yes, you finished in under an hour and a half. Nice work. I guess. I'm oh, and this person, it. this person, you've got this. They can do this. I guess a lot of people find it easier listening to music when they do it. It's a few people yep. with headphones in. She's got one ear in and one ear out, so she's kind of yeah. looks like she's got that there to help her along, but can still hear what's going on around her, perhaps. So Maybe. 38 people have got through. No, 39 it must be now. Yeah. Yep. Finishing the puzzle within the hour and a half. And our fastest time, just to remind everyone, in this round was Soraya on 49 minutes and 58 seconds. Yeah, from Spain. This is Delphine Maria from France that we're watching right now. She must be one of the people closer to finishing here before the hour and a half time is up. So in case we get cut off right at the end, I do want to thank you, Vicki, for joining us for this. This yes, has been thank wonderful. You. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> it's been brilliant. Thank yeah. you very much. And I just, yeah, I love hearing your insights and just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing. Doesn't it seem like, Julia, we've interviewed people all day now today, and I think every time we've had something new to talk about. I know. Yeah. Vicky brought the large format puzzles right. to the table, so we got to get that in. Oh, and there she goes. She got it. Good for her. Nice work, Delphine. <laughs> Vicky, just remind us when you're on tomorrow. What's, yeah. your, what's your schedule tomorrow? So I'm in Group C for the pairs, which I think might be two o'clock. Okay. Yeah, I think that's and right. And then I'm in, it's the semi-finals individuals, yeah. isn't it? Yes. So, uh, but I was in Group E, so that so would be the be later seven one. Yeah. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. So, so, yeah. so if you want to, want to see Vicky tomorrow in action, it's two o'clock <laughs> in seven, the afternoon right? and yep. then seven o'clock for the semi-finals. And where can they find you on, on YouTube? What's your handle? Um, it's called Vicky Makes and Builds. Oh. That's, that's my channel. Okay, nice. <laughs> well, check it out, everybody. It sounds like, especially if you're into large format, you probably talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so. there's quite a few, quite yeah. a few large puzzles on there. So. <laughs> oh, we're down to the last 20 seconds. Oh, I just want to see people get done at that last minute. Oh, I know.
From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know 